time for a hump day Gran Turismo session on the next episode of Behind the Wheel. What's up everyone? Good afternoon to everyone. Melon, Lars, Superior, Stream Elements, Bot, Smog, Charles, Matt, Jason. Good to see you guys. Cheers. That's the wrong button. Cheers. And a fist pump. How's everyone doing? I'm hoping everyone's doing alright. What's going on? How's everyone's day after hump day going? How's everyone's Thursday going? I just found out I need to put a whole new steering rack in my car. That's how my Thursday is going. <laughs> they have to replace the steering rack in my car. That's a four, not a three, not a two, not a one. It's a $4,000 operation. $4,000 for a car that has 73,000 miles on it. $4,000. I, I was thinking about it. I was actually talking to my service advisor today about it. Uh, that car, at this point, the only thing that's really original now, at least in the front engine part of the car, is the block. I've had the head replaced. Now I'm getting the steering rack replaced. I've had so much stuff replaced in that car. Oh, dang. I'm sorry about the first loss for your bas daughter's basketball team. I'm hoping your daughter's basketball team is 8-1 and one because of your daughter's amazing playing. She's a point guard. We've talked about this before, right? She's, she, she runs point, right? Basketball season's coming up soon. My favorite part of the year is starting soon. Starting soon. My favorite part of the year. Professional NBA basketball starts in about a week or two. Can't wait. Can't wait to keep on rubbing it into Icy Fever's face that the Wizards are going to win. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping your daughter's team is doing fantastic because of her exploits as a magnificent basketball player. I would, hope, I would imagine that's the case. I would imagine that's the case. She's she's an amazing basketball player. Um, that sucks that they got their first loss though. But you know what? You gotta lose. You gotta lose. You gotta lose once or twice. If you don't if you don't lose, you don't know. You're not learning anything, right? Well, Mark, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good to see you. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic Thursday, Mark. Fist bump. Boop. Yeah, four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. To pay for my steering rack. Um, now, now I have an extended warranty. I have an extended warranty. Um, someone from Volkswagen is coming tomorrow to see whether or not my extended warranty will cover the four thousand dollar steering rack that I need to get replaced. Um, let's hope. Because I sure as hell can't pay for a four thousand dollars steering rack. The car has got seventy two thousand miles on it. Seventy two thousand miles. Skillet, what's going on, man? What do I have in the red cup? No Jack Daniels. I definitely don't have Jack Daniels in the, in, in the cup. Jux, what's going on, man? How you doing, dude? Yeah, fingers cro fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed that. I don't have to pay four grand for a new steering rack in my car. Um, I know everyone was guessing bearings yes last week. Um, I was guessing bearings too, but apparently it's not. <laughs> apparently it's a steering rack. It's a whole new steering rack. I I've been terrible. <laughs> Just I've been absolutely terrible. 
<laughs> it's been nothing but bad news since I've gotten back from Virginia. Nothing, nothing but bad news. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, but it's it's been awful. It's been it's been really awful. <laughs> it's been life's life's been better. Let's put it that way. Life has been a whole lot better than it's been going. Uh, but whatever, man. It is what it is. It is what it is, right? Cheers, 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 cheers to it's. It's early. It's early to start cursing, but cheers to a shitty day <laughs> or a shitty week. <laughs> uh, you know, I keep on telling myself, Jux. <laughs> I keep on telling myself that, Jux. There, 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 there'd be, it'd be nice to be say, you know, things are doing all right. <laughs> it'd be nice to once or twice be able to say, you know, things are going pretty okay. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up? I have to pay four grand for a steering rack, possibly. Oh, no, no, excuse, excuse that. I don't have to pay four grand because I don't have four grand to pay for a steer new steering rack in my car. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, if, if I have to pay four grand for a steering rack in that car, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just pack it up and go home, man. <laughs> I might just pack it up, go back to Virginia, leave the car here, and just do nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do, dude. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, that was not the news I wanted to hear. That was not the news I want to hear. Uh, you know, I'm guessing it's not just the rack. Also, what was brought up was that the idea that um, struts and strut bearing are also gone. <sighs> yeah, 4K is a lot for a steering rack, but um, I'm thinking it's... You know, it's at the dealer, so it's dealer cost for dealer parts. I'm guessing they're going to replace everything, you know, going from the rack back. <sighs> basically, a whole new front axle and a whole new front end, basically, is, is what I've been, what I've been, uh, uh, what I've been kind of told. I know, NBA, and I know. Has it already started? I thought it starts next week. Are they starting early this year? It's usually, like, Halloween. Oh, you know what? No. Damn it. I forgot what month it was. Or I forgot what week it was. Oh, yeah, I know. If if it comes down to it, if... if the only reason I brought it there is because I have an extended warranty in my car. Right? Um, that's the only reason I brought it there. And if this repair isn't covered by the warranty, which it should be, which it should be, I'm bringing it somewhere else. I'm bringing it somewhere else. Um. Oh, the wraps opener started. Well, you guys are in Canada, so. That's what I figured, because, uh, yeah, I figured I figured it starts next week for the rest of the league. I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been out of work now for almost the rest of the whole month because of this car crap. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't know. I honestly do not know what I'm going to do. I'm now, like, a month behind in all my bills. Um, and, uh, whatever. I'm not even, gonna, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm not even going to think about it. Now I've got this $4,000 car bill on top of it, so. <sighs> I know it would be nice if Josh was close. be nice if Josh or Jared Freeman was close. I could get the car fixed, but, um, that's not the case. <laughs> that is not the case. I know I'd get the I'd, I'd have either one of them fix the car. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, the only reason I have the dealer is because I've got I have a I have a warranty on it. You know, I have a warranty on it. Warranty will fix everything, supposedly. 
Oh yeah, if it's not under warranty, I'm taking it somewhere else. If it's not under warranty, I'm buying the parts myself and taking it somewhere else because I've already priced out the parts for it. You know, if it's not under warranty, then I'm taking it right out of there and, you know, doing all that. You'll send me a PM in the PS chat? You'll send me PM through... That will help me out. The only way it's going to help me out is if it has $4,000 attached to that PM. $600. Wow, dude. What's up a car? That's a Mercedes. That's like Mercedes maintenance. Yeah, that, that's what I was about to say. That's Mercedes maintenance costs. Mercedes call Mercedes Mercedes um, service is ultra expensive, man. It's so so expensive, dude. Because my parents have had Mercedes. We've had a Mercedes in the family now for like the past twenty years, in one form or another, or three of them at some point. <laughs> We've had three or four. We had three of them at one point. Actually, no, we had four of them at one point. But every time parents had to bring it in, it was like six hundred bucks. <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> that's, a, that's like expensive. That's an expensive service, man. You know, granted, you get. You get treated like creme de la creme. I mean, at least my mom and dad's dealership does a really good job of like pampering them while they're there. But you know, if that if they're even there, sometimes they give them a car and you know they get to drive around in some car. Um, and at one point we had an SL. We had Big Mama, which is one of the big ass SUVs, and then they have a small ass SUV. <laughs> oh, dude, BMW is just as bad. I think Mercedes is more expensive though, as far as like the Merce the 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 um, dealer maintenance costs. I think it's more expensive than Mercedes. I think, I think. I, I've never owned a BMW, so I've no, I don't know. I have, I've had a lot of friends that own BMWs, and they they complain about the service costs for them. But I, th I think the way that, like I said, at least Mercedes, uh, Mercedes, they, they 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 tend to kind of really treat their customers really well, like. Not to say that BMW probably doesn't, but um, they they definitely they definitely like pamper you at the Mercedes dealership. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's what's going on, man. That's the haps. That's the haps. Car repairs and out of work right now, which is kind of really sucks. <laughs> it kind of really really sucks. Um. On to Gran Turismo. I heard there's an update. I checked out the update. Uh, there's nothing really, really that consequential in the update, it seems like. Thanks, Icy. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, let's go over to Gran Turismo. I'm actually building a livery right now. I'm in the middle of, like, revamping this livery that I had originally built for um, Rory. Rory, uh, Rory Alexander, um, but I'd always had the idea that I would, was going to cannibalize it and turn it into my own livery because I liked it so much. I'm switching to Alpha next season, guys. I'm, uh, I'm not going to run Porsche. I'm going to run Alpha. Um, I like the 155 a lot, and I found out that I really like the 4C. Um, the 4C is a nice car. I know everyone's like, it's a little squirrely, but because it's a rear-wheel drive car. But I've been driving a... Or, or not a rear-wheel drive car. A mid-engine rear-wheel drive car. But I've been driving the Porsche, so I'm used to that. Um, the wheelbase is shorter. Um, but it's a lot... It's really agile, the, one, the 4C. Um, it's really agile, the 4C. I really, really like it. I ran it around Interlagos versus the... Um, versus the 911. The RSR. I'm like two seconds faster in the 4C. 
have I thought about getting a second car? I don't have the room for a second car. I can barely afford the one, the first car, Charles. <laughs> I can barely afford the one car, so getting a second car is out of out of question. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Also, I also don't think. I don't know. I. I I'm heavily against owning like two cars. Like a one car is enough, I think. Having multiple cars just seems like overkill. But then again, I've li lived in Los Angeles where, you know, you only need one car. <sighs> Usually one car that's reliable. <laughs> this, 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 this Volkswagen has been the worst Volkswagen I've ever owned. I told that to the dealership. I was like, you realize this is by far, by and far, the worst Volkswagen I've ever owned. It'd be nice to have a daily and a hoon. Um, number one, the insurance costs are fucking ridiculous. Excuse me. The insurance costs are effing ridiculous. Um, I wouldn't mind having a hoon, but I don't... I don't necessarily like driving... Because I've had a daily hoon. I've had three of those now. This was going to be my first time that I had a car. This is the first time I've had a car that I didn't lower throw a bunch of crap onto it and uh well the r32 <sighs> no the r32 I, dro I dropped suspension on that car i also had a chip and i had an air intake on it I, so it was but that car was fast already man uh this is my first car that i've just been it's just been a daily and that's it I'm just a daily and that's that's all i'm doing you know daily driver that's it nothing else um Maybe it's because I live in Los Angeles and it's hard to get around to anywhere to hoon anyway. That'd be nice, you know, if I had a... That, that's the other thing is I don't have a garage, you know? That'd be nice to have, like, something like that, like an E30 project car. Like a track car would be nice. Um, but as it is, I don't get to the track enough. Even when I had my, my R32... Not race, not track prepped, but it was, you know, I, I autocrossed it. I autocrossed it enough that I probably should have thought about prepping it. Um, I never made it to the track as much, as many times as I thought I would, you know. Now I'm getting older and I probably, you know, probably wouldn't. I probably would go back to, I, mean, I don't know. I've never, I don't know about getting back to the track or not. I do enjoy driving at the track. Um, and doing autocross would be fun. Um, but yeah, you would definitely need to have a garage for something like that, you know? It would be preferable to have a garage to do something like that. Brigsby, man, what's going on, man? R30. What is an R R32, you mean? Fist bump, Brigsby. Yeah, I had an R32, a Volkswagen R32. Not a, not a Skyline R32, obviously. Here comes all 14 of Brigsby's, uh, <laughs> Brigsby's, uh, accounts. Yeah, it, uh, it was, it was a cool car. I should, you know, the more that I think about it, I should have never got rid of that car. That car was so freaking reliable. That car got me back, got me to Los Angeles from Virginia. Um, it was my daily for a long time in Los Angeles, hauling gear. Dude, I, I went to so many film shoots with that thing. That car was the best, and I never, never had a problem with it. Zero problems with that car. I, and it was the Mark IV version, the Mark IV of Golf fr uh, chassis, um, which wasn't a great, wasn't a great um, generation of Golf. It wasn't the best. It was probably one of the heaviest and probably the most problematic. But that R never had a single problem. Never leaked. Never, never, never had one problem. That car. That car was amazing. And I should have never. I don't know why I got rid of it. I don't know why I got. Oh, you know why I did get rid of it? Because I didn't have a parking space for it. That was the only reason I didn't get rid of it. I also didn't want to pay for the insurance on it anymore. Not like the insurance was ridiculous on it, but it, you know, having to have two. Uh, Having to pay insurance on two cars was just a little too much, you know? 
Having to pay insurance on one car is a little too much. I hate paying that insurance. I think I should get more wrecks so I can get use out of my insurance. Could I fit golf clubs in the golf? Oh yeah, of course I could. Dude, you could fit all kinds of stuff in the golf. A golf's the biggest small car out there, man. The golf is the biggest small car out there, at least in my opinion. I love, I love the Golf. It's the perfect car. It's the perfect car. N enough speed. You can, it's, it's agile, and you can fit like IKEA stuff inside of it. What a great car, dude! I used to fit my whole like sound rig in there from like my movie stuff. Um, this, oh, you can't see my big Pelican case. A huge, two huge Pelican cases. My sound cart, which is stacked up here somewhere. All of my gear, I could stuff it all into the R32. The Clubman Mini, I would never own one of those. Those things are so freaking ugly. <laughs> those cars are so ridiculously ugly. <laughs> right, let's go over to Gran Turismo. Uh, so I'm over here um, redesigning this car. Um, I've got a few finishing touches on this thing. Um, let's go look at the update real quick. I'll override it. I need to finish this one. I need to finish this uh, this car. Which we'll do... We'll do after we look around. It shouldn't take too much longer. It shouldn't take too much longer. I need to do something for the 4C at some point and to some degree. Um, and if we want to do a lobby at some point, we can do a lobby. I don't know how many people are out there or are willing to race right now. I know it's Thursday and, you know, everyone's just getting off of work. Jag, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Fist bump. Um, let's take a look at the update. Um, I bought a couple of the cars from the update. One of them is, um... One of the cars that's new is like ridiculous. So we'll, we'll, I'll we'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if anyone knew that there was an update. We've got four more cars. I really wish they would just add more functionality rather than adding cars. I, I think I think we have far too many cars now, and we don't have anything to do with it. What's the point of having all these cars if you got no races or anything for it? You know. Does the update feel better? Yeah. They keep on changing the formula about how the cars feel. I think at this point they should start worrying about stuff like adding practice, adding like qualifying sessions to the lobbies and stuff. Yeah, bring back GT League or something, man. Like, give us, give us something more than like, I know people are like, oh, we need a new track. and like, no, we need more functionality is what we need. <laughs> uh, it's like, what's the point? What, what's the point of having all these cars when you don't have enough races to run for them? So, uh, I know, was this one of the new ones? No, I don't think this was the new one. I'm not buying, dude, I guess I should buy this. It's 75 grand. All right, I'll buy it. <laughs> I hate Maseratis. <laughs> I don't think they know what they're doing either. You know, I like the game enough, but it's just like, I, I think they know what they're doing, but they're not doing it in the right way. <laughs> I don't want that car. Uh, this car is new. I bought it already. Well, I know. I got to talk to Dave about his candor in the chat, by the way. <laughs> I have a little chat with Dave about his his candor in the uh, in the chat. Uh, I already bought this car. This is five hundred forty two thousand dollars, which I'm not sure if the Skyline's worth five hundred forty two thousand dollars. I bought it. Um, the Jaguar's back, so if you don't have that car already, that's there. I need to buy this car at some point in time. Um, uh, there was another new car. Aside from those, um, 
Yeah, I mean those, those words. <laughs> I had a couple complaints last week about him, and uh, he's got to he's got to control. And I have to agree that if he's going to be one of my moderators, he's got to control himself a little bit. Um, this is a new car, which I I, I don't quite understand this. I. This car is 500, just look at the horsepower and the torque, um, and the weight. Weight's 2833, um, maximum torque is 488.2, and the maximum power is 576 horsepower, compared to the current GTR Group 3. This has got more horsepower, <laughs> it has more torque, it's 60 pounds heavier. But it's cheaper. It's four hundred fifty thousand dollars. So what's what's the point? What's what's the point between these two? You know, they they look identical. I mean, for the most part, they're they're identical. <laughs> you know, this is like, why, 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 why this car? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like what it looks like, but but. But, uh, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, no, it's the real Skyline simulator. We've gotten two Skylines in this update. Uh, does this one drive better, Jag? Have you driven it? Or who who said that it was good? Oh, Brigsby. Brigsby, does this drive better? They're, they're practically the same car. One's, one of them's $150,000 more expensive, so... What, what what what's the deal? I mean, they're they're practically identical. This oh look, the window vent on this one's open. <laughs> the window vent on this one's closed. <laughs> it's faster because it's new. What's it going on, Tommy? How you doing? The window vent is closed on this one, but on this one the window vent is open. <laughs> Let's see if there's any other real differences. This one doesn't have the hole on the right front fender. This one does have a hole on the right, or the left front fender. <laughs> oh. What else? What else is new to this car? Flat tick, what's going on, man? Yeah, we need another GTR. We need another GTR that's pretty much the same as the other GTR. <laughs> it's got less power. It's 60 pounds lighter, though. This one's 60 pounds lighter. No, it's not even that. It's 30 pounds lighter. 28.66 for the weight for this. 28.33. It's 33 pounds lighter. <laughs> Did it feel more planted? Is it worth 150000 extra dollars? I know, we need two more of these cars. Yeah, add the CalSonic GTR. Add something else. Add another cool GTR. <laughs> not, the, not a newer new one. Oh, wait a minute. The, the vent is open on this side. <laughs> wait, is it open on both sides? Oh, yes. The window vent's open on both sides. So maybe... The driver is much cooler in this car. <laughs> that that's about it. Oh, and then we got this car. Which I kind of you know, I didn't ask for it, but it's kinda of cool that they added it. It's thirty-one thousand dollars. So when we do another Miata, Miata Cup, we can we can we can jump in this thing. How much is it versus this one? It's Sixty thousand dollars less. Uh, but this has way less horsepower. <laughs> way less horsepower. Oh, that's right, Frank Canards. Yeah, and we got another Miata. <laughs> I, 
Uh, I th no, because they have. Well, it's the only new. It's the only twenty-two. Boosted. What's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing, Boosted? Did I sponsor someone's race car in real life? Your car. Your car is the only car I've sponsored at this point. <laughs> We showed it off at the on the. Uh, has anyone ever seen Boosted's car? I think everyone's seen Boosted's car, right? Boosted, good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a bit. Fist bump. <laughs> Have we seen your car? We've uh, shown it off because I showed off. Let, let's go over to. Let me go find it again. Yeah, the Audi. We've all seen it. <laughs> Well, tell them, uh, tell them I'm the sponsor for one of your cars. <laughs> or the sponsor of your car. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. By the way, you've had some cool pictures on the Instagram, man. Oh, crap. I just... I just did a mess up. I just messed up. Uh, your car looks awesome, dude. Your car looks great, dude. I I've been meaning to, like, comment on your um on your uh on your instagram but i just haven't gotten around to it i'm really bad with social media guys i'm terrible i'm terrible i'm like the worst with social media i'm ultra ultra bad with it especially with like instagram because i'm not so insta anymore i used to be i used to be really insta but not so much anymore my insta powers aren't as uh as strong as they used to be I used to be pretty a pretty re regular Insta dude, um, but not so much. Like I said, hold on. Let me get to let me get to your Insta real quick. Phil, what's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, I bought the Maserati too. I don't know if I'm ever gonna drive it. I don't think I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever gonna drive it. <laughs> I bought it for the sake of buying the Maserati. And that's it. Just because it was a deal. That's the only reason I bought the Maserati. <laughs> If it was a dollar more, then I would have never bought it. Let's get a boost its let's get a boost its insta real quick. Boosted. There you are. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Here we go. This this is the car that holds my sticker. Are we on the right thing? Yeah, we are. Everyone go follow Boosted. This is his Audi. Which is sick. Sick Audi. It's an S... It's an RS5, right? Four. RS4. And, and if you look in the back... He's sporting the old Kaboom sticker on the back right there. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, man. It look, it's looking great. Have you... Have you been time trialing it? Are you been racing it? It's a good looking car, dude. You guys recognize that design. I designed him a bunch of cars here in uh, Gran Turismo. I keep on looking at the ones at the back because it's got... It's got the old Kaboom sticker on there. <laughs> I think that's the coolest thing, dude. <laughs> that is the coolest thing. Um, beautiful car, man. Beautiful car. Yeah, everyone go check out uh, Boosted's Instagram. It's Boosted. Four O's, like, uh, like the Audi four rings. Boosted. Good times. Good times, great oldies. Yeah, good times, dude. It's looking good. It's looking good. Super, super beautiful car. Do you remember that livery stream? I know, right? Project cars never really get it finished, but... He, that's more than a project car. That's that's also your company. It's it's like a company car, in a way. 
good way to advertise, man. It's the perfect, perfect situ situation for a livery where you... That's what you're supposed to do with a livery. Sell stuff, man. <laughs> you're supposed to sell stuff. <laughs> Oh, project cars aren't supposed to be completed. <laughs> They're supposed to just sit in people's garage and be something that everyone, someone's, everyone says, "Oh, I'm gonna finish this one day." No, it's a beautiful car, man. He's got, he's done a lot of work to it. He's done a lot of work to it. Have you? So, what do you? Have you been doing drag, or what do you? What have you been racing it at? Have you done any um, road courses with it? You're going through another revision. <laughs> what are you doing to it? Oh, it's the wrong car. Oh, very nice, dude. You're gonna have to post some of them online, man. You need to start a new. You need to start a new. Uh, you need to start a. a um. Uh, uh, and uh, a YouTube channel, man. More carbon fiber. I guess you can't have too much carbon fiber now, can you? <laughs> you can't have. You can never have too much carbon fiber. Oh, you have one video. Nice. I'm gonna have to watch your YouTube videos. I don't like watching them on stream because I don't want to get hit by the demonetization. If you haven't noticed, I've got like 5 million followers now. <laughs> I'm monetized now, so... <laughs> I'm really, really, really cautious about demonetization now that I'm monetized. Uh, pff, does it have any music in it or anything? It doesn't matter if you approve, it only matters if YouTube approves. We'll try watching it, but I might, I might get hit with demonetization. Because I think they they watch whether or not I watch someone else's channel, and I'm really really cautious against it. I'm really cautious about shooting, watching, watching other people's stuff now. Yeah, I don't want to watch it then, because <laughs> some of that stuff gets, some of that stuff they say is demonetized, but then you get hit with the demonetization. You say you say that boosted. But I and 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 uh, and I tried to do it before, but I get I get demonetized every time I do something other than the, the current playlist I'm playing, because I actually know the artist. I get hit with demonet I get demonetized. All right, if I get demonetized, I'm gonna get angry. <laughs> I'm gonna get angry if I get demonetized. All right, we'll 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 watch it. Actually, I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't want to watch. I don't want to get demonetized. You did a f fast livery on the 2000 GTR. I have to take a look at it, Lars. Yeah, I gotta be really careful about what getting demonetized. Now that I'm on the radar, dude, it, it's it's crazy. It is crazy now that I'm like on the radar. And are you on SoundCloud? I've got a SoundCloud account too. Um, yeah, now, now, that now that I'm monetized, it's everything gets everything gets amped up. Go, Greddy! You become a sponsor. How did Greddy become a sponsor? <laughs> Thanks, Greddy. Thanks for sponsoring, buddy. Sponsor or a member? What is a sponsor? I didn't even know what that is. <laughs> is that different from a member? I had no idea I had sponsorships. I had a sponsorship. Uh... Greddy, what's up, man? I don't know if Greddy's out there or not. I don't know what the difference between... Well, I know. Greddy's my boy. Greddy's my homie. I'm, I'm, I'm Greddy's, uh, Greddy's go-to when he needs a livery. <laughs> Grady's my homie, man. What is a sponsor? Grady, are you out there? 
What is a sponsor? <laughs> I don't know if it's... No, because a channel member is different. A channel member is different. I don't know what a sponsor is. That's weird. I don't. I've never. I've never seen the sponsor. Because because if you come if you become a member, that's different than becoming a sponsor. I don't know what that is. Hey, Brian, what's going on, man? That's a new thing. <laughs> I've never seen. I've never seen that in anyone else's streams either. How you doing, Brian? Where's that decal? Oh, wrong part of the car. Does anyone want to race? You want a Jaffa Cake sponsor? Does anyone want to race? Because if, if if anyone wants to race, then we can stop doing this, and I'll we can we can race. I just wanted to finish this thing off, man. Uh, what I'm doing is, uh... No, membership is different. Membership is, uh, you get emojis and stuff. I don't know what the sponsor is. I've never seen it before. I've never seen it before. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to sponsor Greddy, man. Oh, he can't, because he's not monetized yet. I can't wait till Greddy gets monetized, man. I'm gonna start throwing, throwing Greddy some love. Some monetary love. Greddy's my homie, man. Greddy's got the best YouTube videos. If you guys aren't watching Greddy's videos, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> He's, my man, my man should have been in. My man should have been a, um, a radio DJ. He should have gone into the entertainment business. Because my man is super funny, funny too. Yeah, the Grady's Garage stuff is good, isn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to catch up because I haven't, I haven't since I've been back. I haven't really been YouTubing too much. Um, the Grady's Garage stuff is good, dude. He's my, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's up there. He's one of my top top 10 youtubers he's also from new orleans he's he's one of, he's from your neck of the woods um boosted i i think you guys you said you talked to him though right the gretty the gretty i don't know what the sponsorship is i wonder what that is I have to read up on that. I got another. I got another company that wants me to. Um, dude, I, I can't. I'm starting to get tired of all the companies that are like. Want me to do the Raid Shadow Legends games? <laughs> I want someone cool to ask me to. Um, I get all of these, uh, like Raid Shadow Legends and stuff, to wanting me to like do commercials. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> Alright, cool, Boosted. I don't want to do any of that, man. I've had, I've had a couple of, uh... I've had a couple of companies that have approached me that were like, Yeah, all you gotta do is say that you play our mobile game. Like, I don't play mobile games. <laughs> nor do I, nor do I want to do advertisements for mobile games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not, not like I, I never thought of playing use, uh, does anyone play mobile? I don't I don't do it. I only use my I barely use my phone to make calls, man. <laughs> like I, I hate the idea. <laughs> um Okay, what were we doing? What were we doing? What I'm doing is, uh, this is a small, small, but it was enough to, like, drive me crazy. Normally when I do, like, this car is white, right? And normally when I do, like, these type of decals, 
what I'd like, what what I do is I'll just throw, you know, its white counterpart on top. Um, but I want the shine to show through, and these decals are all matte. But the 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 uh, paint job underneath is shiny, and I know this is like a really really small detail, but it's something that I'm I I'm going to recognize. And here, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I were to change the color of this car. Uh, what's up, Rigsby? This solitaire count? I wish solitaire counted. <laughs> if I were to change the color of this car, right? I could just do this, and it would change the color of the whole color of the car. Um, because... Because um, of the way I do these decals, or I did the decals on this car, see the see on the hood right there where you see this white kind of teardrop shape, and then the actual white of the car. I want that inversed so that there is a contrast between. I, and I know this is a ridiculous. No one else will recognize see it, but I will. <laughs> There's no. So the contrast between the um, the powder decals and the shininess of the car will come through. Uh, yeah, negative Brigsby style mode. <laughs> right. I, it also helps when I, if I want to change the color of the car, I don't have to go through all the decals and change them. Like I don't have to, I don't have to go here anymore to change that because. I've already done it on this part of the car. I've already done it on this part of the car. Now these two, these three or four shapes on the hood that I have to deal with, um, which I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> but like for anything that's white on this car, I can literally just go to this now and just change the color. All right, except for these white, these white spaces in between. I don't have to deal with that. I'm not going to ever do that, but... If anything, I just have to change those. It's only like three shapes that I have to change colors to, but, um, you know, I know it's ridiculous. It's one of those ridiculous things that I'd like to do, but <laughs> I'm a ridiculous person. <laughs> Ooh, I've never actually gone through and changed any of these. Ah, forget it. I like the white that's on there. <laughs> oh, you know, I need to do that. I, I still haven't um, even, this is, brings me, this is the first car I've looked at for liveries, just because I'm going to switch to Alpha next season. I still need to do the 4C, man. I still haven't dealt with the 4C at all. I, I don't know what I'm going to do to the 4C, because the 4C is a weird shape. Um, so the 4C, we'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do the negative of this other side here. Um, cause I use these tear shapes. I mean, I guess I could flip it around. Technically, I could flip it around. Let me, let me just change these colors for this, this decal. I'll make them red. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool looking. Huh. Delete it. Delete your layer. Duplicate symmetrically. Ah, you know what? Actually, kind of looks good in red. Huh? That doesn't look bad. Uh, then what if I do this? Where is that triangle? Triangle in the middle. I'll change you to blue. Triangle on the side. Where are you? Why are there two triangles there? Why did I do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Change you to blue. Ah, I see. Why did I do that? Why was that done? Why, why didn't I just do that? <laughs> why, why was that even done like that? <laughs> What's that triangle? Triangle blue? And triangle blue. Oh, okay. I see. I see. 
I see what's going on. Uh, maybe triangle in the middle should be red. Uh, let's change triangle red to the triangle. Uh, what red? Ah, we'll keep it red. All right, we gotta straighten out these triangles. Maybe we can get away with doing this. Um, delete you. Um, duplicate symmetrically on. Oh wow, that didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen quite the way that I wanted it to. So why is that off? Why why are you off? I like that. <laughs> I like the IC. Why are you all off? All right. Why? Why? Pourquoi? Uh, I don't want those. We're gonna get rid of those. Add a layer above. No, add a layer above this. I want you dead center. Dead center triangles. Uh, we'll go to the red. Um, we'll flip it whole vertically, and then we will extend thine triangle. And then, I was almost tempted to subject you guys to City Skylines. <laughs> I've been playing a hell of a lot of City Skylines lately. I almost didn't want to do a Gran Turismo stream today. But I did. I did, because I love you guys. <laughs> uh, I've been playing a lot of City Skylines lately. Um, that is going to be a new... Um, a new installment on the channel once I get to f actually filming the first episode of that um, I'm just right now like laying out my road work which uh, Lumbi Smoggy the yellow you know there is yellow on this car it's on the side it's on the side. There's a there's a relief yellow color. There's a relief yellow stripe on it. Duplicate symmetrically. All right. All righty then. Ah, that doesn't look bad. Uh, maybe too much red though, huh? Maybe we just keep the eyelids red. Um. And this circle underneath, I have it as blue. Technically, it should be white. Let's just go to black. That yeah, will be black. I think that 32 is too big. It's too big. This is big. How about a smaller number? How about a smaller number circle? Eh, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Maybe over to the side. Maybe we'll do one of these moves. Huh? Right? Maybe one of these moves on the side. We'll keep the middle for something else. Yeah, that feels better. How you doing, Smoggy? How's everyone doing? Not enough black on it. On the whole car? Should have put more black things on the car? Like, what, what should I make black? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to change this red triangle to blue. Uh, 
kind of like the kind of like the what's it called's red probably should write run a blue stripe down the middle or a white stripe or something down the middle I don't know <laughs> I don't know the TT is second faster since the update You're getting more used to the wheel. That's good. That's good. Lumby! What's up, Lumby? How's our most awesome Lumby doing? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Thanks, Brigsby. Granted, it's, uh... My style's a little, little bit antiquated, but there ain't nothing wrong with antiquated styles. Yeah, I could buy it. There's your yellow, by the way. It's one, one yellow stripe. <laughs> There's one yellow stripe on this car. <laughs> How about this? How about we do this? Now that I look at it. How about we make these blue? And then make this red. Yeah. That feels better. Yeah, that feels much better. Hey, yeah, retro's cool, right? The G29 is a good wheel, man. Most, a lot of people drive on the G29. You know, I think anything above the G29 almost is overkill for Gran Turismo. I even think my T300 to a certain degree is overkill for Gran Turismo. I mean, I'm nothing wrong against, you know, people wanting to buy the DD Pro. You know, I get it. But I think it's a lot of marketing. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> That's just me. Grass. So Sony was like, you know what? This fanatic thing is really popular amongst, <laughs> amongst, um, you know, livery or uh, what's it called? People that own or play Gran Turismo. So we should probably um, capitalize on that. <laughs> That's just me. Nothing against anyone that owns one, you know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think it's a little overkill. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's way too expensive. I agree, Phil. I agree. I'm just saying. That's just me. You know? I'm not totally right. That's just my opinion. I think I think Sony saw the cash grab and was and so did so did um so did a Fnatic for a, for for the most part. They're like, hey, you know what? We should probably partner up. Probably sell a lot of units. You know, we probably sell a lot of units, man. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little red on this side, too. Um, but we need to put a splitter line in there. I'm, I'm just saying, you know, that's just me. That's just me. I'm just saying it's a, it's a little overkill, I think, you know? I, I think it's a little bit, a little bit much. You know, I'm nothing against anyone that owns one, and then you, you know, more power to you, man. But I've seen a lot of people been like, you know, I think I need to get a G. I think I need to get a a, a DD Pro to play Gran Turismo. Like, you know, the game was made for. The game was designed with the controller in mind. I mean, in in for the most part, I think the wheel is a little bit of a kill. <laughs> you know, that's just me. They're still not using the GD Pro at the, the the GT events, really. Yeah, you know exactly. You could buy two of PS fives for the cost of a DD uh, for a fanatic setup. You know, I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. That's that's just that's just me. That's my opinion. 
but I've seen a lot of people ask, especially, you know, when pe someone who is playing Gran Turismo, you know, a bigger YouTuber, um, you know, is playing Gran Turismo and people are like, oh, I need to get DD Pro. It's a smart marketing, it's a smart marketing move on both Grand, uh, both Sony and, uh, and Fanatic's part. You know, it's a really, really smart marketing move. Whether or not you need one to play the game, that's a whole different story. <laughs> I, I think, I think a lot of people have the impression that like, oh, I need to have a DD Pro in order to play this game. Like, uh, most people that play ACC don't even need a DD Pro. <laughs> you know, if you got a, if you got the room, if you got the room for that rig, then yeah, you know, more power to you, man. Get one. Yeah, I think they use the TG2 for um, the Thrustbuster. Yeah, I'm really um, the lot the new Logitech. DD drive I'm really interested in. I would say I get the Thrustmaster one, but apparently that's only good for the PC. Which, I mean, I play ACC on the PC, um, but I would like it to work for both the, what's it called? But even that, that's like a, you know, a luxury thing. I think, honestly, what makes more of a difference is having a load cell. You know, I think that's the real, the real game changers. If you have a load cell, yeah. I mean, Phil. I mean, that's no, there's no. That's like actually the perfect controller. I think is the controller. You know, this. And I've said it. You said it once. I'll say it again. This game was made to showcase Sony technology. Um. And in that case, the controller, I think, is the, um, especially if you're, you know, if you're really good at it, the controller is the meta for, for Gran Turismo. You know, not, not any of the wheels. There are things that I could get away with on the controller when I was still playing with uh, motion control that I cannot, cannot get away with, um, with with uh, the wheel. There are definitely things that I cannot get away with as far as like controlling the car um, with with the wheel that I could get, get away with with uh, the controller. That's just my opinion. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Just a little bit of relief. I don't have to see it. I just need to feel it. Just so that it isn't so stark blue. Let's go 50-50. I just want to fill it. Yeah, I could buy that. I could buy that. A little fade. A little fade action. An IKEA couch. <laughs> That's funny, Brigsby. Yeah, I think the load cell makes a bigger difference than the actual wheel does. I, I think the sensation of being able to kind of gauge uh, how much brake you're putting on is. And that's why I think the new controllers, you know, the new PS5 controllers with the haptic feedback are probably amazing with this game. But once again, like I said, that's, that's my opinion, man. That is my opinion. You know? I, I almost think that uh, haptic controllers, the haptic controls with the, with uh, with for uh, motion control is probably amazing. It's probably amazing. 
I had a really, really easy, good time with, with playing this game on on uh, motion control. Yes, this whole idea right here is getting more and more elaborate as we speak. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know what? I want to do that to these guys, too. So that they just aren't so stark white. There you go. I know you guys probably can't see it. I can see it. I can see the difference. <laughs> yeah, right? The dual sense is fine. Yeah, load cell is kind of a funny word, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I think for the most part, I think the dual sense is all you really need, man. I want a PS5 more more than I want a um, a DD Pro. I need to put sponsorship stickers on this car. At least we accomplished the idea that I can see that shininess now. I want to see that paint underneath. That part's complete. Um, they're thinking of the PP points. <laughs> I'm going to load my cell with poop. My poop cell. My poop load. And this is this is going to be a fun little exercise in the back here. Um, I could probably put studios right underneath. Let's do it. Let's do all of this differently back here. I kind of liked it off to the side there, but I need I need this to be centered a layer below. Um, and then we also want to change... Ah, oh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second here. <laughs> have you guys... Have, has, have they not found a new Prime Minister yet? <laughs> Smoggy, it sounds like you're, you, you picked a good time to stay, be in the United States, man. <laughs> have they not picked a new Prime Minister yet? I know Boris is gone, right? Boris, Boris the menace, is gone now, right? Is that what that's is that is that what's happening? <laughs> Where's this other Los Angeles? Delete that. Oh no, Did we delete one of the Los Angeles off the side. Oh my gosh! Flip horizontally. Larry the cat gets your vote. <laughs> it needs a wiener car. Yeah, what's going on with what's going on with the UK? First you guys lose the queen and now now you've lost your prime minister. <laughs> what's going on? What's up with that? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't have a job right now. I mean, I take it. Prime, Prime Minister Kaboom. <laughs> Let's use a slick Los Angeles. I wonder if Kaboom Studios is going to be in Los Angeles too much longer. Kaboom Studios might be moving back to Virginia. Los Angeles. Not to mention, I think I think I didn't do these. I think one of these is in Helvetica, and one of them's in um, one of them is in uh, Gotham.
I'm a big stickler for um for uh, fonts, and I know my fonts. <laughs> I wish I had a PS5. I need to get a PS5. I should get one. I might be moving. I don't want to, but I might be moving. I really can't afford to move, actually. Just being asked to move. Yeah, I might have to move back to Virginia to take care of my folks. I'm being asked to. Um, that's a whole other bag of worms. That's a whole other bag of worms that I got this week. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> talk about it. If at all possible, I'd like to stay in Los Angeles if that's the case. Uh, that's a little too close. Man, I could always repeat it on the other side. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. Why not? PS5 Pro or nothing. Is the Pro coming out? There's a Pro coming out, right? It's funny. I'm, I don't norm. I'm normally not this. Um. I'm normally not too. Uh, specific about the uh, how this lines up back here with my logos but since this is my car I'm going to be really really specific about it okay so I want that to line up there This car's gonna be far faster when I'm finished with this. Finished with this, uh. <laughs> with this, uh. What's it called? This livery. And I would like this top line to f line up with that. If at all possible. So maybe just a little bit larger. And some moving up. That's close enough. All right. Maybe we'll move this out just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more breathing space. And then make sure you line up here, which you do not. Needs to be larger. Normally, I'm not this. Alta, what's going on, man? How you doing? I would like to get a PS5. I need to get the money up for a PS5. Honestly, you know what? Before I get a PS5, I want to get a new. I want to build a new PC. I don't know. I don't know what's going to come first, the PC or the PS5. Uh, I would like to buy a new PC. I know I just bought the the one that I have. Uh, the more I play City Skylines, and if I want to make it part of the channel, 
the more I'm realizing I need a l just a tiny bit more power. <laughs> Actually, I need more RAM is what I need. I'm already starting to run out of RAM for that game. No, I, normally, you don't need that much RAM for a video game, but the way that City Skylines runs, is it, it's RAM hungry. You owe 500 more liveries. <laughs> I, you know, I'm kind of split on which one I want. I want to, I, well, you know what? I need the disc one because the one game that I have that I usually I do play uh, is Red Dead Redemption, and I only have the discs for that. I don't want to have to buy Red Dead Redemption. I'm not. I'm not doing the same thing I did with uh, with uh, with GTA, which I bought at this point. I bought GTA for four different machines. I bought it for the X, Xbox. I bought it for the PlayStation. I bought it for the PC, and I bought it for the PS4. So now I have four, literally four different copies of Grand GTA V. <laughs> I don't like the physical copy. You know why? Because I don't like the, the waste. I don't like having all of the, the, the clutter. Once again, that's my per personal preference. After my house burned down a while back, when I was still living in Virginia, um, I learned about it. <laughs> I, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should downsize, man. <laughs> Maybe I should downsize. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM is good, and that's what I have for my, for my, for my computer. Um, I really want 128. Uh, you can, you can, you can, look, I'm playing a really modded game with a lot of assets. I have, to this date, to date, I have 3,200 assets that I'm playing with, with City Skylines. Um, I have something called the loading screen mod, which tells me what my allocation for RAM and uh, disk space is. When it loads up is when City Skylines technic when it uses is the most RAM, and at 32 gigs I'm already hitting red line. Um, it's not while loading assets. It's also the mods I'm playing with. I'm playing with about I would say about 30 different mods for that game, and uh, that's where I'm running into. The, the problem with City Skylines is the way that it works. Uh, it's just RAM hungry. It uses a lot of RAM when it, lo especially while it's loading. When it's loading, it uses like every ounce of RAM that you're. It doesn't matter how m much, how big your RAM allotment is. City Skylines will find a way to use all of it. <laughs> it scales. It scales to your system. But with 64 gigs of RAM, I'd probably load faster. Not that I'm complaining about the three minutes it takes for me to load at at this point. It used to take me with 16 gigs of RAM. It used to take me about 30 minutes to load a game. <laughs> but uh, 32 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 3200, um, seems to be all right. It also, the NVMe drives also help. Um, oh, Pad Thai. That sounds delicious. Um... That tie would be really delicious right now. 30, uh, 32 gigs of RAM is enough. It's enough to have a pretty modded game and a good, decent amount of assets. I'm probably running way too many assets right now. Oh, wow. I don't normally like pre-ordering games. Speaking of computers, all right, so all the Kaboom stickers are done. All the detailing's done. I need to add a couple more sponsors to this car. Um, and then we can race after that. I'm sorry if you guys are waiting to race. I'm sorry to hold everyone up, but I can't 
I can't drive a car that doesn't have a delivery on it. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm less of a person if I'm driving a car without a livery on it. Um, so whenever I put decals on a car, I usually use stuff that I actually use in real life. Um, so we'll put my computer... This is my computer. Oh, although I don't like that, I don't like that. I don't see that blue on there. Can I move it to the window? I like the placement, though. And I like the white on there. I just don't like that I don't see that blue in there, that little blue helicopter thingamajigger. I'm still on the PS4 Pro, too. I'm I'm still on the PS PS4 Pro too. Is that picky? It might just being picky. Um, windows. Maybe we'll put that Legion sticker on the window. Because in there, there I would see that blue helicopter thing in me, thing in me jigger. Yeah, that feels better. Like I said, I like to use stuff that I actually use in real life as my sponsor. <laughs> you know, I should probably... This is Go Greddy. Since Go Greddy just sponsored me, I'm going to put a Greddy sticker on my, on my, on my car. <laughs> I've got him. He just sponsored me for real, so I should probably put a sponsorship sticker on there somewhere. We should put a Go Grady sticker on here somewhere. Okay, so that Legion sticker will be up there. Um, who else? What else do I use a lot? I uh, will race later. Yeah, after after I finish this car. We're, we're getting to the end here. This is the end. We're going to race later. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Windows. I should go ahead and just change that in my settings. I want to line up the surface, just in case. It's not going to really matter on the windows, but... On the surface. Uh, we'll change this to align the surface. So that everything at this point will be aligned with surface and I don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, now, this isn't something that's atypical. Um, but you, there below. I know I know we have that Lenovo sticker there. Uh, but it wouldn't hurt to put a, just an actual Lenovo sticker on there. Um, I like this one a lot. And I could probably fit it right there. Yeah, that fits right there. Let's make sure you are parallel to this line right here. Parallelo. Parallelo. Lilo Dallas multi multipass. Ooh, I like that contrast. Lilo Dallas multipass. Yeah, Lenovo. Uh, <laughs> that's the type of computer I use. Now... Another company I like to you like to frequent. I would I wouldn't mind them. Oh, I need to put a Thrustmaster sticker on here somewhere. Ah, well, we can put that in the back. We could put that somewhere back here somewhere. Uh, maybe we could put it on the side door here. Uh, where's my trust master? Another company that I want to put on here is, uh, oh, you know what? Sennheiser. Uh, the type of microphone I talk out of is a Sennheiser. So, it's a very expensive Sennheiser at that. <laughs> so, 
a fifteen hundred dollar Sennheiser uh, microphone is what I'm speaking to you on. Yeah, the G twenty nine is a great wheel to plug and play. No, it's it's a fantastic wheel. Great wheel. And I also like that that's blue. Though I can make it white. But that's Sennheiser blue. Yeah, I'm speaking to you on a very, very expensive Sennheiser. <laughs> Uh, I didn't buy it for streaming. It was uh, it was something that I had to acquire for work, for um, the movie stuff. So don't think that I bought my. I, ha I have a really expensive mic because I wanted it for streaming. <laughs> um, though I wouldn't mind them sponsor me. <laughs> I don't know if I would buy a Sennheiser or headphones. I'm not, I'm not a Oh, you know what? There's a white Sennheiser sticker. Oh. That's right. I forgot I downloaded that one. I wonder if we're going to fit that back here. I mean, this is something that you'll, you would see on a real car where they repeat... They'll repeat sponsors. Ah, uh, no. No. Uh, we can find another spot for that. I mean, I can almost make that Sennheiser or white. Let me see what this looks like at white. And up there. I don't... I don't not like that. I mean, it can go either way. There's just a big empty space down there. Is that straight? Yeah, the microphone I use for streaming is way overkill. <laughs> it's way overkill. I almost like it better there. All right, well, we'll save that. We'll we'll flip it to the other side. Yeah, I like it better there. Oh, it's running into the door handle. <laughs> oh, I get to move that a little bit. Let's move it. Let's move it back just a bit, so that its Sennheiser brethren on the other side doesn't run into the door handle. Oh no, it needs to go up. There you go. That'll work. Oh, you're talking about working on retail. Where do you work? Flat pick. Dude, I haven't picked up any of my guitars in forever, dude. I haven't, I haven't played guitar. I haven't played either any of my guitars, my ukulele, or um, my bass in forever. Nor have I used any of this stuff in a while. I, I need to. I need to. I need to get back to making music at some point, to some degree. Uh, we'll do a Thrustmaster decal. We need to trust master decal on there somewhere. Uh, I don't know, below. I want to put Alaska on there because I fly Alaska. I love Alaska Airlines. Let's put a Ray Ban on there somewhere because I do use Ray Bans. I do have a pair of Ray Bans. You know, I never. I've always wanted to make a Sony Walkman car. I've just never gotten around to it. 
Oh, we got a bunch of new Alpha stickers. When did I get all those? Oh, well, that's not going to get on this car. I'm also a big fan of Roland. I've got a bunch of Roland equipment that I haven't used in a while. One of the finest purveyors of drum machines and synthesizers in the United in the world. I like the sound of a Roland. Uh, Thrustmaster, where are you? You're around here somewhere. It's one of my. It should be like in my early. There we go. The Thrustmaster. I almost think I could just throw it under here. What up here? Thrust Master. I feel like I'm not utilizing this big empty space down here. But I don't want this Thrust Master with a Sennheiser. We can always get rid of the Sennheiser. Let's just hide you. And then throw the Thrustmaster up here. Throw the Thrustmaster up here. on the master thrust <laughs> um add a layer above I'm the master of thrust the master of thrusting You listen to Iron Maiden while you're playing Gran Turismo. <laughs> um, you know the oh, uh, who's the ba bass player? I was just because my memory's bad. Um, they've got a really good bass player. Um, I know the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Is a really good bass player. Um. Bass player for Iron Maiden. Who is that? I know, right? It does sound like a. <laughs> I am the master of thrust. <laughs> that's the. It's my OnlyFans. <laughs> Maybe if we line it up right underneath the window here. Yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. I'll take that Thrustmaster. Thrustmaster. Uh, duplicate on the opposite side. We'll master that thrust by duplicating on the opposite side. And then the Sennheiser. Did we already erase you? Yeah, we did. Um, we might be able to run the thrust, the Sennheiser right underneath that. Though it would seem like it would be too much. Iron Maiden's much older than 2004. <laughs> the Maiden of Iron. Can, can we run the thrust? We, we could put the Sennheiser down here, but it would just have to be smaller than the Thrustmaster. Oh, I don't like how it lines up. This is where I was talking about this car, man. This car's got a weird... A weird line that back here. When you get back here, it's like I don't know, 
it's just odd. It um, tapers out. Like it starts out thin here and then it gets thicker. But that makes putting anything back here a little bit harder. Maybe we can put Sennheiser down here somewhere. No, because then it gets all messed up with that line. That's what I'm talking about, this car. Maybe we can put that small Sennheiser one up here. Eh, get rid of you. Let's put that small Sennheiser. Where's that other one? Yes. That's the one I'm talking about. We can put that. No, it's too small. No no sponsor in the right minds would want their decal that small. They can't even read the type on it. Nope. No. I mean, back here would work, but then on the other side it would not work. But if we made the Lenovo a little bit smaller, maybe it would work. The woodwork. Woodworking. Maybe if we made the Lenovo. I mean, they already got a good representation on the side there. So maybe if we put Sennheiser this size, right next to Lenovo, that size, it might work. It might worky. Worky? No worky. Lenovo like down that way. Worky, no worky. Um, I mean, it might work. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Mark Knopfler. Brian May or Dave Gilmore. I like both of them as a guitarist. I don't know who the best guitarist is. It's hard to gauge things like that. Ah, yeah, that workies. That workies. I almost don't like where that Thrustmaster is. I almost don't like that Thrustmaster decal either. <laughs> How's this going to work? Can you, can you, can we hover you there? Delete that. Delete that. Yeah, it's hard for me to, like, I'm a bass player by, by nature, but for like me to say who the best play, bass player is, very hard. It's like my favorite song. Like whenever someone asks me what my favorite song is, I can never give them a straight answer on that one. Favorite song or favorite movie is another one. That feels better. Oh, what do we do there? Okay, one more sponsorship decal, and then I need to deal with the back wing, and then that, that'll be it. I should put something up front, too. Alright, we'll deal with it. Hold on. Let's do this real quick. Uh, decal on the side. Norman Watt Roy is the best bass player. No W anchor allowed. No wankers allowed, is what you're saying? I'm gonna allow wankers because I'm British. <laughs> I want to see if I can't work this Alaska decal on there. I love Alaskan Airlines. <laughs> I mean, it almost would work right there. Mainly because, uh, that does work there. 
I want to work Boeing into it because I love Boeing. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, and it almost looks like me in there. Even though I'm not Alaskan. <laughs> Big fan of Alaska Airlines though, man. You're talking to an MVP Alaska Airlines uh, card holder. I always get bumped up to first class in Alaska. Because I'm part of their MVP, MVP, MVP program. It pays. It pays to collect your mileage, folks. I'm just going to say. If you fly a lot. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Sausage scrubbers. Ah, uh, because I for always forget to post it on Discord. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't like the Thrustmaster either. I'm kind of torn on that. Because it just doesn't look good, right? Maybe Thrustmaster doesn't get a decal on the side. They'll only get a decal on the front and the back. <laughs> I don't like it. I just don't like what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. I like the Sennheiser better there. Uh, but I like where the Sennheiser is now. Maybe I just won't put anything in that little white area, that blue area. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take a look at it. Now, you know what it is with that area back there? It looks too busy because this is a weird angle back here. Um, it doesn't matter what you put back there. You, you're, you, you either conform to this angle or you're gonna conform to this angle. And, and it's just a weird taper there. It's just a weird spot to put decals. You wouldn't think it, but when you mess with this car, you see it and you're just like, wow, that looks just really odd. So it's just probably better just to leave it clear. Up until you get to the trunk, it doesn't really matter because the trunk's got so many weird angles back there. The Thrustmaster is... I, I don't like that decal, number one, but putting anything in this area... See, look, watch. It just looks weird because you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to conform to one or two of the the lines back there. So, so say I wanted to put this Boeing back there. It's gonna be weird because it's either gonna be straight, it's either gonna be aligned with this line, or it's gonna be aligned with that line, and and it doesn't look right either way. Like, it doesn't look right there, it doesn't look right here, and it doesn't look right straight on. It's just a weird spot. <laughs> so it's either going to be above or below that line, but anything in between... And I've messed with it. I've messed with this one area here for a while, off stream, and it's a weird spot. It's just a weird area to put anything there. So I'm almost more inclined to keep it empty. It's easier to put it back here because you've got this angle, you have this angle, you know, you have a straight line, but you don't have this door line here, which is just... See how it tapers? It tapers to wider? It's just weird putting anything back there, man. So it's almost better just to leave it empty. You know? Although it feels like I'm wasting sponsorship space. It just feels weird. It feels weird putting anything there. All right. Uh, we'll give Thrustmaster the front and the back, though. As I still have spots back there. <laughs> we'll give Thrust. We'll give Thrustmaster some love. Um. Below. 
Oh wait, no. No, that's other. Other. And they're below. To the rear. We'll give the Thrustmaster back. We'll give Thrust... <laughs> that sounds more like a porn. We're gonna give some Thrustmaster love to the back. <laughs> sounds... That sounds so bad. <laughs> I wish Thrustmaster was a named Thrustmaster. <laughs> this is a bad name. Oh, is that a rear part? Really? I guess so, huh? Weird. It's normally an other part. It's normally an other part. Whatever. Add layer below. Thrustmaster love to the rear. <laughs> hey, Matt, what's going on? Uh, you would think it'd be the other. For this car, it's the rear, apparently. It was weird. Normally, normally that's the other part, but this this car, it, no, it isn't. Is that is that not a, is that not a part I can paint? What's going on with that? What up with that? What up with that? Oh, there it goes. It wasn't doing it before. Strange. Strange. Oh, Italians, why do you have to make your number plates so weird? I want to put that right there. Alright. I'm not going to let those screws bother me. <laughs> They do. They sure as hell do. Uh, can we can we add another thing back there? Can we add more things back there? What are the, what are the thrust mastering do I have? Oh, I have this one. That's gonna be too much back there. I could do that. We'll just leave it Thrustmaster. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, do I want to put anything else on the back here? How about some Lenovo's? How about some Lenovo's back there? Rear. Nope, not that one. Rears. Lenovo's. Yeah, we'll throw some Lenovo up there. Some Lenovo love. Maybe we can throw some Sennheiser back there, too. Oh, you know where we can put the Sennheiser? I know where I can put the Sennheiser. Oh, windows. Add layer. To the roofs. This is where we can put our big old Sennheiser. Big old Sennheiser back here. Can never forget that you got the back window. There you go. There you go, Sennheiser. Not like anyone's gonna ever see that. Whatever. Or 
well, when you're behind me, which is never, you'll see that. I <laughs> uh, almost think I should do that in white. Just to make it pizzop. Pop a little bit. Sennheiser. Uh, rear wing needs something. And then uh, we'll put them thrust masters on the front plates. I don't think I'm going to put anything on the hood. Let's keep the hood design like it is. I was thinking I was going to put my old kaboom decal up there, but it's it's going to make the hood too busy. All right, we'll see. We're nearing the end, though, my friends. We are nearing the end. This whole ordeal is just about over with. I'll deal with the, um. I'll deal with the, uh. The 4C later. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with the 4C. Oh, why Italians? You have to put the screw there. Damn you, Italians. Uh, window banner. Oh, we have to put our new. We have to put our new sponsor on the window. <laughs> Since Greddy is our new sponsor, <laughs> Greddy's gonna get Greddy's get some love on the front end of the car. There we go. Another beautiful decal made by um, the one and only Lumby. It's a Lumby. There's a Lumby decal. There we go. <laughs> He's a new sponsor of the stream. So he needs to get some representation on the car. <laughs> and, uh... I think that's about it. I think that's, I think that's the furthest I'm going to go with this guy. Um, oh, rear wing. Decal. You can't not have a decal on the rear wing. Uh, what do I have in the form of an Alfa Romeo? I don't think I have many Alfa Romeo stickers. Money, what's going on, man? How you doing? Some Trojan stickers. You know, I th I don't know. Sh I don't know if honestly that's on. Um, I don't know if that's on the uh, in the workshop. We can use this one. I mean, not like anyone's going to see that there. Oh, we're going to projection limit depth. Limit you down to there. And then, um... And then, uh, and then. And then. I guess it doesn't matter because this is all aligned with, um... And then. I'm gonna do a little a couple of these guys back here. Let's put it out there. And then limit your depth to that. Ooh, I don't like where that is. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it is a boring. It was was a boring update. That's it. I think that's it. I think that's all we're gonna do to this car. I think that's all we're gonna do. Uh, I don't think I can color this valance down here. I don't think that can be colored. Can it? Oh, you can't. 
Well, damn it. Can the back one be covered? Oh, I guess it can. Ah, uh, you little... You... You car. You know, that's where we're going to throw the Thrustmaster on the side. Duplicate okay, on the opposite side. Duplicate it symmetrically. You know, I kind of like not continuing this color motif down here. I kind of like the idea that this is all all kind of in the middle there. I can always play with colors. I mean, that's just me. Mr. T, what's going on, man? Good to see you, dude. Where did I put that? Oh, that's other. Uh, what do you think? What do you guys think? Should I color that down there? What, what, what color could we go with? Ooh, that blue isn't bad. So it kind of matches the color of that. Mr. T. few hours news. Well, welcome, welcome back being awake. I know. It's not a very good update, is it? <laughs> it wasn't a very good update. It is what it is. It is what it is. It wasn't very exciting, though. I kind of like the color, that blue down there. I don't know. I mean, it was fine in black. Black and black! Black and black! Um, decals. Other. Let's throw a layer above that. How was your nap, Mr. T? I pity the fool. I pity the fool who wakes me up during my nap. Is that is that angle angled? That's close enough. Ooh. I kind of like that. Should I continue this now, right? I shouldn't continue this red, blue, gray, whatever. Right? Down to here. No? Right? I mean, that's just me. I mean, I don't think I'd think I'm gonna like it down there. I kind of like that it's. Kind of like that it's just. Um. Kind of like that it's uh. Isolated to that middle part. But in that case. M eight. Em, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, I'm going to play on the crayons for a little bit. I can't be driving around with a stock... Um, <laughs> stock livery, dude. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. I don't play no... I don't play with those no stock liveries. Except on the cars that I haven't made a livery on, which is... <laughs> the other car. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe I should put... Maybe I should continue that little motif down there. Just to 
break it up a little bit, huh? The more I look at it, the more, the more I feel like I need it down there. I mean, I'm cool with it like that. Ah, let's look. Let's just look at it and see what it looks like. I don't think I'm going to like it down there, though. That's what she said. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to like it down there. Oh, wait, maybe it doesn't look too, maybe it doesn't look terrible down there. It doesn't look terrible. Bit. Make it a little bit bigger. That's the size. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, maybe I shouldn't. Okay. Well, either way, that's not going to take too long. Uh, we need to edit our options, align with the camera. And then decals will start other we'll start with this one. Well, how about that? That red isn't quite big enough, huh? We can no one's ever gonna notice. No one's ever gonna notice except for me. Okay, so that color is this dark grayish color. Where are you? Where is the palette I used for this? Was it this one? Was it vivid? Standard vivid chart. Oh, wait, it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's that one, right? angle looks like it's slightly off. Or maybe it's the size. That's it. Uh, duplicate the layer. Sneak that white in there. Duplicate that layer. Add that white in there. Duplicate this layer. Nope. We'll duplicate you. And uh, we'll make you sit on top of that one. We'll change you to that purplish color. Which is that one. Hierarchy's wrong. Move you to here. Yeah, there we go. You guys are lucky that I'm a professional livery maker. Duplicate uh, you. Duplicate. And uh, we'll stick you in between there. Nope, we can't. Move layer there. Um, you need to move over, but you need to be uh, this. Is it this blue? Yeah, it's that one. And then. You gotta go. Oh. 
You gotta go smaller. Close enough. Duplicate you. We'll delete you. There's that one, and then that one. This one? Yeah, we'll duplicate you. Duplicate. Hey, what's going on, Ryan? I give a shit. <laughs> I give a shit. That's a, that's a, that's who gives a shit. I do. <laughs> that one. And who cares if it looks gay? <laughs> Why does that matter? <laughs> uh, duplicate layer. What does that got to do with anything? Can't be driving around the same car as everyone else, man. That's just, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> Duplicate layer. Move layer to there. There's no room. There's no room for that on my track, my friend. Duplicate layer. Move uh, and duplicate you. Move layer. There. And then move you there. Move layer here. Nope. Move layer this way. And then, where's that red layer? Make this red layer smaller. There you go. That looks better. That looks better. All right, time to. You know, and I put a fade on there somewhere, but you probably can't read it down there, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Yeah, that works. But that works. I'll, I, I can live with that. There's so much bending going on down there, so you probably wouldn't even see the gradient. That There's a slight gradient on all these colors that you can just barely feel. Uh, but you probably wouldn't even notice it down there, so pfft, I don't care. I don't notice it. If you do, then you're looking too hard at it. Alright, so duplicate symmetrically. Uh, duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Uh, duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. And then duplicate that symmetrically. And that's done. That is it. That looks fine. Yeah, why not? Why not? Quick, sloppy, but simple. It's easy.
Yeah, why not? I'll take it. I'll buy that for a dollar. I could probably put a gradient on that. Nah, that's it. Not worth it. Overwrite. Overwrite. That's the 155. 155 is done. Uh, I'll do the 4C later. I don't want to, have to deal with the 4C right now. The 4C is uh, it's going to be a challenge because that car is tiny. There's not a lot of room to design on that car. I can see why Alpha was super lazy and just threw a huge decal on it because it's it's going to be a pain in the ass to design on. <laughs> it's gonna it's not probably won't be as bad as the RSR because the RSR is a kind of a nightmare to design on. Um, but uh, this will be the 155 we'll be running during manufacturers. Yeah, it looks alright. Looks pretty good, huh? Not too shabby. It's not my best work, but it'll work. Perfect time to try the new scapes. Oh, yeah, I've been, been really wanting to do that. <laughs> Are there nice Castro liveries for the 4C? I don't know if I want to do a Castro car for the 4C. I'd like to do a Kaboom Studios car. Name on the bonnet, you think? I don't know. I thought about that. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, you know, it's not too bad with the controller. It's not too... I, you know, I thought about having the mouse. Um, it isn't bad with the controller if you get used to it. Does the uh, Ford not have a Group 3 car? Right, let's see what it looks like with my name on the, the hood. Uh, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to do too much on the hood. Because I'd have to throw one of these guys on here, probably. I'll throw it like that there. I mean, we could. Although I wouldn't want it to be a circle. I'd want it to be a squarish kind of thing. Just to not get along, not to get crazy with that circle. Um, I'm going to have to put that. See the kaboom white. And then... Uh, add a layer on top of that. <sighs> it looks gray. Great. Thanks. I mean, it looks alright. It isn't the greatest decal. It's, it isn't the greatest livery I've done. Uh, I bet it'll work. <laughs> I mean, that isn't bad, right? That isn't bad. I'll throw that. Is my name on the white side? Uh, I don't have a decal that long. That's the only decal I have with my name on it. I'd have to make another decal, and I don't want to do that right now. Oh, that name? No, I wouldn't put that on there. That's just my driver name. I wouldn't put that on the side. I'd actually put a Kaboom operator on the side if I were... Like, along these lines, you mean? Right here? Yeah, I don't have, like, a full... I'd have to make a whole other decal. I don't feel like... I don't feel like breaking out the program to do that. This doesn't look bad, though. I mean, I'll take that. Why not? Yeah, why not? You don't? <laughs> Rabbit doesn't want to race you? That doesn't look terrible. It kind of fills out the front. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, good enough for me. 
Were you not friends with me before? Alto? I thought you were friends with me before, weren't you? What were you racing under before? How did you get into the lobbies before if you weren't friends? Need something on the other side from number? You think? Are you talking about here? Or like here? Where, which way, which, which side are you talking about? This one? Or this one? Oh, that's your alt account. Okay. Word. Or friends. Are you talking about this side, Mr. T? Right here? Or this one? On the left side. Here? I mean, I could. In, in this gap here? Don't you think that's going to be too much? I don't really like to put a whole bunch on the hood. I mean, I could. I usually keep the hood pretty clean, though. I mean, just because from the sponsorship... I mean, I guess you'd see it from the top. You know, you would see it from the top here. Oh, this right side. You're talking about this right here. I mean, I could put something there, but... I really don't have anything I'd want to put there. At least right now. Not right now. I'll think about it. How about that? I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll take it into consideration and then look at it. Um... Oh, we'll open a lobby now since there's like a lot of people here. Everyone can get a UK account but you. I'll think about it. Let me take a look at what I have, but I don't really have too much that would fit in that area. I mean, I do have a Sennheiser decal to put on the side, but then just for the sake of symmetric symmetry I'd want to throw one on the other side but since I've moved the number plate over to the side there it's going to be tough I mean I could put an Alfa Romeo down the side there just for the sake of looking at it we'll throw one there but I don't think it's something that I'm going to want to put there just for the sake of looking at it the only thing that I would want to maybe put there is an alpha sticker. I mean, I could always throw that in there. I mean, that could work. You know, throw an alpha sticker in there. It's just, I had this swoopy thing going on here. Uh, which makes it kind of tough to throw something in there and, and for it to look good. That's just me. You know, it, it, it kind of fits right there. You know, that, that doesn't look bad. But I couldn't really throw anything else in there. I don't really have anything else I could throw in there that's going to look good. lining it up. I mean, that doesn't look terrible. We'll rock it. That's going to be... That's going to be your contribution to this livery, Mr. T. <laughs> it's going to be this Alfa Romeo. That's going to be your contribution. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look terrible. It looks good. You know, I could buy it. Alpha really isn't on this car. They've got, they've got a couple stickers on this car, so we'll give Alpha some love on the on the hood. Yeah. 
That'll work. I still want to get too far into this little thing right here. This little area. Um, let me just move it real quick and then we'll, we'll, we'll call that done. We'll call this finished. How, how far can we go with this? Like maybe there. Maybe, maybe right there. All right. Yeah, that doesn't look terrible. That doesn't look bad. Yeah, that's a cool alpha sticker. I do need the tripod. I do still need the tripod. Come on, render. All right, here we go. Close. Apply the save delivery. Oh, that's awesome. SDS, what's going on, man? How you doing? Yeah, that's the car. All right. That is it. We have accomplished everything that we wanted to do with this car. Mission complete. That's going to be my new Group 4 car. I am going to drive Alpha next season. Whenever the next season starts, we're going to be on Alpha. So, 155... It's my Group 4 car. I gotta work on my 4C at some point. Uh, in the foreseeable future. Ha! Ah, you see what I did there? In the foreseeable future. Thanks, SDS. <laughs> did you see what I got? Did you see what I did there? <laughs> In the foreseeable future. Man, I don't want to drive around the 4C with a stock livery, but I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like doing that. I wanted to finish this livery and I don't want to I didn't want to do another livery, so. <laughs> uh it's a cool car though, the 4C. I like the 4C a lot, man. It's a fun it's a fun car to drive. I know there aren't many fans of the 4C, but I like it. Then again, I drive the Porsche, and no one seems to like the Porsches either. <laughs> I'm the I'm I'm the driver of the cars that people don't want to drive, which are right now the Alpha and the uh, and the 4C. I kind of feel bad leaving Porsche though, man. But I'm gonna say that I'm I'm about at least in the tests that I've done, I'm about two seconds faster in the 4C. That'd be kind of fun, then, uh, Revit. That'd be kind of fun. I've got a bunch of, um, I've got a bunch of, I have a bunch of Macross um, kits already. Uh, if you buy any, one, any from Burbank House of, House, of, House of Hobbies, I have most of the kits that they have. Yeah, it would be nice if it was a little bit more buff, but we'll see what happens, man. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to do Alpha for, like, one season and see how much I like it. And may maybe it'll be the menu that I stick with. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, let me bring up the Lumby Wheel of Death, and we will start... We will start our foray into some racing. If I can find the Lumby Wheel of Death, where is it? Where, where is it? 
Where is the Lumby Wheel of Death? I thought I had bookmarked it, but I guess I didn't. Uh, but we can find it. We can find it. If I look through my browsing history. Did you order any model kits, Revit? Did you order anything from Burback Camps to House of Hobbies? Tell them Eric Bautista sent you. And hopefully they'll send me some love. <laughs> oh my god, where are you? No oh, Burbank Carol House of Hobbies, man. For a while there, I felt like I lived there. Spent a lot of time that place, man. Sorry, I'm looking for... There it is. Nope. That isn't it. Where is it? Is it this one? No. Oh, that's today. When did we last use that thing? Last week, right? Oh, where's the Lumby Wheel of Death? Where is the link for the Lumby Wheel of Death? Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat right now. I'm looking at my search history. That's when we were looking at model kits. Tunes. There it is. There we go. There we are. Select. Let us select tr several tracks. And then we'll vote. Uh, we'll go over to the desktop. Why is the desktop not. Why is it that small? Why? Why do you look like that? Alright. Chat up. Sorry, we're, we're looking at all the things that I look at when I'm streaming. I like the chat small. Just for, just for the sake of being able to see you guys chat while we spin the wheel. Oh, and we need a notepad too. Keep on alt tabbing. There we go. And we need a notepad. Second, we get let me get a notepad up. What are you talking about? What comes up on the spin a lot? Are you talking about rap special X? Because that seems to come up, up on the spin a lot. <laughs> seems to think that we want to do special stage rap X a lot, which is uh, usually not the case. <laughs> I don't think we've ever raced on that track in the history of the stream. Have we ever, ever been like, you know, let's do special rock stage X. <laughs> Whatever the hell you call it. That's like the least... I don't think we've ever run that track. Alright. Let's put the notepad like that. You didn't even realize the music was still playing. It's usually playing, it's usually just playing in the background really low. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Ryan. Alright, here we go. Oh, Lumby, sounds like Lumby took, a, took away the spinning noise. 
Blue Moon Bay. Well, we'll do the uh, for Blue Moon Bay. If we do that, we'll do um, we'll do the infield because I like the infield right. I, I like the infield track. Copy that. Paste that. Copy that. Yeah, if that ends up being the winner, we'll do the uh, the infield race. Ah, uh, because I'm not. And then nothing against NASCAR or anything, but I'm just, I'm just not a huge fan of the ovals in this game. Um, next spin. Kyoto Driving Park. That hasn't come up yet. Kyoto Driving Park. Uh, that track, I am not very good at. Um, but I'm always willing to learn it. A Kyoto Driving Park. All right, that would be Kyoto Driving Park. Seventeen laps, three x three x, with only hard tires. That would be an interesting race. Probably a sprint. I would imagine. I think our cars can handle three x three x as far as gas and tires are concerned. Trial Mountain. I like the Trial Mountain. For 10 laps, tire 2x, fuel 2x, hard and soft tires. We probably just, for 10 laps, We'd probably just make that a one stop, so we'd make either maybe this maybe we'll make a sauce required for that one. If we do that. Tire modifier was only two X too, so. Nope. Already have that one on the docket. Cuba circuit. Show sure, why not. Ten laps. Wow, there are a lot of ten lap races here. Cuba circuit. Ten laps. Tires two x fuel one x with medium and hards required. Maybe we'll make that a one stop. So maybe the medium is required. Those are the four races. Remember, if we do Blue Moon Bay, if we do Blue Moon Bay, then we'll make we'll make it the what's it called the infield. Um, so just just bear in mind. That it's gonna say Blue Moon Bay, but we're gonna do the one that has more tor more more turns than just the left hand turn. <laughs> and that's for 18 laps. 2x, 2x. And I'll keep the uh the driving requirements up. I'll keep this little notepad thing up so you can be informed at what what race we're doing. Or what races we're voting on. I kind of want to do the Blue Moon Bay, honestly. The infield. I like the infield. I like the Blue Moon Bay infield a lot. And I think that's probably the most interesting race out of this bunch here. Trial Mountain could be fun, too. But I would make Trial Mountain, since it's only a 10-lap race, I would make like the usable tires soft. Here, I'll make this bigger. I don't think it's going to matter because it's a notepad document. So you guys can see. Yeah, it's not going to make any difference. Uh, hopefully you can see that on the screen. On y'all's screens, whatever you're watching from. 
Uh, but the choice is Blue Moon Bay uh, for 18 laps. Tires 2x, fuel 2x, tires hard and soft. Kyoto Driving Park, park uh, lap 17. Tire 3x, fuel 3x, usable tire hard. That's going to be a tough one. Trial Mountains laps 10. Um, tires 2x, fuel 2x, hard and soft. Probably just make them one or the other because it's a 10 lap race. Um, and then Sakuba Circuit, 10 laps, tires 2x, fuel 1x, medium and hard. And once again, I would probably start at side on the medium side for that since it's only 10 laps. All right, let's vote. Boop. Voting. Ooh, you won at Sakuba's race, the Sakuba in the wet on TMKR stream. That's a tough track to win on in the wet, man. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do Sakuba Circuit in the wet. I mean, that's a possibility. If, if Sakuba Circuit wins, maybe we'll do that in the wet. I mean, that would be fun. We haven't done a rain race in a while, so maybe we'll do one of these with rain. Uh, I'm gonna take a tiny break. I need to get more to drink. Um. I'll be back in just a second. So just give me a, just give me a second.
Okay, I am back. Looks like the Mountain of Trials. The Mountain of Trials looks like it's winning here. At a 62%. No one wants to do Kyoto Driving Park. <laughs> I'll do Trial Mountain, though. I do like Trial Mountain. Uh, if we do Trial Mountain, we'll make it... Uh, We'll make it the soft tires required. We'll do only one tire on that. We'll do we we'll do softs. We'll give it a couple more minutes on the pole. What time is it now? Well, I can't see because notepad's in the way. We'll give it like another minute, but it looks like it's gonna be Trial Mountain. Looks like it's gonna be Trail Mountain. Just fine. It'll be Trail Mountain uh, tires, soft, um, 2x, 2x, fuel 2x. All right, 705. We'll close the pole up, and it looks like Trail Mountain's gonna be it. And end ending pole. Trial Mountain's the winner. Trial Mountain's the winner. So, let's ask car, car choices. Let's do a poll for that. Let's do group two. We'll do group two, 850 PP. Uh, usual. Usual suspects for the groups. Uh, group three, group four. We'll do, we'll do BOP on both of them. Because I know people issues tuning sometimes. And then the fourth category. What can we do for a fourth category? Anyone have any ideas of a kind of road car or whatever? Do you guys want to do a road car possibly? Probably not for that one. I don't know. Anyone have any ideas for a road car possibility? 600 PP hot hatch? Okay. You were the first person to say something, so I'll say that. 600 PP hot hatch. We have a GTI that's 600 PP. Uh, for Trial Mountain. But Flat Pick already said it, so. <laughs> there we go. And while we're doing that, I will load up the settings for our lobby. We will, let's see, we'll turn that off for now. Uh, Dave isn't here, so we'll keep the wall collision on. <laughs> uh, this is 2x, 2x, um, we don't know about that yet, uh, lapse 10. Uh, and we are at trial, the mountains of trial. Da Vinci, how are you doing, my friends? 
You're gonna sit this one out. How are you doing, Da Vinci? How's your Thursday evening going? So far, group three is winning. Group three and 600 PP Hot Hatch is winning. We only have four votes in, though. <laughs> 50 50. It's 50 50 on this. Uh, we'll give this vote like another. We'll go until like another six minutes. So if you guys haven't figured it out, 7 15. We, we, need, we need more votes, though, because we're at a dead heat between Hot Hatch and uh, Group 3 BOP on. Group three. Well, make your vote known. So far, group, it's a dead heat between Hot Hatch and group three. No one wants to do group four or group two. TMKR, how are you doing? I get to see you, man. It has been ages. Although I did stream last week, so... Oh, you're making music. You're making music. What are you making? What type of music are you making? And how are you making it? Are you making it through uh, regular analog type equipment? Or are you using um, something like Reason or Ableton? Or how are you making your music? I guess it really doesn't matter. But I'm always curious because I'm a maker of music as well. I'm always curious to see how the people make their music. Oh, I went back to 50-50. Wow, half of us want to do hot hatch 600 feet feet. Half of us want to do group three. Oh, Fruity Loop Studio. That's a good way to make music. I actually started out on Fruity Loops. The Loops of Fruity. Started out with Fruity Loops and Reason and Cakewalk. Or Q Cubase, I'm sorry, not Cake Walk, Cake Walk, Cubase. I liked working with Fruity Loops. Oh, your lobbies on Thursday, Tuesday were awesome. I need, still need to, I, I still need to, um, I still need to, uh, jump in your stream at some point, TMKR. I, I did it once. I'm threatening to do it again. Fruity Loops is dope. They've already come a long way with Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops is now... It used to be just loops, but now you can have VSTs and stuff in it. I like that they've added the VST... Um, the VSTs to Fruity Loops. But nowadays, you have to have VST support, or else no one's ever going to use your, your program. Yeah, I heard TMKR. That sounds cool. Uh, no, that was uh, that was the one on PS2. Was uh, what's it called? Uh, MTV Music Creator, or whatever the hell it's called. Make uplifting trance. Yeah, I'm glad they added VST support to Fruity Loops. Otherwise, Fruity Loops probably wouldn't be around anymore. I mean, you're... you're any of your, like, non-linear music makers need to have some sort of VST support or else no one's going to use them. Wow, it is a dead heat between Hot Hatches and, G and Group 3. You have a six-string guitar. Yeah, it is all about VSTs. It's all about the VSTs if you're going to be using nonlinear editing. The chill step. Dubstep.
Yeah, it's a good sequencer, man. It's a good sequencer, uh, Fruity Loops. Decent free, decent sequencer. Same with me, TM Carry. You and me both. I actually would like to make more music for the stream. I need to make some more music for videos too, so. Battle music. <laughs> I wish dubstep wasn't so damn loud. I would like dubstep more. <laughs> but dubstep is uh, is the metal metal equivalent to um, to heavy metal, or the the electronic equivalent to heavy metal. A lot of guys that went from death metal or death metal or metal went to dubstep, just because it's so loud and annoying. <laughs> I mean, there's some dubstep that I like, but I'm not a huge fan of dubstep. <laughs> not a gigantic fan of dubstep. Oh, look. You got... Oh, polling's closed. Group 3 BOP on. Just barely edged out 600, PV, 600 PP hot hatches. That's amazing. That I didn't expect 600 PP hot hatches to be so damn popular. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to add that on to the next one. <laughs> out of out of 15 votes, it was almost a dead. It was almost a dead. It was almost 600 PP hot hatches. That's an interesting. That's an interesting uh, metric there. All right, Group Three BOP on. It is. That's an interesting, interesting metri metric. Uh, we'll keep tuning no limit so you can use your um, your brake balancer. Uh, group three will make the tire types soft. It's only ten laps, so I, I can't see going into the pits as being like something that we're gonna need to do. You know, 10 laps. I think 2x, 2x. It's going to be a light, light enough modifier that I don't think we're going to need to make a pit stop. I mean, why not? There we go. Lobby's open. Uh, anything that would be a hot hatch. So, <sighs> GTI would be a hot hatch. So, would be so would the Clio would be a hot hatch. Um, there's so many hot hatches, man. Ford Focus, hot hatch. Uh, what else would be a hot hatch, man? There's anything that's a hatchback that's hot. <laughs> um, this way we can change car to our 4C. Where's our 4C? There you go. 4C... Did we put the soft tires as being usable? Yeah, we did, right? Yeah. You're going to use your R5. I was going to break out the GTI again. <laughs> I haven't gotten the Odyssey yet. You know, I need to do that. I still haven't gotten in touch with Frontier to switch over my account to PC. How is Odyssey? Uh, we'll start this race in like another, what, 12 minutes or so? We'll, we'll start at 30, so 12 minutes. Are you playing Odyssey right now? I forgot how didn't make a didn't make a livery for the 4C. Do you think time is gonna be running out to transfer? <sighs> Alright, well then I'll have to transfer over. I'll have to transfer it over. I haven't gotten around to it yet.
did they um, complete the, uh, are they shutting down the, are they totally shutting down the Sony servers? Is that happening? So are the Sony servers shutting down? Is that what, is that what's happening? Oh, I'm going to need to um I'm going to need to talk to Frontier. Super blunt, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, fist bump. Oh, yeah, fist bump to you, TMKR. And cheers to everyone. Cheers to everyone for a fantastic Thursday. Oh, I would hope they're going to be up for a little while. I need to swap over my account, though. Again. Oh, I know. I've done it before. I've done I've done the transfer before. I just don't want to do it again. Because <laughs> now I'm going to lose all my ships again. I think at this point, though, I think I'm just going to buy the one ship that... Uh, what was that one ship that I had that I liked a lot? The, um... Oh, what is it called? The, um... Well, maybe I get another Anaconda. But there is another ship that I had that I really liked. It's one of the newer ships. The one that kind of looks like a, um... Well, they all look like snakes. <laughs> They're all snake themed. <laughs> That's right. Is it worth it, though? Is Odyssey fun? Is there enough to do in first person? Honestly, I haven't played it since I bought this Legion. I it should I should at least install it for the most part. Oh, you keep all your ships. That's different. They used to take away all your ships. It used to be that you didn't get your ships. There's a ton to do. Do you find yourself playing the first person a lot? Yeah, before it used to, it used to be that they liquidated all your ships. They liquidated all your ships and all you got was your money. But if you keep all your ships, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And does that account all the modifications that you've done to your ships? Do you keep all of that too? You lose your ship every now and then. Do you keep all of the uh, the mods that you've done to your ship? As far as like all the engineering, guy, that'd be great to not have to do any of the engineering again. <laughs> the engineering that I did on all my ships, it was a pain. It was such a grind to get my car, my ships engineered. That I, it would piss me off to lose all of that. Oh, cool. I'm I'm hoping the ga the game doesn't shut down anytime soon, man. I know I know Frontier is on the chopping block for they're, they're having some financial issues, Frontier. Oh, good. So, I don't have to re-engineer anything. 
that was such a pain in the ass, dude. <laughs> that was a huge pain, especially for the Anaconda and the um, the other ship I'm thinking about. I just can't remember what the hell the name is of it. That other ship that I have that I like a lot. God, engineering for that was such a nightmare. Having to go to what's it called, the um, that one planet where you get all the parts. Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> um. Yeah, I know. Well, they are British. <laughs> they are a British company. Frontier, I think, uh, is getting saved by the Jurassic Park franchise that they have. Yeah, you got the purple sticker because now you're at two or three months. I think that's the three-month sticker or two-month sticker. I don't know. The sticker changes um, on how long you've been a channel member. Oh, get ready to work, dude. Yeah, I'll probably be on. I'll be on later. I'll definitely be on for a good chunk of tonight. For a good chunk of this evening, we'll be on. Oh, where are you going, Smoggy? Yeah, I'll wait for you, Dylan. You got five minutes. Hurry up! <laughs> I gotta get this 4C livery, man. It's gonna kill me after driving around in the stock livery with a 4C. At least no one else... At least no one else in here has the uh, 4C. That's a stock livery. Mr. T. For the 4C, that's the stock livery. Oh, good. Yeah, because the update takes forever. For not that much. Oh, hunting him down. Hunting him down is in here. Yo, hunting him down. Yo! I know, in the foreseeable future. I need to do a design for this car. I don't know how I'm going to best that design. I really like that Alfa Romeo livery, but... You know, I gotta give him my own livery. This car is unliveried. I'm driving around naked. Naked. It does look good in red, though, the 4C. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, the stock looks good, but you know me, I don't like driving around with stock livery. <laughs> Hunting him down has uh, has the uh, prices right in his. Uh, I like that <laughs> for his little for his little intro into the the lobby. I also like Dylan's little lobby. lobby entry. I don't know what I'm going to do with the slippery. The stock livery does look good, though. It does look good. Are you out, Brigsby? Peace. Peace, fist bump. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good looking livery. I just want to, you know, give it something else. I'm going to spice it up. I'll spice up your life. Spice up your life. No, it's a, it's a good looking livery. I mean, had I been running the same livery for the 155, at least the car, two cars would match would have matched.
You think that's Chili's slogan? Which one are you talking about? Uh, and the actual price is... And the actual price is... Three ninety nine. Ding, 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 ding. You are the winner on the prices, right? <laughs> oh, spice up your life. <laughs> well, that's a Spice Girl song too. <laughs> try to replicate the delivery that I have on the 155 I can try it's gonna be tough as they're com two completely different shapes that's gonna be a tough call I'll try it um, I could try it it's gonna be tough two completely different shaped cars Two completely different shapes, shapes. So it's gonna be really, really tough. It's gonna be really, really tough to do that. I'll try. I'll try my best, but it's gonna be tough. Maybe after the, maybe after the stream tonight, I'll try. I'll try, or maybe at the very end of the stream when everyone starts logging off, maybe I'll try to do something with it. It's gonna be really, really tough. All right. The majority of us say that we're ready. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I thought about doing that, and I thought about the idea of doing that, and it's going to be really, really tough, because they're so different in shape, the two cars. You know, one's basically a bread box, and the other one is, I don't know, a skipping stone? <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to uh, explain the shape of the 4C. I will see. We'll see if we can do it. We'll see if we're going to do it. There's def definitely going to have to be some uh, changes made. I mean, look at this thing. I'm going to miss the Porsches, man. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to admit that I'm going to miss the Porsches. Maybe it's not going to be so hard to change it. It might not be. It might not be as hard as I'm, I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see. I kind of feel like a traitor not driving the Porsche, though. But I have to admit, I'm, I think I'm better at the 4C than I am the 911. Ooh, I say that now and I run the car into the wall. I mean, to a certain degree, it handles better than the 911. Oh, no game sound. It's just really low. Hold on. Let me let me change that. Wait, next turn. Next time I come down the straight, I'll change. I'll, I'll make it a little louder. Yeah, it's just really low. change it now. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I 
Okay, there you go. It should be louder now. <laughs> it's still a little glitchy. Can you hear it now? The game sounds? Uh, the update is uh, not much different. I don't. I don't think it's much different. You can't hear the sounds. You should be able to. I mean, right now I'm pegging little left. You you mean it's on the left? A little bit. I mean, I gotta turn it all the way up. Right now, it should be super loud. Is that not loud? It seems loud. I, I mean, I'm pegging my meters right now. It's low. You barely hear it. All right. How about now? It's hard to change volume while I'm driving. We'll get louder. Uh, there's nothing really miss. I'm, I'm in a different car that's quieter than all the other cars I've driven. That's the other thing about the 4C. The 4C is quieter than most of the other cars. I really like this car. It's definitely quieter than the RSR. Not working. My like my mic is peaking. Uh, it's all coming from the console. I mean, according to my levels right now, I should be screaming loud. I should be screaming loud right now. As I'm looking at my VU meters and I'm spiking. I don't want to play back my stream. Just hearing me and game. No game sounds. Why is that the case? I mean, nothing has changed since this week and last week. I like this truck.
You should really hear it right now. Low feedback. Well, that's me coming through the speakers. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's nothing wrong. this hold on yeah, that's coming through all the channels right now actually that's getting a three point no actually that's it's me getting a pad all right let's do this Yeah, as far as my side is concerned, everything is A-OK. -okay. You can hear me, right? Nothing is muted. Yeah, I get that money. <laughs> Give me a second. Alright, that's it muted. That's that. I am pegging. I am a, I should be clipping right now. should be clipping right now you guys should be hearing nothing but game right now yeah that's all you should be hearing right now is, go, is car Look at it. Yeah, that's all you should be hearing right now is car. Oh, I can't unplug. And all kinds of craziness is going to happen. Can't do that. Now 
sound of game should be way loud. You probably can't even hear me now. So now you probably can't even hear me now. Well, that's not a good sign then. turning myself down. I am doing something that I shouldn't have to do. You only hear me down because... setting. Alright. Well, if that's going to work, that works. But it's not... It is not preferable. So now you should be able to hear everything. Yeah? Quite how I run, run, run the audio. balance everything because I am now streaming That's not where my volumes want to be, but... Not, not, not ideal. <laughs>
it works for you guys, it works for you guys. see this race. And then we'll get another race with the 4C. Not a, not a good uh, not a good break through uh, uh, break in run with the 4C. Test runs were good with this car though. People don't like it, but I like it. Actually, a lot easier to drive than the 911. Uh, that was wasn't fire for me. <laughs> that is a fun track, though. I like that track a lot. I do like a trial mountain. Now, now I should be smoking hot as far as audio is concerned. Uh, I was messing with my audio the whole time. I was trying to make sure that everyone could hear the game. Now it's going to take me an hour to rebalance everything. Uh, I wasn't racing. I was testing audio the whole time, Dylan. <laughs> well, yeah, the Mustang's actually a good car. It's just, it sucks gas. It sucks for gas purposes. Okay, so now... Now you guys should be able to hear me, right? Yeah? You hear music? Yeah, good job. Good job, uh, um, Alto. Would have liked to run the 4C. All right, uh, ooh, Miguel Dizzle's in here. Let's uh, let's vote for the next four tracks, shall we? Let's vote for the next four tracks. Lumby, I like how you took out the the sound for the. Um, I kind of missed the clicking sound for this for this guy. Ooh, Fuji, be another good. Candidate to run the um, group three cars. I wouldn't mind doing some Fuji Speedway. I could I could do some Fuji. Fuji ten laps one X five X medium and hard. Laps ten. Would be a fun race. Probably uh, make that just one tire. Once again, would be a sprinter. Put this up here. 
next candidate. Once again, Sakuba Circuit. <laughs> it really wants us to do the Sakuba Circuit. Lumbi, you know what I've noticed about this thing? It really likes special stage route at, route at Route X. At least for a couple days, all I was giving me was special stage Route X. It's weird. I know this is a random number enumerator, right? I would imagine it's running like that. Uh, this might actually be worth 15 laps, hard and soft, to do a pit stop on that one. Yeah, for a while there, it was giving me nothing but, um, why are you keep on doing that? No. For a while there, all it was giving me was, um, was, uh, special stage Rod X. It's weird. I know, it gave it to me one time, like three times in a row. It's like, I do not want to do that race. <laughs> Very strange. But I would imagine this is a random number enumerator, right? Dragon Trail. We'd make this Dragon Trail Seaside. Or whichever one. I mean, everyone likes Dragon Trail. I mean, I do. That'd be another fun Group 3 race. Laps 19, tire... 5x fuel 6x and and Fuji again. No. I already have Fuji down in the docket. See if it will give us a special stage rod X. Oh, Fuji again. <laughs> One more time. It really wants us to race at Fuji. Coyote Driving Park again. Alright, we voted on no one wanted to do that one, so let's let's see if we can can get something other than Kyoto Driving Park. Brands Hatch. Ooh, that'd be fun. Laps 15. Tire 3x, fuel 7x, and all three tires. Maybe make that two tires. Maybe make that soft and medium. Or maybe one tire. No, wouldn't make it two tires. Fuel 7x. Tire 3x, yeah, maybe even make the two different tires. All right, let's give it up to the vote. It was Skynet's fault. You like gardens better than C7? Maybe we'll do gardens. I mean, either one's fine with me. I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I like both equally. I like Seaside a little better. I would we do gardens. Gardens, gardens I like better in reverse, honestly. Oh, uh, I was thinking about this... Um, Lumbee. That's one thing that you can add to this. I think that's going to be um, probably crucial is which which version of which track. I know that's a lot of tracks, but maybe maybe you could, I don't know maybe you could work it in so that it isn't on the spin, but it was in like say it spins to Bra uh, Dragon Trail for example. If it could randomly generate which version of Dragon Trail. Um, that would be cool. I think actually that's kind of necessary because that's what the problem, the only problem that I can see with this is that when we, when we land on something that has a variation, 
we don't have any way of voting on that variation. We just have to figure out which variation we want to do. That's the only thing I could see that you could change about this. Uh, I think they fixed all of that um, revenant on the last. I was noticing with the last, the last uh, update, it was much better, way better. I don't know if they fixed anything about the. I should have checked the notes. Anyone look at the notes for this last update? I don't know if they changed anything about the physics the last update. I don't know. It doesn't feel like anything's changed. I, I didn't look at it in notes. They tweaked the suspension in an LCD. Sure. <laughs> they changed the model again. I wish they would just settle on a model and just go with it, man. I'm just fine with the model that would be before this one. I don't know why they had to change it again. I don't know why they have to change it every five minutes. Just settle on a model and just let it go, man. I was fine with the last update. I think I think it felt way better with the last update. Of course, I haven't gotten to really drive yet at this point, so. Is this the physics change, not the power and weight? I try the RSR, but I kind of want to drive the um, the 4C and and kind of get a handle with the 4C. I like the 4C. I like the 4C a lot. I like the 4C more than I like the RSR. I think it's a better car. That's just me. Uh, between the two, I think I like I think I like the 4C better. I've never been a huge fan of the RSR though. I between the RSR and the Cayman, I like the RSR better or I like the Cayman better. I, I like the 4C better than the RSR. The RSR hasn't never really been my best my favorite car. Um not my not between the RSR and the Cayman, I'd rather I like the Cayman way better. Big fan of the Cayman. Um, the RSR will do the job, but it's not my favorite MR. That's not a huge fan of it. It's it does all that it needs to do, but it's just not as um, I don't think it's as nimble as the Cayman. That's 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 what the RSR does is it plows. Uh, the RSR plows and and for to a certain degree it plows enough that I have to brake balance it to the rear, just to get that pendulum effect out of the the front end. It really depends. It really depends. A lot of times what I'll do is um is I'll overdrive it into a turn just to get it to turn the front end to turn. Uh, maybe I'll run the RSR again. I really want to drive for Alpha next season, though. I don't want anything to sway me from driving to try driving for Alpha next season. I, yeah, this is, to a certain degree, it's a glorified Beetle. I mean, but the Beetle is based on the RSRs, or based on the 911, so... You know? 
you know. So it, to a certain degree, the uh, well, no, actually, the beetle came first, huh? I guess the beetle came first. So I guess, I guess this is a glorified derived design by the same person. <laughs> it's designed by the same person. Ah, uh, no, I don't. I want to keep the wheel the same. This thing? Nah, keep the wheel. Um, I'm just saying that uh, when it comes up to races that have variations, it would be nice if it gave us the variation. Like, say, if I'll say, for example, like, you don't have to put the variation on the wheel, I don't think. But, you know how you... Well, I guess you said you were, you were going to try to program in a random um, function for tires and fuel and uh, usable tires. If you can also include for anything as a variation, a track variation, then that would that would make it... I think that would make it complete. If that makes any sense. Right? So you don't have to actually physically put it on the wheel, but when we spin it, and it lands on something that has, like, Blue Moon Bay, for example, that has, like, four or five different variations. If it gave us the variation along with the laps, the tire, the fuel, and the usable tire. I know you were saying something about you wanted to make it so that it, you know, it randomizes that stuff. But if you can add in track variation, too, that would, that would be key. I think that would make that perfect. I think after that, you wouldn't have to touch anything. I think after that, if you were to add that in, perfect. Perfect. I know that's a lot of work, but I mean... <laughs> I, oh, I don't know how much work that is, honestly. <laughs> I've never programmed anything before like this, so... Otherwise, the wheel's perfect. Otherwise, the wheel's perfect, even without the randomized um, numbers for uh, for laps, tire, fuel modifier, and usable tires. I could just rock with that. The the only thing that I think is missing is, you know, variations for per per track. Yeah, but that's not something that we can't work with, you know? That's something that we can't can't not work with. Like yeah, like I said, you don't I don't think you have to physically represent it on the wheel. It just needs to, whenever we land on something, you know, that does have a variation. If it could come in come up with the other information that that happens, then I don't think after that, you know, it's perfect. This has really revolutionized the stream, though, Lumby. Just want you to know that. <laughs> uh, it looks like we're at Sakuba Circuit, guys. It's a 45%. You were thinking of doing a better imp improved version 2? Oh, uh, I'm not sure yet. We haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't voted on that yet. Oh, Smoke, D Dylan, are you out? You out? You're gonna lose the wheel, but I like the wheel, man. I like the wheel. Oh man, Dylan. Fist, fist pump, dude. <laughs> we could do the new Miata. Does everyone have the new Miata? That's the question. Does everyone have the new Miata? I like Lumby's Wheel of Fortune. Uh, we'll give it one more minute, but it looks like Sakuba Circuit's gonna win. 
Oh, you don't? It's only $30,000. I mean, we haven't figured out what car we're going to use yet, so... Uh, it looks like Sakuba Circuit's going to win here, though. We'll give it one more minute. Yeah, it's not expensive. It's only $31,000. <laughs> Super cheap. If you don't have thirty-one grand in your Gran Turismo bank account, then I don't know what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah, it's really cheap. It's only thirty-one grand. Oh, Melon, have a good night, man. Fist bump. Boop. All right, two ten. So Cuba Circuit, it is. End the poll. So Cuba Circuit. Let's vote on uh, t cars. You didn't win any money for this last race. You should have won some money on this last race. How much did you? You didn't win anything. So you do you not have the new Miata? All right. Well, we'll just put that in there. Oh, wait, you, you're the one that said Miata, so I would imagine you have it, right? You said you had to grind for it? Uh, you rev it. Do, do you not have it? Because I won't put it as an option. Let's put Miata. Oh, you have it. Okay, good. I mean, if anyone else doesn't have it, we'll just wait for you guys to get it. Go get it. You don't have the money? You can go get it. It's only 30 grunt. It's only... What are you talking about? This is perfect for that track. The new Miata, I think, would be perfect for this truck. It's small. Small car. This car would, I think this truck would be perfect for it. Ask if everyone has a new Miata. In here. I think most of you guys are on stream though. Oh, Miguel does the left. Muscle cars. Oh, we could do... You know, not everyone has that car. Not everyone has that car, Alto. We can do, like, a ra classic race. And then we could use that car. We'll, do, we'll, we'll put that category up, like a classic car of the 60s and 70s. We'll do something like that at some point. We'll put that up as a vote for the next for the next race. Ooh, look at the new Miata go. Edging out everything so far. We'll give it another two or three minutes. I wouldn't mind driving that new Miata. I would have liked to have driven the 4C. Ah, uh, well. We'll have many other Group 3 races at some point, and I can run that car. Dude, I love that car. The new the Jaguar XJS, or whatever the hell it is. The, the one that's in the classic car race? I love that car. Or classic car shop? I love that car. Oh, 
that's a good running car. Uh, we can, we can, <laughs> that's, that rest everyone's gonna be, uh, that car is that everyone's gonna be all over the place we do Camaro Mustang and Hemi Challenger race. Yeah, it's an expensive car. That XJ, whatever the hell it is. That, that's an expensive car, man. It's it's fun though. It's a good car. It's a really good car. Give it one more minute, but it looks like the new Miata's gonna win this one. <laughs> looks like the new Miata's gonna win this one. Uh, what type of tires should we do, though? Should we do racing tires for it? Or should we keep it with uh, sports, sports softs? It looks like we're going to do racing tires. Okay. We'll do racing tires. Yeah, I would say Ford versus Ferrari too, but I've tried to do that. But not everyone has either one of those cars. I I've tried to do that before. All right. We're going to be in the new Miata, guys. <laughs> A new Miata. All right. Let's uh, change event settings. The new Miata. Uh, Cuba circuit. So Cuba circuit for. 15 laps. Fuel 4X. Tires 4X. Tires 4X. Fuel 2X. Um, no limit. I'll change the limit once we get there. Uh, hard and soft. I'll make it soft. Um, change settings. I guess we could put the BOP on, huh? And keep it BOP on? Everyone go get the new Miata. <laughs> I know, it's the car that no one asked for. <laughs> New Miata, guys. <laughs> Change car. It's only $31,000, so for anyone that doesn't have it. The New Miata, guys. Uh, manufacturer. Mazda. Mazda Miata. Uh, I guess if we can't do BOP with it, huh? Racing softs. Can I change it now? Settings. Racing softs. I guess we can do with BOP on. Um, let me change BP, uh, PP here. Uh, 
Uh, PP would be 499.61. So 500 PPs. And that's that's the Miata with softs with racing softs on. It's 500 PPs. Did I make softs? I made softs required, right? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Wardy's in here. Tell Wardy because I'm not sure if Wardy's watching. Don't upgrade anyone, anything, guys, because I have BOP on, so. Or I guess it doesn't matter if you don't have Bolt on. If you have Bolt on, on this. It's a Mazda, it's a Miata race. <laughs> this will be fun. This will be fun. It's the 22, yes. The 22 Roadster. Oh, yeah, it's the, um,. I have the wrong car. Wait, I might have to change the PP on this. I might have to change the PP. Manufacturer. Yeah, it's the 22 though. Whatever the the two, 2022 Miata. And I put the PP too low. No, there it is. 421 PP. Damn it, and I bought the wrong tires for the wrong car. <laughs> Alright, at least I have soft tires for that car now. Oh, do you have a wide body on your car? Alright, let me turn BOP off. Um, and I have to change the PP. Hold on, give me a second. It's 506 PP. Is that, is that what my car is right now? Five oh seven. So I need to, I need to change the I need to change the PP to five oh seven. Okay. All right. Now now you should be able to enter the car. Now you should be able to enter the car, yes? Yeah, now you guys should be able to enter in. Uh, 536, what did you do to your car? It sounds like you've modified your car, Matt. Did you modify it? No, that's fine, I just turned the BOP off. You should be able to enter it now, flat pick. No, enter it. Don't buy another car.
Oh, that's cool. Money. Yours is 536. What how did you get the car up to 536 pp? What did you do what did you do to it? Is it bolt on or is it um Did you do like pistons and stuff? Because if it's bolt on, just take the parts off. Just run it stock. You tuned it. Can you detune it? <laughs> Just run the stock sheet on it. Start up a new tuning sheet and just run off that. Go into your tuning. Go, in, go into here and just start up a stock sheet. Go, go into here, go to the detailed settings, obviously, and then just start like a new sheet because it'll if you go to um, add sheet it'll it'll detune it to whatever stock is you see what I'm saying it'll just give you a clean sheet and it'll untune it because I don't think anyone else is running anything tuned in this 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 lobby except for a flat pick he's got a um He's got a wide body on his car. Does it look cool with a wide body on it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to wide body mine, man. That's a cool looking, that's a cool looking car. <laughs> nice livery. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that there's a new, uh, what's it called? It's coming out. A new uh, Need for Speed. You didn't put any parts on your car, did you, Matt? Because I'm gonna have to change the PP if if yours if you can't change it. I haven't driven this car yet. Nice, man. Yeah, this car is nice.
sticks. Yes. That'd be another thing that'd be nice if they changed is that they gave us an opportunity to um, make one make races. In the lobbies, but don't give us that opportunity. throw this car into the corners though. It handles really nicely, man, this car. Really pushing it right now, and it's like, it's like taking it. how much I like this track. We get on the gas early with this car. Hey, what's up, TMKR? You're missing the you're missing the the Mazda Miata race. <laughs> I'm mean, you're gonna catch the race, but. We're only two seconds off of a wrap. Dude, this car is great, man. What a nice handling car. I mean, it's a Miata. It's only to be expected, but it, it really handles really good, this one. What a fun little car to drive, man. I mean, it's a driving experience, I guess. <laughs> it's like the slogan says, it's a driving experience. Is that what their slogan is? It's something I know it's like driving experience or something like that. The emotion of driving or something. Ooh, we're only one second off of. We're only one second off of uh, Rabbit's net time. Not even a second. This is gonna be a fun race. I think so too. I think this this track is perfect for low low powered cars. This is a, it's really fun in this, this, uh, in this, in the game. It's a real, it's a blast. It's a really smooth, um, performer, man. This car. Especially with racing softs on it. It's just like driving nothing right now. <laughs> 
I, mean, I would imagine if you were driving on comfort softs, it would be a little bit more of a, of a car to wrestle around, but on, on racing softs, it's like butter. PP was 510. Well, that's three over what we're having. <laughs> Go back to stock, Dave. It's going to be on Tuesday's uh, race. How are your polls looking? It's, it's a good car. We're just driving him stock, where this is going to be a stock race. Except for Flatpick, who wide-bodied his car. <laughs> he's the only one that, he's the only one that has kind of a non-stock car. He's running, he's running a wide-body on his, but that's about it. I think everyone literally just bought it right now. <laughs> handles really good though, man. This car handles really, really good. I mean, that's to be expected. It's a tiny roadster. End of stock BOP. We tried to run BOP, but no one, I think a few people had, uh, well, the only reason we didn't run BOP is because Flatpick had a wide body on his. That's the, that's the only, otherwise we're, I've got it set up to the same PP for um, everyone. Everyone's got the same BPP. I don't think the flat, I don't think the wide body's affecting Flatpick's PP. <laughs> that sounded like an innuendo of some sort. Yeah, see, he's, he's got a wide body in his. It looks really good with the wide body. It looks really slick with that wide body on it. All right. Is, is that everyone? Are we all collected here? Is that everyone? This is going to be a lot of Miatas. We'll give it three more minutes. Wide bodies always affect your PP. <laughs> I know it's only three. Th it's only thirty-one thousand dollars. So you might as well. You might as well, right? Indulge yourself. I'm not sure if everyone that was in here is in here. We'll give them three more minutes if you weren't in here. If you were in here and you now you're buying the Miata, then you have three minutes. <laughs> Just buy racing tires. All you need is racing sauce. That's all you need. That's all you need. I'm gonna have to livery out my Miata. I like this better than the little Roadster, the souped up Roadster, whatever the hell it is. The other Miata that we've, we've raced before. I think it handles better. This, uh, this one. Uh, this guy, the Roadster Touring Car. It probably doesn't handle better, it's just my mind, but... It's my mind being crazy, but I, I really like this car. I'm glad I bought it for the $31,000 it was. <laughs> you like it better than the NA Touring car?
You had to nerf yours? I like it at stock. I like it at stock. Yeah, at stock, it's fine, I think. Especially here at Sakuba Circuit, there's not really any, there's not really any place where you could uh, use the power. <laughs> you can always drop those ground effects. You just drop the uh, effect on it. Here we go. Party time. Just uh, kill your uh, your arrow on the back or your arrow on the front. Put it to zero. Here we go. Car doesn't really need that much power. Yeah, it'd be great at losing Laguna Seca or um, Red Bull Ring. Short, it would be good on. Any of the smaller tracks, it should be good on. Good luck, everyone. Fifteen laps of Sakuba Circuit and the little Miatas. Be neck to neck racing here. You can get on the gas so early with this car. It's like it's like a go kart. Like, as soon as you're on the brakes, you can get back on the gas. <laughs> it's, it's like driving air, this car.
it's no wonder why this car is like the darling of the uh, autocross world. This is such an easy car to drive, this thing. I mean, I get a little bit of kickback there, but it's like so stable. I don't have to, I don't even have to lift there, I just gun it through there. <laughs> Damn, Ward is kicking ass right now. <laughs> Pick it wide. I mean, to a certain degree, it's like driving star cars. Oh, and Morty goes off. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Woody? What's going on? So we catch up to Smokey or uh, Alto up there. This all. We were on a good race there, flat pick. Catch up to Alto. No, 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 no. Got out of the groove there for a second. Gauge at the wrong time.
gains gain that time. Ooh, turn it too quick. Miata. I have to admit, these little Miata races that we've been doing are fun. They're some of the funner races that we do. And we did one last week and it was fun. With their uh, the Roadster. getting slower here. I, I have the benefit the benefit of not having no a slip right now. I have not the benefit of not having a slip right now. Everyone else that's got a slip is going way faster than me right now. I have no slip right now. go-kart though this car <laughs> yeah, that... that differential just keeps on getting bigger and bigger
what a breeze to drive this car. I mean, I'm putting down some pretty consistent times. Oh, looks like someone slow down. Oh, who is that? Someone that's in front of me. Throw it into corners, this thing, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you're trying to learn the tracks, this car is really good for that. It'll lull you into a, a false sense of security because you can literally throw this car into turns and it won't give anything back at you. I mean, in a group three car, this car would have been into that wall <laughs> with that maneuver. Through here, normally with a group three or group four, you got to lift. At least I do to a certain degree. And that would have been a nightmare right there. <laughs> no, easily recoverable. <laughs> easily recoverable in the Miata. Didn't even lose that much time. <laughs> spin out right there in group three. Yeah, it totally wants you to push this car like crazy. I mean, it's like, like I said, it's like a go, it's like a go kart. This car, it's super easy to drive. <laughs> you can drive it at the complete edge, the, the hairy edge of like being out of control, and it's still, it still gives back. Riding the Miata. <laughs> yeah, the stock one, I would just keep the. I mean, I'll buy one that I'm going to upgrade, but I'm going to keep this one stock. What a fun car to drive! <laughs> I, I had a blast doing that. Even though I came in like last, I still had a blast. It was a fun car. It's a fun car, dude. I really like that car. I mean, it, granted, it's only good for like the small. Like, I wouldn't drive Le Mans with this car. I wouldn't do like Nor well. I could probably you could probably do the Norch Lifer, but it wouldn't be a very fun race. But yeah, dude. I like the All Miata race, dude. We we've been doing one like for the last two weeks. We did one last week, and it was fun too. If it's a, the right track, like Sakuba Circuit's perfect for it. This, this track is perfect for it. This is like a small car track. Yeah, definitely. You know, this is for smaller tracks. Like, any of the short versions of any of the tracks, this car would be perfect for. You know, because you don't really get to use that much horsepower, you know, on a small track like this. 
Look, and then like the money that I just won right there. I mean, I came in like pretty close to last. That's the money for the car. So it's, you know, it's like a cheap car. All right, time to vote for the next four. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. The next four races. What, what are we gonna do next? What is what is gonna happen next here? Let's let's vote for our next four races here. Oh wait, wrong keyboard. All right, bring that to the front. Put the chiz out here. Here we go. First one is, oh, Interlagos. My favorite. It's always my favorite. You know, I love Interlagos. For 12 laps, tires 2x, fuel 1x. Tires hard. That'll be a fun race. If we do it. It's the first time I've seen Interlagos though. <laughs> Not enough to do it twice. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> it really wants us to do Interlagos. Almost four times, Monza. <laughs> Aerodromo Nazionale, Monza, for 16 laps. Tire 1x, fuel 2x, uh, medium and hard. Monza without the chicken, maybe. We did we did with the chicken last week. Mm. Saw abs come in here. Brands hatch. Like to do, that would be a bad race. That that would be a good race for classic. Classic cars. If we wanted to do that classic car race, I think Brands Hatch would be perfect for it. Uh, that would be the laps 11 tires 1x fuel 5x. Fourth race is oh, Brands Hatch again. Uh, we just did some people. Oh, Lama, Lama. For 10 laps, fuel 2x. Or tires 2x, fuel 7x. Laps 10. Usable tires, medium and hard. Uh, we would go for the pit stop on that one. I think. Um, in that case, that would be a good group 2 race. My votes for Interlagos, but that's just me. No me. 
You know what I mean? I love, love myself some Interlagos. My favorite track. Wouldn't mind to try the 4C out on that track. No, I think Brand's Hatch would be a good, a good run with classic. Uh, I don't know what we would call that classic category though. What would we call that? I I don't know what cars everyone has that we could um we could run the classic cars category because if we ran that XJ, we would have to be like Le Mans style cars or whatever because I think anything else like any of the muscle car I don't think that the muscle cars would be able to hang with that Jaguar but I don't know if everyone has you know classic legendary cars of the 60s and 70s well I don't know Mustang probably be able to hang with it maybe I don't know I don't know if that's quite a fair race though I don't know let's we'll see we haven't done interlog of some quite a bit It's been some time since we've done Interlagos. I'm a huge fan of Interlagos, though. Put out there, voting on track. I don't know if Wardy's watching right now. Yeah, maybe we'll make it like classic. If we do Brands Hatch, we'll do classic cars of the 60s and 70s. That way you can run the Jag or you can run the Mustang. You could whatever, you know. 10 laps of La Lasarth would be a bit. I would make that a pit stop race. That would definitely be a pit stop race. Especially at fuel 7x, you probably run out of fuel. I would imagine you at least run low on fuel, maybe. Tires would be fine. If you were to run the medium tires, that'd be that'd be, you know. We'll give this vote until about like another four minutes. So at 21:12, voting will be finished. So far, everyone's voting the way I would vote in our Lagos 12 laps. Uh, fuel t uh, fuel 1x, tire 2x, usable tire is hard. Maybe we'll change that to medium. At those those settings, um, at those settings, then. Um, that those settings we should be able to go the whole race with the uh, the medium tires I still want to drive the hard tires we do enough of that during manufacturers <laughs> screen up we'll keep the screen up until voting is over for um for the track just so everyone can see what we're dealing with here as far as um car requirements here uh i think usable tires for monza was why does not monza have to be so big i guess we could delete this part medium and hearts
We'll give this into 212. Another two minutes. Uh, and then Lagos looks like it's going to be it. I would like to drive you the, the 155 or the 4C on that one. <sighs> Is it really 9 o'clock? Twenty-one twelve. Well, who was that? The Van Halen album. One more minute. One more minute. I mean, I guess we could do classic cars on that track. Well, no, Interlogos would probably be kind of a lousy track to do that on. I don't know what other type of right cars would be good for 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 uh, nah, for Interlogos Group One. Probably would be kind of lousy. It's too short of a track, except for that last long straight. That's got two straights that would they could stretch out on, but a group one really isn't very good for most of the tracks we run. <laughs> Nuremberg Ring, Nuremberg Ring GP. Um, Lama. I guess Monza would be good for Group 1. Uh, Interlagos, not so much. Interlagos has got too many turns. Really no room for those cars to stretch. Yeah, Group 4 would be a good race for that. Oh, what do you call it? Interlagos, it is. Interlagos for 12 laps. Tire 1X, or Tire... Fuel 1X tire uh, 2X um, and usable tire. Well, we'll say medium instead of hard. Um, just because. Three. We'll put group two out there. Might be a good group two track. Well, let's do uh, all of them with BOP on. Right? No one seems to want to do the 800 PP group 2. But maybe, maybe, maybe the BOP group 2. Um, group 4 BOP. Alright, see you later, Matt. We'll put legendary muscle cars up there. We'll put legends of the 60s and 70s. I mean, it's possible. Possible. Though I don't know how, how good that track would be for that one. I don't think Formula races at Formula One races at Lagos anymore. They did a long time ago, but the track was different back then. If we do Group Two BOP. I could break out the McLaren again. Which I really do like driving that car. We'll give this like until uh, to nine or twenty one twenty.
Once again, I don't know if Wardy is on stream. Oh, I don't know, Dave. I don't watch Formula. I haven't watched Formula One in forever, so. Sure. <laughs> sure. Finish of voting in four minutes. I'm not doing special stage route X. You're going to be waiting a long time to do group one. Uh, the reason why I don't really put group one in down is because I don't think everyone has a group one car. Not everyone has a group one car. Not particularly. Not a car that seems to be very popular amongst the general pop population most everyone's got a group 2 car of some sort just because of dailies and they've had a couple group 1 races and dailies but not that many and for dailies you can always rent it so you can always rent the car Looks like it's a dead heat between group two and group four. Be a good group four. I mean, it's what we always race is there is group four, so. Wouldn't mind taking the 155 out. Ooh, now it's a dead heat between all three. <laughs> dead heat between group two, group four, and legends of the 60s and 70s. Special stage route X is a snore fest and a half. Straight away left turn, straight away left turn, straight away left turn. Really long straight away. This is a slipstream race. That's like a rubber band race. Put the rubber rubber band around the controller and just rubber band. Rock, paper, scissors. They always do rock, paper, scissors. I mean, I guess I could throw a vote out there if it, if it ends up in a dead heat. We only have seven votes in. One more vote gets it. 2019, or 2119, we got one more vote. Have to vote. Here, I'll cast my vote. There, there you go. <laughs> I just voted and it broke the tie. <laughs> I just voted with my my other account on the the MacBook. I just broke the tie. All right, Group Four, <laughs> Group Four BOP on. Interlagos, Group Four BOP on. Um. Hey, what's up, Brian? How you doing? Uh, we are twelve laps. At Interlagos. B 
BOP on. Uh, and group four. How's work going, Brian? Uh, usable tires. It says here hard, but I'm going to make a medium. I'm going to make the medium. Alright, that's our race. That is our race. Oh, it's after midnight. Yeah, it's early. It's late for, um, what's it called? A long and tiring, you're sleepy. <sighs> Don't be sleepy. I get to run um, my new car. I'm excited about this. My new 155. Midgems. Alright. I really do like the alphas, man. Uh, you got more sleep than I have, Brian. <laughs> you got a lot more sleep than I have this week. I was... I think... Overall, this week, I've probably gotten 12 hours of sleep. Maybe, maybe 10 to 8 hours. Between Monday and Tuesday, I didn't sleep at all. Just because of nerves. Oh, yeah, that's not a good thing. Slapping a girl on the way back into the locker room? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I I'm going to take a tiny break, guys. Um, we'll start this race in like another... Seven... Like, another 12 minutes. We'll start and... Uh, we'll start at... Uh, 35. Maybe earlier than that. We'll wait for more people to jump in. Uh, but I'm going to take a tiny break. I'm going to get some more, some more drink. Yeah, I'm gonna get more drink. More drink at 10 1. I'll be back in a bit.
Okay. I am back. I am back. I can't keep, wait to give the um, 155 a good run around here. You know, I'm going to change one thing on the 155. Ooh, I like the KFC 155 that uh, 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 Flapdicks get out there. <laughs> it's a good looking car. Though, uh, um, I like Jollibee Chicken. Maybe I'll make a Jollibee car. <laughs> That's a good looking uh, 4C there, uh, Revit. That's a good looking livery. We just got the GTR out there. I'm not sure which GTR that is. Is that the new one? Is that the, the new uh, GTR? <laughs> Tell me. I don't know if that's the new one. I can't tell. Let me let me see. Is the are the windows are the window vents open? Yeah, I think that's a new one. <laughs> Literally like the same car. Oh, is it a group three? Wow. Dave's got a Thrustmaster uh, Super out there. Looks good. It's looking good. running. Alto, are you uh, racing on this one? I'm going to change one thing on the on the alpha. I'm going to change those vents in the front of the red and see what how I like that. Yeah, I can't tell these days. There's so many GTRs in this game. <laughs> I need to put something above the pro back there. Maybe put another Lenovo sticker back there or something. Maybe put the Lenovo, uh, make a small Lenovo Legion sticker and put it on top in front of the pro, on top of the pro. Or maybe I'll put the Legion stickers on the top next to the Lenovo, and maybe I'll put that small Sennheiser decal on the. No, I'll never do have it on the back. Maybe I'll put an Alaska sticker back there. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Lenovo chiropractic. No, Lenovo computers. Alto, are you going to run this race? I see that you're not entered. I don't know if you're out there, Alto. Alto, you out there?
Mr. Animal. Alto Animal. Calling Alto Animal. Alto. I don't think Alto Animal's out there. I heard about that. I did hear about that. She's uh, suing the, um, the what's it called? She's suing the uh, organizer, which I think is totally, uh, totally called for. I think she's got a, a case, though, I have to admit that she probably shouldn't have jumped the way that she did. I probably wouldn't have. She landed right on her tailbone. Uh, Alto, are you there? I don't know if Alto is around. Alto Animal? Are you there? We'll give Alto another minute, but I'm not sure if Alto is there. He has no car entered into the race. One more minute for Alto Animal. And if not, we will go. We'll go. We'll give it to 37. Thomas, good morning, man. How you doing? Yeah, have a good time. You're gonna go to the Nurburgring, right? You're going to the Nurburgring, yeah? You gonna watch some racing? Uh, I don't think she's gonna sue the Lenovo. I think she's gonna sue whatever company organized it. I mean, I don't know how much Lenovo actually has to do with it, so I don't, I don't know what their um, what their role in the whole thing is. But I would imagine they were just the sponsor. I would sue the organizer of it. I'll definitely sue the organizer. I mean, if anyone's going to be at fault, the organizer's going to be the one at fault. I know. I know. A lot of people got hurt out there doing that. I like that Alpha Romeo Racing decal on the hood. She did jump in a way that I probably wouldn't have done that. I mean, that's going to probably be there, the organizer's argument, but then again, the place shouldn't have been so dangerous for any of the participants, right? I mean, you figure 
you got a bunch of people, you know, at the event. It's probably a bad choice of the organ <laughs> on the part of the organizer to make it so dangerous for everyone that was participating. Right? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Probably not the best idea. <laughs> Dude, this one fifty five is good. It's a good car. This is an all-wheel drive car, right? She's got an argument. If she wins that case, she's going to win a lot of money. But I think the idea of not having a broken back and, you know, not having to walk around with pins in your back the whole rest of your life would be nice, too. <laughs> That's going to be a big case. That's going to be a really big case. money man oh I guess get a penalty there it's not yeah I did enough driveway.
gonna be a learning curve. I've been used to driving a mid-engine three-wheel drive car here. Not a front-engine all-wheel drive car. I'll tell you what, around this turn you could just gun it. Normally in the Cayman I got a lift there. Getting it though. Let's see if we can improve that time. little tests around here with both the Porsche and the um the Cayman. I ended up being about two or three seconds faster with the Alphas. Oh come on. Stop going out there. Now you're going to give me a one minute penalty. Or one second penalty. Alpha though. So we can do that one turn without getting a penalty. It's pushing it a little too hard through there, so we'll push it a little less. The one thing you're gonna miss from with driving the Porsche, the Porsches. Is uh, gas economy and uh, tires, which is usually better than most every other car. I don't know if that's the case with this car. Probably not. I would imagine this car is going to probably burn through the tires faster. Possibly the 4C. That's okay, Alto. I was trying to figure out where you were. I was like, where's Alto? <laughs> I didn't want to start without you. And currently only two seconds behind Alto, or uh, behind Wardy, who's an A-plus super fast driver. Actually, less than two seconds. I'm not sure if he's driving the car he normally drives. He's got his PSRT logos on his car, so I'm thinking that's the car he normally drives. Oh, and I'm going to get out of the penalty. Oh, not that time. Oh, now there it is. 
but to say I got both my tires off. I just gotta watch it around that turn. Might be getting another penalty. Lift a little bit there. I'm a little deep. I can manage to not get a penalty there. We might just best our time. Again, this car is super easy to drive, man. I wouldn't say easy, it's predictable. I should just stay third there. I always end up over revving. I'm gonna get into the penalty. Maybe not. Try to stick in third around this turn. So I'm in downshift in second, but I think I might be. Let's 
take it. Just got to be really careful about the entry into there. I can see why this car is the meta car for all the daily races. But I lost a second taking that turn like that. Uh, granted, my front tires are pretty tore up right now. <laughs> well, not really. Not if you go by the, the gauge for um, the new tire thing. All right, flat pick. Take it easy, man. Good night. Thanks for racing, dude. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Drop down to second with a Porsche. Smoggy. I think I'm going to make the right choice if I go with Alpha this next season. This car is right at my alley. Same with the 4C. I don't like the tire wear. That's the one thing I don't like about this car. Seems like it eats its, eats its front tires up. I mean, I guess that's most of the all-wheel drive cars do that. So if we do any races with some with heavy tire wear, it's going to be a bit of a um, wrestling act with the tire wear. Like everything else about this car, though. Gas is getting it up too. What were the um, were the uh, things for this race? Fuel tire two X, fuel one X. It's gonna be a tough decision. You're watching Andor. Oh, good night, flat pick, or uh, that flat pick, a uh, flat pick. Yeah, good night, flat pick, and good night, Brian. Have a good time at work. Oh, 
Oh, and see ya, Thomas. Peace. Alright, that's fine, Dave. I, I like this 155. I like this car a lot. You say I can see why this is the uh, the uh, meta car for a lot of um, the daily races. Super predictable. Not so good on tire wear gas, but it's super predictable. Those front tires really wear out really fast, man. Right now, you're only working Saturdays until uh, basketball season starts. All right. Oh, yeah, well, Wardy's super fast. Wardy's always been super fast. Um, what time is it? 10 o'clock? Oh, it's all good. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. My friends. What are we feeling, guys? Do you want to do another race? Sardines, maybe? There are not many of us out here. There aren't many of us out here. Do we want a sardines? Uh, well, it's not quite naughty nightcap time. If we're going to keep the tradition. Sardines would be first in the Nordy Nightcap. Uh, but there aren't that many of us out here. There's not many, not many folks on the track right now. Uh, we don't have to do another race. I mean, we could always not do another race. We could always just end the night on looking at the 4C. And looking at what I'm going to do to it. <laughs> um, I mean, you don't have to fall asleep at your wheel. We could just end the... I mean, it's not like we're not going to do this again tomorrow, guys. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, this is just kind of killing time until tomorrow so um you know it's up to you guys do you, do, does everyone else want to do another race is there anyone else that wants to race icy's working well everyone go to sleep everyone go to bed we'll, we'll do some livery work how about that We'll do some livery work. We'll close the lobby up. We'll look at the 4C and see if I can't do anything to it. Uh, there's always tomorrow. We're gonna race tomorrow, right? We're gonna we're gonna do a race. We're gonna do racing all day tomorrow. We want to do sardines or Nordy? How about Nordy? How about Nordy? I could I could do a night without the sardines, but it would be nice to do a, like a run of Nordy. So let's do a Nordy run, and then after that we'll go to uh, we'll go to doing um, like a livery or something. You know, like I said, it's not like we're not we're gonna not do racing tomorrow because we'll be racing tomorrow. We have all day tomorrow to race. Okay, Nordy, Nordy, Smoggy, your Andor. Changed, <laughs> killed your opportunity to uh, <laughs> to race anything else other than Nordy. Ah, let's do it at night. Let's do Twilight.
We can do set car. We can do Mazda Miata race around Nordy. Nah, I don't feel like doing this. We already did our set car race for the night. Plus, I want to drive my Ferrari. <laughs> and not everyone has enough 40. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drive my 4C. We're gonna we're gonna give the um the four C a run around the Nordy. Cause I haven't I haven't gotten a chance to drive the the four C. Oh, okay. I don't have the nine one seven. I don't have the nine one seven. I want to drive the four C. Putting my foot down. So I didn't get a, I didn't get the force I didn't give the four C a good a good uh I don't think everyone has the four C smoggy. Though you and I can run against each other in group four if you want to. Or group three. I don't think all of us have the four C group three. I I didn't have the four C group three. I had to go buy that. <laughs> Yeah, you can do whatever you whatever you can do whatever car you want. You guys don't know I, I don't drive. I, I test out cars on this track. I don't really race on this track. It's like impossible to pass anywhere on this thing, except for the last straightaway. Is the group two better than the group four? Uh oh, Ab's breaking out the his Volkswagen. <laughs> it's 1286. 66. Uh, we're gonna wait for Woody, so everyone's got 15 minutes. We'll go at 21 or or 20, whichever one. We're just waiting for Woody. I don't know what I'm going to I don't know what type of liver I'm going to put on this car. I don't know what type of liver I'm going to put in this car. Smoggy, I didn't know you had the 4C um, Group 3. Are you uh, are you thinking of ch switching over to uh, Alpha as well? You done riding the Jaguar? I'm ghosting again. I don't know why. I have no idea why my car is ghosting right now. Yeah, drive whatever you want. Drive whatever you want. All right, Dave, I'll shut the penalties off just for you. But I'm going to tell you, Dave, stop hitting the walls. Don't hit the walls. You have every group three and group four car? That's a lot of cars. That's fine. Don't worry about it, Woody. Hold on, everyone. Everyone, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the settings here because Dave likes to hit walls. So if you're on track right now, you're gonna get zipped off the track. Sorry. <laughs> don't hit the walls, Dave. Uh, the nine one two. I don't have that car. I wish I did. Or the 918, I'm sorry. I wish I did.
Yeah, the Nordy Nightcap is never really a race. It's more of a... Um, it's more of a an experience. <laughs> Let me change that to What are you gonna hit the exit pit row though? You're only gonna you're only gonna exit during this this practice. And the race is so long that you're not gonna have to pay it off until five hours from now. <laughs> Um, let's change the car settings to soft. Ah, four laps is, four laps is, uh, standard here. You've never done a menu race around here? Manu races are always four, la four laps, and um, nations are always four laps around here. That and the other, the variation, it's always a four lap race. It's only 21, 20, what? It's only a, it's a what's it? Because um, I mean, the laps here are about seven, se six or seven minutes. So it's only like a 20 minute race. Four laps. It's not that much. It's not that. It's not that long. Uh oh, Abs is breaking out the RX five hundred. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Do you not do the Nordy night? Then you've never done the Nordy nightcap with it. With us. We do this every night. Every night, last race. Last race is always a naughty nightcap. We should do the 24 hour format at some point. I do like the 24 hour format. Not tonight though, I already, I already changed it. The only time I, the only reason I don't want to do it because it takes longer. You've been trying to do the circuit. Well, the circuit experience around, around here is pretty stiff. It's pretty hard. It's a pretty hard. Uh, it's one of the hardest circuit experiences. I know the track and it's hard. But they give you that one Jaguar or that. What is it? Is it a Mercedes Benz? I wonder how it is now. I haven't done any of those licenses since they've updated all the physics. I bet you it's easier now. Here comes, is this Woody? Is this you, Woody? Cool, it is Woody. It is Woody. Uh, is everyone ready to go? Because I know people are falling asleep and stuff, so we should probably go here sooner than later. <laughs> Abs is the only person not driving a, uh, a group car. <laughs> oh, it's the M5. That's right. That's right. I thought it was the Benz. Why do I remember it being a green Benz? Oh, go ahead and pick a car. I, it's whatever car you want, Woody. What, you know, we're not really racing here. I mean, I guess we are, but I mean, I never really race here. This is like where I test cars. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in a huge rush. I just want people. I, don't, I just want because I know Abs is falling asleep. <laughs> Is it really the M5 or M6? M5? What is the one with the green Jaguar or the green um, Mercedes? Is it, it's one of the circuit experiences. I know that. I could have swore it was this one. 
Maybe it is the M5. Oh, the license test. That's right. That's right. I knew it was. I knew you drove an AMG on one of these. I knew. I knew the M. The, the AMG was on one of these. It's all good. It's all good abs. Alright, what he's gonna do to Genesis. Yeah, the AMG drives like an aircraft carrier, it's terrible. Uh are we all good? Are we all ready? What are you good? Everyone good? Everyone good? Like I'm still, like I said, I'm I'm still I'm still testing right now, so whether or not I do good here or not is a whole different story. Let's do this. Party time. Let's do this. So we don't all fall asleep. <laughs> It's another ad. Why is there another ad playing on my stream? What up with that? It's an ad for a motorcycle. Why am I ghosting? I don't, I don't get it, man. Don't mind me, I'm ghosting. This car really tears for the gears, too, man. Oh. Got a little off there. for C. <laughs> All right. This round of testing is not going good.
do like this car a lot. I, I can see where people say it gets squirrely. Um, I think it's because it's light and small. It, it tends to get airborne. <laughs> Can looks to come off the ground. What that's what it feels like. Sorry, sorry, Lars. Just trying to figure out where Lars' car was going. I think I'm ghosted anyway, so I probably shouldn't have worried about it. <laughs> through second through like fourth man
like this car. Grand bunch just around a turn. It's fine. Well tempered car though, man. It is going through the tires pretty quickly, though. Get off on the get off on the curbing, man. Not good. I'm not good at all. time to see how fast I can get around here with this car. It sucks. I really like it. A 
liver stew there. I think Alpha's gonna be a good fit, man. At least for one season it will be. I mean, I'm gonna miss the Porsches. But I think for a season. Alpha's not going to be a bad choice. We'll see. We'll give it a little, a couple more rounds of testing tomorrow and see if... Uh, the 155 I'm sold on. The, the 4C I'm pretty much sold on. Actually, race, race it at some point. See how how I like it. But the one thing that I could see being a problem, though, just right now, just looking at tire wear, is that both of the cars tend look like they eat tires up. Which is gonna be a new experience for me in the uh, the menus uh, because the Porsches are so good at it. Uh, this this race is set up with 1x and I'm seeing tire wear which makes me wonder if the modifier is set to a high tire wear modifier how, how both the cars are going to be Yeah, go for it, Rabbit. And look at the rear tires. The rear tires are wearing out pretty quickly. I, I wish I'd paid attention to more people. You know, the thing is, though, there, there are not many people that drive the Alphas. The, the one person that I know of that has driven the Alpha for a, several consecutive seasons is Turpy. And he's damn fast with them. I think when he switched to the Alphas, he was way faster than what he was when he was still driving um, the Aston Martin. Granted, the guys that were driving the Ast Aston had grouped themselves because at that time it was Greddy, Turpy, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the other Louisiana driver. There were like four of them that had made the like they were a team, and they all drove the Aston. And uh, they picked the the bad Group Three car, uh, which was terrible because all of them hated driving it. Um, they like driving the Group 4 car, but the Group 3 car was awful. Um, which one is it? It's one of the two. I can't remember which, which ass that it is. It's terrible, though. Like, it's regarded as, like, the worst Group 3 car out there. 
Um, but they all had like driven that one and they none of them liked it. Um, but when he moved to Alpha, dude, he was so fast. Which car were you driving? Revit. Yeah, when he had moved to Alpha, dude, he was smoking fast. Um, but I never really paid attention to his tire wear. Which I probably should have now, now that I'm thinking of moving over at Alpha. I mean, just looking at my tire wear, my tire wear is pretty, pretty advanced right now. For a 1x race, this, this car is eating through tires right now. Oh, you were driving the 9... That's right, you were driving the 918, weren't you? That car probably could use a set of racing softs on it. Racing softs is a suspension. 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 require a couple more tests tomorrow. Like I said, the only thing I can see that could be an issue is tire wear right now. With switching to these cars. Just because I'm used to a car that doesn't wear its tires as much, I should have broke there. <laughs> you know, I'm used to a... a Cars that don't tear the tires up too much. Um, with the lobby set to what it's right now, like I probably shouldn't see, be seeing that much tire wear. Is it set to one X right now? But it, I mean, and when when, when you normally do this race. For man urination, it's usually like four X for the tires. So if that was the case, the tires would be probably tore up by now. And, you know, the Porsches aren't bad. The Porsches are so conservative on the tires, man. These and the dr gas drink gas or they sip gas. I'm sorry. So. decision. It's a shame because I really do like this car, man. This is, the more I drive it, the more I really, really enjoy driving it. But like it's, like you said, Revit, I haven't tried the uh, Porsche since 911, the RSR since um, today's update. So maybe may my... I, I really wanted to do it just for a change. So I'd like to have anything wrong with Porsches. I really love driving the Porsches, but um, I just wanted to change it up this season. Like I said, I'm going to do it for like a season. It's because I never, I always drive the Porsches. I've been driving the Porsches now for how many seasons now? <laughs> Two years <laughs> from Manu.
and I'll probably go back to them. Or who knows, maybe we'll, maybe we'll try Jaguar next season. This season after this season. I really, dry, I really enjoy the Jaguars. If the Group 4 vet was better, I'd probably, I, w I wouldn't mind going to Chevy. But the Group 4 vet's a little slow. It's a little on the slow side. Which is a surprise because it's, it's usually a pretty good contender in real life. Whenever you get the new vet, man, when, when is that gonna make an appearance? This, by the time the new vet comes into this game, it'll be a Gran Turismo 8. Gran Turismo 8 will still be driving the cars from 2014. <laughs> For Group 3 and Group 4. Well, maybe we'll get the 2018 cars by then. <laughs> can we drive these old cars for? I, I don't think Alpha's going to be a bad home to go to, though, man. I, mean, I could go really crazy and, dr and drive the Ferraris. <laughs> the Super did fairly well with you driving it. Yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine the nine one eight is gonna would be a uh, um with a thousand horsepower. That would be a handful. All right, guys, thanks for racing. Uh, we'll do some. We'll do some. Maybe we'll do some. Uh, maybe we'll do some. I'm gonna get look at this car's livery really quick. Maybe we'll do a little bit of work on it. Good night, guys. Maybe we'll do a little bit. What's up? What's up, Swordsman? How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. How you doing, my friend? How's your evening going? Swordsman, you'd probably know this. How is the... How are the... Well... Well, I don't know. It's you haven't raced in a while, right? I'm thinking of switching to Alpha, man. I'm thinking of uh, leaving. Uh, oh, always Alto. I think I'm leaving Porsche and I'm um, going to Alpha for like a season. I really like the 4C and I like the uh, 155 a lot. <sighs> Just tire wear, tire wear, and gas are the big question. Like, how good are these cars going to be on tire wear and gas? Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at this car in the gallery. <sighs> a nine seconds slower than your fastest lap. You know, the tires shouldn't have wore out. It's, it's only at 1x. Maybe I guess I wasn't the only one that was wearing out their tires. My rear tires were going. They're, they're a lot lower than they normally are. Ooh, cryogenic therapy. I heard that's, I heard that's good. Uh, grip's fantastic. The grip's fantastic. I like the new update. The new update's really good. I mean, I don't really notice too much from the other update. That was fun, Woody. Good to, good to have you, man. It was good having you. The new update's good, Swordsman. The new update's been really good. Smoggy's fast. That's a fast smoggy to cat. Uh, what's it to keep up with? Yeah, 
Yeah, maybe. Possibly TMKR. I'm not leaving soon. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do some livery. I'm gonna do like an hour worth of livery work and then maybe call it quits. So you can hang in there if you're still uh <laughs> if you're still watching. I know you like the livery work. Uh what type of wheels would we go with? I'll switch wheels on this car. I like the wheels on the 155. I don't like the wheels so much on this one. Oh, the deep dish BBSs would look kind of nice. Yeah, stay in for some liveries, dude, because I... You are one of the people that um, does... Is an inspiration for me and my livery work. So I would be honored if you stayed for some livery work. Ooh, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Deep dish styles. Oh, no. Go ahead and let the dogs out. Uh, who, who was the one that let the dogs out, though? <laughs> did, did you let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Were you the one who let the dogs out? <laughs> did you did you let the dogs out? <laughs> Crack myself up sometimes. Cryogenic therapy sounds cool though, man. Swordsman. Oh. Those almost look good. Too bad they're rally wheels, but. You know what's I heard it's really cool is um isolation therapy. I really want to try that out at some point. <laughs> Back to the grinds. Good luck on the grind, Woody. I mean, you can hang in there. I mean, you can hang in there with us on chat and chill out. I'm just going to be doing some livery work here. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out what type of wheels I'm going to put on this car. No, I don't quite like the stock wheels that are on this car. I mean, it's... it's ooh, those actually come, look kind of nice, too. It's kind of a heresy to put Enkies on this thing. I mean, it is kind of like a Ferrari product. In a way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> who let the dogs out? Woo, 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 woo. Who let the dogs out? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I almost like the BBSs, man. I'm a big sucker for BBS, though. I almost like those BBSs. Why don't we have more choices for one piece or one bolt wheels? It's a mystery to me. It's a mystery to me. We have group three and group four race cars and group two race cars and group one race cars. Yet all of them are five lug wheels. They should technically be one bolt wheels. I almost like the BBSs, man. Like, out of all these wheels, I have one single wheel that's a single bolt. I can use five lugs on these cars, man. It's one lug. One big lug in the middle. That would be really cool, Racing Swordsman. I would be very much interested in that. I would be very much interested in that video. You know, I want to try the... Uh, well, the isolation therapy is more like... Um, it's like a head thing. Cryogenic therapy is more of like, you know, a physical thing. Um, a buddy... Actually, Porter, the guy that makes all the music... 
uh, pretty not regularly, but does, um, but pretty often he goes in for uh, for doing iso, like being in an iso chamber. Basically, he floats in salt water in a, a chamber that has like no sound, and it's crazy. He just floats in salt, salt water. It's like a little chamber. I wouldn't do it if you're ever um, if you were uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it when you don't like tight places? That word. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go with these wheels. If you were uh, claustrophobic, you wouldn't want to do. You wouldn't want to. Yes, claustrophobic. You you wouldn't want to do um, isotherapy because they put you basically in a metal tube, and you float in salt water. Cla claust claustrophobic. Cla it's claustrophobic, right? Um, but he always sees, seems to feel good after it. Uh oh. Are we seeing a lock up here? Oh, PlayStation locked up. PlayStation locked up, huh? That's no good. Uh, but he says it's really, you know, it's very therapeutic as far as clearing out his mind. My man Porter's got some things that talk to him. His head talks to himself. So, who am I talking about? I'm, I sit here and talk to myself for eight to twelve hours a day on the stream. I mean, you guys talk to me, but <laughs> uh, but he seems to he seems to really like it. Um, cryogenic therapy would really look cool, though. I would imagine that would help a lot. As far as, like, you know, trying to get, like, parts of your body that are misaligned. I probably should do that for my knee. Oh, uh, you know what, Racing Swordsman? Are you still there? How are, How is the recumbent on your knee? On your knees? Your recumbent bike? I, I would imagine that the stress put on your knees a lot less than like a traditional bike. I've been I've been looking at buying a recumbent bike. And uh the only thing that I have about the recumbent and me being in Los Angeles riding a recumbent is people not being able to see me. This is bad enough people can't see me because they're texting on their phones in Los Angeles. <laughs> so being on a recumbent, I don't know, man. I don't know. You're so much lower to the ground. I guess flags would help if you had flags on your bike. Oh, wait, where, where do my wheels go? Oh, that's fine. Where'd my wheels go? I think I'll be all right, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I've ridden my regular bike here. I just want to get back into bike riding again, man. I really miss it. I miss bike riding. Someone stole my $4,000 road bike. Driving in LA stresses you out. Are you in California, right, Revit? I I've gotten so used to it. It used to stress me out. You know, New York actually, I don't think New York is that bad. Because it's a grid, so it's like. Oh, you're in Oklahoma. Uh, driving in New York actually isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be, because it's a grid, so it's really easy. <laughs> it's really easy to to navigate. I mean, the traffic's a little bit bad, but I mean, if you know where you're going, that's I, and that's really the trick, right? Is knowing where you're going.
Oh, yeah. Where in the Pacific Northwest are you thinking of moving? Smoggy's from the Pacific Northwest. He's in Oregon. Uh, I like Washington a whole lot. Outside of Seattle. I like Washington a whole hell of a lot. Smoggy, if you're still there, no no offense to Portland, but... Um, or Oregon. Uh, but I, I, I like Washington more than I like Portland. <laughs> I don't like I don't like Oregon because it feels not like Washington, but not like Los not like California. Oh, oh yeah. You know, if you're going to be if you if you're going to move there because of legalized. Um, legalized uh, what's it called um, safety meeting material um, Washington safety reading material is also very good <laughs> is also is probably BC stuff anyway but I would imagine. I would just, I would imagine. It's, it's probably the same stuff. At least from my experience, it seems like it's the same stuff. Yeah, you know, the stuff out here isn't as good as everyone. It used to be better. Um, once it got legalized, um, it has really fallen off. Because <laughs> everyone, it's like cool now. Everyone's like, oh yeah, it's so cool. It's so good. And it's like, you don't even know what you're talking about, do you? Do you? Uh, once it got like in vogue and like everyone's now doing it, uh, not, not quite as good. <laughs> At least in my honest opinion, it's, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good as the older stuff. La when was the last time you were here? I mean, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur as well. <laughs> I'm a connoisseur as well. I I'm very, very picky about it. Seven years ago, yeah, it's it's a different story now. Different, different scene, Diff much different scene. Now that it's like super legalized, because that seven years ago it wasn't. I mean, it was legal, but it wasn't legal for everyone. It was only legal for people that held a car, a uh, medical card. Um. Now that it's legal for anyone, not as good not as good I will say that it's not as good uh, part of the reason why I haven't really partaken in a safety meeting in um, it's been a while it's been it's been about oh how long now um, it's been it has been uh, about six months now <laughs> yeah, safety meeting, man. <laughs> safety meeting. I'm going to make sure you're safe, bro. Yeah, have a safety meeting now, man. This is, right now is the perfect time. <laughs> right now is the perfect time. It's been about six months for me. Laid off of it a little bit. You can say that. I know. I 
<laughs> you found a nice bag on the floor. You're concerned for safety. Oh, that's cool. It's all good. It's all good. Is it le is it legalized out there in um in Ohio yet? I know Virginia just legalized it, which it sort of surprises me, but not really. It's you know what it surprises me more is it's taken this long for Virginia to legalize it. It's taken Virginia a while to legalize it. Oh, it's medical. So everyone's got it medical now. Old Smoking Joe's trying to make it legal for everyone, man. <laughs> At least he's, de he's trying to decriminalize it. Old Smoking Joe. This is another reason why we call him Smoking Joe. Aside from the fact that he's smoking crack. <laughs> Half the time. At least it feels like it. Oh, yeah, you know, same with me, man. I'm getting older, dude. I, you know why I'm not so big on it? Like I said, it's, it's here, it's, it's a status thing, and it's like, you know, I'm not playing those games, man. I liked it back in the day when it was a little bit sketchier. You love the fruit punch. Fruit punch is good. That's a good one. Um, let's see if this is going to work out on the other side. Yeah, you know, I'm the same way, uh, Woody. I haven't... You know, I'm getting... I'm, I hate to bring the age thing in, but I'm, you know, I'm getting... I'm getting up there, bro. I'm getting up there. Old enough that, you know, I've kind of gone out of that. <laughs> you like the six hour meetings? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not like super old, but I mean. I'm not, I'm not. I'm no spring chicken anymore. I can tell you that much right now. I'm no spring chicken, man. How am I gonna get this to match the other car? I'm definitely no spring chicken, dude. You are a little bit younger than I am. Revit. I am at a. 40, 47? Am I 47 now? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Somewhere there. Somewhere along the lines of like 47, I think. Alto, you're 54. Dang, old man. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> now that's old. I'm just joking. <laughs> I ain't no spring chicken anymore, man. I ain't got time. Time for those kids' stuff anymore, man. Yeah, you know, from like I said, for me, it's more of the fact that it's like so, like, ah, oh, oh, it's so cool. I'm like, please. I like to call the people that think it's cool now, like the Taurus, they're Taurus. All those people are Taurus. You Taurus. <laughs> All those kids that do it now are Taurus. You know what? I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something like that. You know, I was doing it long before these kids nowadays. I'm like, oh, it's so cool, man. I'm a cool person. Ah, dude, I smoke the weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
This is just, this is a difficult card to paint, especially if I'm trying to match. Mr. T was saying that I should match the other car. Um, considering the two cars are completely different. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a hard car to match uh, to the other car, but I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge, man. I think I kind of haven't figured it out. <laughs> I think I have it kind of figured out how I'm gonna pull this off. It it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Uh, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it with a little bit of a little bit of hutzpa. And a little bit of moxie. I like the moxie on that kid. We're gonna we're gonna do it, damn it. I'm up for the challenge of trying trying to meet the challenge that has been asked of me. Duplicate that. And then we're gonna move you over like so. Oh, you're not gonna you're not gonna play the game, are you? Design. I really didn't want to have to mess with this. But we're gonna have to make this bigger. Mr. T Renzo asked me to make this exactly like the other car, which is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I'm not gonna lie. Wish I knew that was center or not. It doesn't look like it's center. I think that's center. Oh, so close. No, I can't do it. It looks like there's a little bit of overlap, so I'm going to have to go like like that. It would be nice if we can get this dead center so when I duplicate it symmetrically. Oh, so close. <laughs> this needs to come over just a tiny bit. Like, I think there. Oh. One more over. I'm going to do it. All right, we can we can do with that. You go over, and you go over. Oh, so close! So close, but so far. There you go. Nope. The bunky kaboom. <laughs> you wanted an alternate UK. You know, I haven't done the UK thing yet. I, th I think I'm bad enough with my my American account. I don't think there's a need. I don't think there's a need for a UK version of my badness. <laughs> I think we're fine with just one. <laughs> I think one Kaboom operator on one coast is enough. Do you really want another one? People have always asked me, like, why don't you start up a UK account? I'm like, do you really want another UK account from me? <laughs> I mean, come on. You've already seen how I race on my American account. <laughs> Marcia, how you doing, my friend? Is it more clean? Well, you guys you guys are talking in a daily sense, right? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We just got done racing and now we're just doing some livery working. We're now we're just working on some liveries. I would imagine you're talking about like in in uh, daily daily styles, right?
Yeah. Oh, well. Non kaboom lobbies. <laughs> so try to keep the lobby cleaning and racing in my the lobby racing in my lobby, you know, as clean as I, as clean as I can, right? Um Yeah, I get that. I don't do the dailies, so I'm not too worried about racing in the dailies. I just I'm, I just never have. I've never I've never really done the dailies. So it's something that I haven't even like um, factored in. I get it though. I totally get it. I totally get it. Uh, it's not lost on me that whole idea that it's much cleaner in the European lobbies. It's really a shame though for like I've seen, I've watched enough, um, you know, racing, when people do daily races, like the A lobbies you would think are cleaner, but they are so much worse, at least on the US side, so much worse, man, it's a shame. I would hate to be an A-plus driver and end up in one of the U.S. lobbies. Yeah. Well, also there, people aren't trying to win on the first lap, which is... I think that's uniquely an American thing. <laughs> Seems like it's an American thing to want to win on the first lap. That's just my opinion. That's probably wrong, but you know, I've seen enough of it that it's just like, come on, guys. There are 20 laps in this race. You don't have to win on the first lap. You're not going to win in the first corner in the first lap. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you have. That's why I do Manu more so than anything else. It seems like people that race in the Manu are a little bit better about, um, are a little cleaner. That's just, you know, that's just me. Yeah, exactly right, Woody. I, I, same with me, man. I just try to be as fair and clean as possible. Yeah, I get it, Marcin. Uh, well, that's easy enough to combat, Dave. You could just mess with the arrow, and I'm sure that will... I'm sure you can uh, clean up your PP. Make sure your PP is clean. Okay, so one of the issues we're going to run into is that aqua color on the bottom. I like racing with people that are faster than me, though. You always learn more from people that are faster than you. You know? At least I do. Okay, so. How do we have it on the other car? Oh, but you know what? There was a big space of white between. Ah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. This is going to be so much harder to put it on this car, though. Let me 
figure it out though. Maybe we can line up this this whole craziness down here, down here. Now nothing's wrong with you. I, I would like to try to get its effect successful. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I kind of need a picture of my other car. <laughs> I'm going to have to. I might need a picture of my other car in order to do this. Because I, right now I'm just working off a of memory of how the other car is. Because there's a white space in between. In between all these stripes. So this, these stripes are going to have to be down here somewhere. They're gonna have to be down here, and there's gonna be have to be that white spot there. Let's do this bigger, and then start or originate, originate this whole thing here. We're gonna have to continue that over to the uh, the bottom area, uh, and then this was. Uh, this was a darker blue. I think it's out of this palette. I think it was this color. No. Yeah, actually it was. It was it was that dark blue. I think. Oh, aren't you a aren't you a little peach? You're gonna be a pain in the butt. Let's go smaller with these stripes, because the way my eye is looking at this thing, I can't even remember how many stripes were in this. If I can run this along this line here, that would be awesome. How much smaller is this from this one? Ooh, there, up there. That's quite a bit, so we'll just have to Let's make it just a tiny bit smaller. A smidge smaller, and then we'll have to re-angle that red piece. So it was delight, delight you. Duplicate you. And then we'll make you a rod. Red. And move you over like to here. And then we'll make your blue like here. And then the, the, there's the white spaces in between. I keep on re-angling this piece, so it makes me forces me to have to redo this piece. Because <laughs> I want the I want the spacing, the white spacing in between, to be even. Should probably put a guideline up. See if we can just do it by eye for now. Will we be doing racing tomorrow again? I don't use the goats. I'm the same uh, rabbit. I, ca I can't do the ghosts. You know, the ghosts are really distracting for me. Super distracting. I get super distracted by them. That's why I don't use the ghost. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you should use a ghost to get better. Um, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. It, it. It's really super distracting, man. Like, I end up looking at the ghost and then I just go all over the place. I'm the same way, man. I'm, I'm not good with it. I don't know how people do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't. You know, um, I felt that way before Icy, but now it's starting to really grow on me. I think I think competition was better in sport. I 
I think the competition was better in sport. Oh, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, Martian. The problem with that for me, though, is, is that at, at, when I'm behind the ghost, I tend to overdrive the car. Because I'm trying to catch up to the ghost. So I, I tend to overdrive the car a whole bunch. How many stripes were on the other car? I don't even remember. I don't even know right at this point if I'm doing this, the same color scheme. Doesn't feel like I am. <laughs> I mean, most of the colors are right, but I don't think these stripes are right color. Are the right color. I'd have to go look at the other car. I mean, it's it's close. I might if anything I'd have to I'd have to add more stripes to it. I mean, for the most part, it's right. I think. I know there was this lighter blue. I think it was this one. And that was the bottom half of the car. I think it's this one. And then... Um, and then... And then, and then we gotta wrap this color around to the other side. It's actually cool looking though. Matching it on that other part's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but you know, whatever. <laughs> what ebbs? Yeah, yeah. It might be a lack of practice, I see. Yeah, it's getting... Cl it's... I think now the physics are... I think the physics now are finally... For me, are feeling better than Gran Turismo Sport. Um, that might just be me. Um, I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way, but I think they finally are, because, um, you know, for the longest time I liked sport better because I liked the physics better, but I think in these last couple updates, last couple of updates, um, the physics are now better than sport. That's my opinion. Whether or not that's true or not is a whole other story, you know? That's all subjective, I guess, to everyone's driving style. But um, I, I think I think the physics are now better than sport. Finally, it's taken a while. It's taken a while for it to get that way. I don't think that's the right color. <laughs> it's about time, though. It's about time. It's about time that they've gotten better. I think I'm almost, almost there, almost there. I mean, if anything, I, I think I had more sh stripes on the other car. And the Mustang. Yeah, I miss the cones. I think that's probably one of the most common complaints is, you know, I don't, I didn't drive by the cones for the most part, but um, it was always nice to have them there, right? And, and not having them there now is, um, it's kind of a disappointing. I, I really liked the cones. You know, I didn't need them. 
you know, for the most part, like at the end, toward the end of like practice, but it was nice having them. Yeah, the snap out of do the snap over steer was a huge thing with me at the very long at the beginning of the launch. The snap over steer was a pain in the butt. Yeah, I like the cones as a reference. I, they just make me feel better. <laughs> it made me feel better that they were there. <laughs> right? It was nice. It was a ni it was nice to have them there. Not that I needed them all the time, but it was always nice to see them. Oh yeah, all the MR cars were garbage at the very beginning. Uh, which car are you talking about? Um, which car are you talking about, Alto? I think there were more stripes. Uh, we're getting there, though. Believe it or not, we're, we're actually getting there. I, I thought this was going to be a lot harder than than it was going to be, but it actually isn't that hard. <laughs> I need more stripes. I think I'm missing like two stripes. I'm going to have to go look at the other car real quick and then look at the stripe pattern. Uh, if anything, I've, I, ha I have the majority of it down right now. I mean, it's easy. It's easier now that I have the like that I've designed the first car. Are you talking about the? Oh, the the catacombs, yeah. You know, you know. I think the Ford, the the GT is is the preferred car out of the Fords for um, for a group three. So that might that might be um, a good idea, Alto. I think more people drive the the um, drive the uh, the Mustang the the what's it called? The GT more than they do the Mustang. I wish I could get an idea of the angle. That angle looks all off. You know what I wish in this is I wish it didn't. I wish it was just a ghost, ghosted red. I always hate trying to match a decal that's on a different body panel. That looks like the right angle. I'm just have to assume that, that that's the right angle. Don't assume that just makes an ass out of you and me. Why does that look bigger? That's close. Close enough for government work. Though I don't work for the government. Duplicate that. And then go to this blue. Ah, uh, gonna run into problems. Into problems with this one. Come on. This is where a mouse would be nice. <laughs> this is where working with a mouse would be definitely much nicer. Though, you were talking about this rabbit trying to do this without the mouse. It isn't bad. It isn't bad. 
though if your controller drifts a lot, I wouldn't wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> oh, infinitely harder if this controller drifts a bunch. So I have to be really careful sometimes when, when I do this. Oh, don't you dare be a pain! Come on, just just line up. I mean, that's close enough. I see what's happening though. Just because it it folds in there. That's fine. We can work with it. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. there. I mean, that's pretty damn close. I have to go look at the other car and see how many stripes and what the color scheme is. Because I think the color scheme is all wrong, but the top is right, but these stripes down here are a completely different color. <laughs> Duplicate symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. Uh, duplicate symmetrically. Uh, we're getting there, though. I mean, that's pretty damn close. That's pretty damn close from what I remember. Yeah, I heard, uh, yeah, Scotty likes to drive that car. Scotty likes to be jatty. He hasn't driven it in a while, though. Uh, he used to drive it all the time in sport, but he hasn't driven it in a bit. It's been, it's been a bit. Uh, the liveries aren't as hard as you think. The liveries, it's harder to come up with the ideas than it is to actually do them. Okay. We need to look at the other car real quick. Um, save... Boom. I'm going to save it as that. Is that what you're, you grind, use to grind the sardines? The 787B is tough. It's a tough car to drive. Yeah, I like to do relievers because they're super relaxing. <laughs> it's a way to play the game without having to play the game. Um, let me go look at the other car real quick. I wish there was a way I could A, B the two cars. Uh, how much do they have to be retuned? I wouldn't imagine they have to be retuned that much. If it's only six or seven points off, you could probably just do that with arrow. Oh. My relaxing car is a CLK. The Mer Mercedes CLK, or their AMG CLK. Uh, you actually would have to add more arrow to the back. At least for most of the group... What's it called? The group 2 cars. I'm oh, sure you can. <laughs> I've messed with Scottish teams before. <laughs> I've messed with Tom, I've, I've messed with Scotty skins before. Oh, so it's a dark blue. It's a series of grays. 
red, blue, gray, grayish purple, and a purple. And then that muted blue. So the blue is wrong. Okay, I wish it wouldn't do that. No, I don't want to look at the A barth. So it goes to a dark blue to a lightish gray. Stop doing that. Oh my god, I'm just trying to look at the damn car for God's sakes. Oh, and those stripes. Uh, yeah. So that that blue is like a lighter blue. I should have saved the palette. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do that right now. I should have just saved the palette for this car. Uh, and the red, yellow, orange thing. I, I remember all of that. Those colors, I think, are gonna remember. How how I'm gonna get that onto um, the other car is gonna be a whole different story. <laughs> as far as I remember, there isn't much space to do all of that on the other car. It's a lot like model building, and that's why I like it. <laughs> That, that's why I like this, because it's, it's a lot like model building. I guess I can go to paint. Alright, so we can save these colors. We need that one. Um, add to favorites. We need this one. Add to favorites. We need that one. Add to favorites. We need that one. Add to favorites. This is a lot like model building, this this whole process. So it's a... Oh, okay, I see. I see what I did there. Too bad I don't... I, I wish it would save more of the color history. So how many lines are there? Orange. There's a red, there's an orange, there's a... A lighter orange and then a yellow. Okay. Red... Orange, let's see if I can match the reds. But you know what? I wish there was an eyedrop tool for this freaking thing, man. <laughs> they need to add an eyedrop tool. Oh, it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. 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 Red, orange, lighter orange, and then a yellow. Or gold. One of the two. Let me see if I can pick those colors out. I think it's this. I think I picked it out of the here. Oh, but I can't favor them. Yeah, I picked them out of here. Okay, at least I can figure it out. I think I can kind of guess those colors there. Alright. Yeah, this is a lot like... This is a lot like model building. It's a lot like model building. Because you do the same thing, you know? I, I don't know about you, but whenever I build a car, I try to do a custom paint job on it. A lot less tape. <laughs> a lot less tape is involved. <laughs> Dude, whenever I build a model, I always end up making the largest tape balls. I go through Tamiya tape like crazy. That yellow Tamiya tack, that light tack, Tamiya tape? Oh my god. I am the king of tape. I am the king of tape. The very beginning of the whole painting process is just nothing but tape. <laughs> Dude, I love pulling off the tape. That's my favorite part. Oh! Smoggy got his gold back in the TT. In the time trials. Do you really like those delivery streams? I'm glad I see. You know, I like to do them too. Dude, I love them. I, I hate to say it, I love doing these. I, li I love doing delivery streams. I, do, I really do. Um, it's always a toss up on whether anyone wants to watch it or not, you know? I enjoy doing it because I just chill out. 
I just chill out skis, you know? I chill out. I, it, it's nice and chill. I don't have to do anything as far as like running a lobby or anything. Not that I didn't mind running because I love running the lobbies, but you know, this is like my time to just chill and and, and relax. We, we all talk to each other, you know. <laughs> ah, okay, there you go. Yeah, look how much different that color is. Okay. At least we can get this part right. You know, and then hopefully I heard, I hope, you know, other people have an inspiration. To, my hope is that more people get an inspiration that, you know, start learning how to do their own liveries. You know? Because I think it's a part of the game that I think, you know, a lot of people don't really focus on. They just focus on the racing part. Oh, have a good night, Walto. Peace. This boat. Boop. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Revenant. Are you on me? Are you on me to stream from the throne room? You should. I, I would. I want everyone to start trying to do their own liveries, man, because it's not that hard. It really isn't. It really isn't that hard. You know, it's it's a lot less challenging than I think everyone makes it out to be. Because a lot of people are like, "Oh, I'll never do it because it's so hard." It, it really isn't. You just have to have the right inspiration to do it. You know, and, and you kind of have to have. It, it's. I, I. I get it. It's. It's. It's tough to start off. And then when you start looking at other people's liveries, you're like, oh man, why didn't my livery end up looking like that, you know? Um, so I, I totally get it, dude. Um, but it isn't... I, I like doing them just in case anyone has any questions about doing them. Um, because it, it shouldn't be as daunting as ever a lot of people make it out to be. Oh, we just changed the wrong color, didn't we? There's that one. There's that one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on in this one. These are just so close to tone that just so close in tone. It takes a lot of patience. It does. It, it takes a lot of patience. Um, especially you learning the tools. But I think once you learn the tools, it it gets a lot easier. Because they don't do a hell of a good job of explaining what everything does. <laughs> if, you, you gotta, you gotta admit, TMKR, they they don't do a very good job of explaining what the tools. They don't do any job of explaining what the tools do at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, did we already put that purple in? Okay, so we need to do that purple, and then comes the dark blue. And then comes the red. We, we got two of the colors right. Yeah, They do n no job at all of explaining how any of this stuff works. You know, and, and that's the problem, I think. It's, it can be daunting because um, they, don't, they don't do anything to tell you what anything does in this livery editor. Um, and I think that's I think that's probably the worst part of it is that um, no one knows there's no right way of doing anything but then if you don't know what you can do then you just get frustrated you know there's not any one way of doing this there's probably a couple different ways that you could do this um, what I'm doing right now uh, but it would help to know at least one way of how to do it. <laughs> right? So if you don't if you don't have that knowledge, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. You know, and then it's, it's it's really, really annoying. This is such a big function of the game. I think I think a lot of people like their liveries. I mean even guys that are fast, like having, you know, a cool looking car. Yeah, I feel the same way, TMK. <laughs> but 
but even so, so much, so much more in this this thing. It's like you know, you pay all this money for this game, but they don't tell you how to use this part. They only tell you they don't even. Well, I guess they don't tell you how to do the racing part either. But um, let's see. We'll work with this one first. Uh, duplicate. We'll move you up. And then we will turn you into that dark blue. I think that was right. And if I'm not mistaken, I put a little bit of gradient on all of these. Uh, maybe we'll skip the gradient. Because it really doesn't need it. I was just doing it to be fancy. <laughs> that's, that's me, I'm a fancy boy. And then we'll duplicate you. And we'll turn you to red. Okay, that feels better. Now it would be nice to know that those are all lined up with the right line. We can find that out. Um, add a layer above that. We can find that out. I know you do, but you do a good job. You can do an amazing job of it, TMKR. I have never read any Ian Rankin. Is he good? <laughs> That's all good. Rebus. Should I read it? Should I read some Ian Rankin? Are you telling me I need to read Ian Rankin? I need to get back into reading. That's something I haven't done in a while. I was going to reread um, Blood Meridian. Which is a... Uh, a um, Cormac McCarthy book. You know how much I love Cormac McCarthy. There, below all this. Just tell me where I am. Oh, it's damn close. This is damn close. If this line is any indication. This we are damn close to being lined up. Good job, I. <laughs> this needs to be a slight, big, slight, slight low, slightly lower. The Scottish detective. You read all the books before they come out on Netflix. You know what I've been noticing though is that a lot of the books on my reading list are all move. Everyone's. Everyone's optioned out their books for movies. Almost every other book that I own is a um, has been adapted to a movie. Yeah, I can do. I can deal with that. All right. Well, we'll move on to the bottom part. Did we? Did we already copy this to the other side? No, we haven't. Symmetrically. Duplicate symmetrically. I love your um, design sense, though. You know I love your designs, TMKR. You've got some of the cleanest liveries, man. Uh, Maverick's awesome. I bought that on release day. Do you like the... Dave seems to hate them. <laughs> Dave doesn't like them. 
You know, I've been uh, I've been out of the uh, Lord of the Rings series, man. I've been, you know, I used to be really into it, and I haven't I haven't gotten into it. after the Hobbit debacle. I was like, yeah, I don't know. At least the movie series. I like reading. The I like the books still, but. Is it much better? I might give it a try. I'm not very good at, like, episodic TV. I'm not good at keeping up with it. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. Does anyone have... Does anyone have... I've been tempted to pull the trigger on it. Whenever I get money. Does anyone have Paramount Plus? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an admission right now, which is gonna probably make everyone laugh. Uh, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. So... Um, I've, I've been thinking of giving Paramount Plus a try because I really want to see Picard and I want to really want to watch the new series. So if anyone out there has Paramount Plus, it'd be really appreciated. Is it really good? I guess if I don't think about it as a Tolkien book, then a Tolkien story, then I... I guess that makes sense. Eighteen eighty three. So you did enjoy it. I, I've been really, really considering it. I've been really considering buying getting Paramount Plus. I just don't want to get into too many um uh subscription services. Uh, you know, because I already have a bunch of them. Oh, dude, Top Gun's terrible. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I love it. Maverick is awesome. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie I love I love top Gun. <laughs> do you so you do you like it as well smoggy Paramount plus and you like the new enter the new are you talking about um the new the new show the new series right you're, you're talking about that one right move just so I can do that well. New worlds. Yes, new worlds. Maybe I'll move this up a little bit. We'll, maybe we'll move this up just a tiny bit so I can get room for the stripies. Because I have the room for it. Okay, I can make the stripies work. I can make the red, orange, yellow stripies work back here. So can we make that work in the front? That's the other question. Um... Well, okay, so that's... So everyone seems to like the Paramount Plus. I've heard it's amazing. And then the new se the new season for Picard looks really good, dude. And it's also like, hey, I, I, it's going to be the last season of, start of the new, next generation. So I have to be part of that, dude. I, I really want to see it out. I really would like to um, see it through. Because I was such a huge fan of the, um, I was a huge fan of the, uh, you know, the next generation. And I love that crew. So I would like to see them, you know, ride into the sunset. Because look, let's face it, the uh, Insurrection was awful. Or whatever, what was that one movie that they did that was supposed to be their last movie? Like, that was awful. The one where Data... Well, okay, for an, anyone that hasn't seen it, um, Data dies. <laughs> but, uh... But I have to... I want to kind of see it through, man. I want I want to see what happens. You know, there's talk of Deanna Troy might die. Oh, dude, if Deanna Troy dies... I don't think all of them are crap. Insur uh, uh, 
the first contact was really good. Um, but I agree, the rest the rest of them were kind of crap. <laughs> <laughs> First contact was really good. Uh, but yeah, the rest of them were, were garbage. <laughs> I have to admit that. And and come on, the what's it called? The one where Data dies is like really this is the end of the the next generation. So depressing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, uh, what was I thinking about? Uh, I, I don't think, I don't think, um, what was that one called? Nemesis. Nemesis. While the intent was good, it was not executed. Um, great. The execution was not fantastic. <laughs> execution was not was not the best. What was that color? What was this color? Insurrection. That's that was the name of it. Not, 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 not their finest moment. I can't remember who directed that one. It was on Jonathan Frakes. Uh, but First Contact was good. I liked First Contact a lot. The one with the Borg, the Borg Queen. That one I liked. Dave used code for swearing now. <laughs> yeah, insurrection was was not good. Insurrection was was not good at all. I uh, was very displeased with that. And that was supposed to be like the last send off for the for that crew. And like, really? This is how you're gonna send off one of the greatest well. I don't know. I don't know if they're one of the greatest crews, but uh, it was not good. <laughs> it was not good. I kind of want to get some space between these two, but eh, whatever. I'm trying to repeat what I did on the other car. Another car had that on there, so I'm not from wild. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it. I just don't like how it to forms there so maybe maybe what we can do is let's try a little bit of this action let's try to do a line with surface instead oh that's better it's not gonna be straight so I have to wrestle it into position here uh, yeah all right yeah I'll take it one of the few, few situation with situations where I use a line with, a line with surface, um, for a sticker, for a decal that uh is a shape. Oh, thank you, Revan. You're doing twenty five seconds. 25 minutes, 25.5, very good, Dave. <gasps> what did I just do? What did I just erase? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's okay. Oh, no. 
I know exactly what I erased. I erased the square. It was a square. This is this, a this square that got erased. I don't normally do that. I don't normally use a line with surface. Oh, okay, I see. I see where we lined the square up. The square was lined right there. And then it was lined right there. And then. And then. And then. You know what? You know what this option needs. It needs to, it needs to control Z. Uh, and undo. There's no undo button for delivery. Delivery function. Which I, I think, I think they should have an undo, an undo option. <laughs> Definitely needs an undo option. I don't know why they don't do an undo here. Like, it's like one of the basic options for any kind of editor. You know what? I am gonna run that. I kind of like where that ends, though. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, we've almost. We almost have. We I mean, have to tackle the. Um, the hood area. We can do a few things that are different than the other car, though. Because it looks like we have some options. Some options for the other area. So let's, let's play with those options. We almost have this car completely painted. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Uh, not so much. Red? Red for those little grills? Yeah, why not? Why not? Duplicate symmetrically. Yeah, I kind of like that. Why not? Why not? And then... And then... And then it's a little front, front dudes. C9. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. So it ties into that little red. I agree. I like the red. But I think I'm going to make the spoilers all the same kind of babyish blue. There is going to be a relief line that goes between this and that, so... Um, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's option some colors in here. Add layer. I go to this present. And then... That red isn't totally covering. Uh, we can fix that. It needs to move down just the slightest bit. There you go. Delete that one. Oh, wait. We didn't delete it. Delete that one. Duplicate you on the other side. Okay. And then this color, um, I mean, we can do this blue. I think it might be a little presumptuous to, to put more red there. If anything, I think I would make, I would make these little side fin things red. But maybe the main lip thing, we'll see what it looks like in red. Nah, that's too much red on the front, huh? Right? Right? Let me f let me paint these little side guys. It's not bad. It's not bad. It isn't great, but it isn't bad. 
I don't know. Let's look at let's look at all of it in red. It isn't terrible. It isn't terrible. Maybe the little side guy should be red then. These little dudes. Might be a bit too much. Especially when I'm going to make these little side dudes red. You know what I'm saying? It's a bit much, I think. Me thinks. I don't know. Let's let's preview. Let's preview again. Matching color. I think I like it that color. I, th I think the other. I think if I make the other little side fins red. I don't know. What do you think, TMKR? Are you still out there, TMPR? I, I think it's I think it's a bit much. I think it's I think it's a bit much. It's a little it's a little much. The red. I like the red in small spots. That's why I only have this is literally the only well, I guess the other this might have a little bit of red in it, but this is really the only red on the car. Aside from this guy. And then went up with the side stripes. You're not sure? Look, let me uh, let me do what else I gotta do here, but I think I think it's gonna be too much red. Um, just because I, I have I have some relief stripes that will have some red in it too. Uh, and I'm thinking of making that red, which I'm not too opposed to. Like those, I can deal with being red. It's a bit clashy, right? I like the red there, though. You know what I'm saying? Peacock feathers. <laughs> That's why I'm using the red really it's like really sparingly I'm using the red. It isn't all over the place that I use the red. Like I said, I've got a couple of release strips I need to do. And flames. Uh, I still have a red, orange, and yellow thingy, thingy dude I gotta do. Oh, we gotta... Other the purple? This one? You don't like that purple? I like that purple. <laughs> I like that purple. It's not quite blue and it's not quite red. I like the winglets in red. What is that red coming? Th oh, oh, is that from? Oh, okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I thought we've covered those though. Oh, let's see, I'll have to move you up. I'll have to move you up too. You don't like the stripes on the side? Oh, are you talking about the front? Are you talking about this right here? This guy? Well, we can see what they look like in purple. Let's see what they look like in purple. It's not like written in stone. Let's see what they look like in that purple. You know? I, I could almost buy that too. So we, now we've got some bleed through on. Um, well, you know, I, I kind of like that purple up there. Maybe keep the winglets red. 
mean, we gotta fix that up there, but... I mean, I'm not opposed to that. We need to fix that. I kind of like that, actually. It's real muted, but I like it. It's not as gaudy, is it? All right, let's fix these winglets. You are you are bleeding too much, winglets. You're bleeding too much. Can we do that. Quite a little bit of that. Not too much. All right. Play dirty. I can play dirty too. Shape. I can play dirty shapes. Just have to do a little bit of adjusting there. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Duplicate symmetric. Oh my God! It's, it's Josh Benelli. Bananas. What are you doing up right now? What are you doing up right now? You know what that reminds me of? That actually reminds me of Mac, an anime. This is totally an anime color scheme. <laughs> Especially this green, this like muted bluish green with this purple. That reminds me of a Gundam. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what Gundam are, but it totally reminds me of a Gundam. Josh, what are you doing up? Josh, you know what's wrong with my car? Do you want to know? Oh, yeah, they are too. You're right. I like the darker one, though. There you go. Josh, you know, you know what ended up being wrong with my car? You got two rooms framed up and insulated. Wow, dude. Look at you, Mr. Handyman. You know what ended up being wrong with my car, Josh? I have to put a whole new steering rack in my car. <laughs> steering rack. That's what was wrong. They're installing a whole new steering rack in my car. <laughs> this might be my last Volkswagen, guys. makes me sad to say that because I've been a long time Volkswagen owner um, you know what they quoted me at for a steering rack twice that four thousand dollars four thousand dollars Not happy. Not happy. Uh, yeah. Dude, I've had so many problems with this all track. My R32 was fine. Dude, I have, I've had, I've had a Mark 1. I've had a Mark 2. I've had a Mark 3. I've had a Mark IV R32, brand new. That was my first new car was the R32. You wouldn't change it for $2,000? This is my Mark VII. You would have charged uh, $2,000. Well, it's the dealer, so you know how this dealership's going to be. Um, what I, the only reason I have it there right now is I have an extended warranty. And they're pretty sure that they can get it covered under the extended warranty. They just need Volkswagen VWOA to to um to okay it. Um, so hopefully they will okay it. Um, I have I've never had this many problems with a Vol a car period, little less a Volkswagen. Um, I've never never had as many problems I've had 
with a car. And I've told them that. I've been like, look, guys, I've, I've had to, so far, replace the head. I've had to replace... Dude, there's so many par other parts. I have to replace my headliner. I have to replace all the drainage in my in in my roof. Um, dude, there's so many parts I have to replace. And I've never, I've never had this many problems with a Volkswagen. Never. I basically had to replace the whole car. You did hear Skiller ship. <laughs> Dude, the only thing that is original in the front of the car right now is the block. That's literally the only because they make a, they make their blocks out of a cast iron block. So <laughs> hopefully, I don't have to change that over. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm hoping I don't have to change over the block. <laughs> That's the only thing that hasn't been changed is the block. Five Audis and two VWs. Wow! So you know you know what it's like to be in the inside of a, <laughs> a, a, a Audi VW dealership, especially with five Audis, man. That's one. That's four Audis too many. <laughs> Look, I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be serious. I, I love Audi. Don't get me wrong. I would never own an Audi. <laughs> I would never own an Audi. They're, they're like the so unreliable those cars <laughs> I'm a fanboy too man but I would never own an Audi I love I like them I like what they look like you know I like the <laughs> I like the promise of the Audi <laughs> but as far as reliability is concerned um, I wouldn't buy one <laughs> But you know what? I, I love the Audis, dude. I'm not gonna lie. If someone gave me an RS6 right now, I wouldn't complain. An RS6 Avant, I wouldn't complain. Yeah, exactly, Josh. Right? <laughs> to about fifty to sixty thousand miles, and then, and then I would trade it in for like a Honda or something. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, dude. I love Audis, dude. I, love, I think they're awesome cars when they're working. When they are working. Um, but I blame all the problems I'm having right now on the idea that my car was the first car, one of the first... Um, not the first car, but the first um, generation to run run off that plant in Puebla, Mexico. They just retooled. They had just retooled that plant in Puebla. Oh wow! You like these little narrow stripes? Yeah, I know. That's my relief stripes. Those are my relief stripes. But that's what I blame it on, is that it's, um, you know, not only was it the first generation of, of all tracks to, to kind of get released here, um, but it was also one of the first car lines off of that Pueblo plant, so. Oh, wow. You spent a lot of time in the shop. <laughs> you spent a lot of time in the shop. Two A4s, an A3, a Q5, and an A5. <laughs> yeah, you really know what the inside of the Audi dealership shop looks like. <laughs> oh man. Don't get me wrong, I said I love Audis, dude. Dude, if I could afford if I could could afford uh Oh you never had a single issue. Wow, you're one of the lucky ones. You're one of the lucky ones, man. Because everyone that I know in this, uh, is owned out of like, ah, it's back in the shop. Like, right, again? <laughs> really? <laughs> like, every one of my friends that is owned out is just like, oh, God. Time to go back to the shop. Mr. T! 
Mr. T, we're doing, we're doing, we're doing the livery of your dreams, man. I'm, I'm transferring that, that uh, livery over to this car. Almost done, actually. Almost finished. I gotta see what size that was. You never had an issue, huh? You're one of the few, dude. You're so lucky that you didn't. Six. Because a lot of people do, man. A lot of people have a lot of issues. A lot of issues with with the, um, the Audis. I've never had an issue with, um, you know, with Volkswagens until now. This is the first Volkswagen that's been this problematic, man, and it's just like, it's really annoying. Yeah, electrical is the big one with the Audis, right? I mean, that's usually the, the issue is like, it isn't just, it isn't the motor, it's everything that's connected to the motor. <laughs> windows um, I've seen heaters but Audi is probably one of those things where one of you know it to each his own it's gonna be either it's either gonna be it's in the shop all the time or it's gonna be an awesome car you know I guess the same could be said of VW because I've had friends that have owned the VWs too that have been like oh it's in the shop again um, I haven't had that problem until now, so I guess I guess there's always a first time for everyone, right? For the first time for everything. I always attributed the idea that Audis can be can be temperamental with electrical because they're overstuffed Volkswagens, at least the early models. Yeah. Um, but the Audi definitely has way more technology in it, you know? Audis usually have, you know, stuff that is tested out in the Audis, and then if it works, they'll end up in a VW. <laughs> but they do share a lot of parts. They do share a lot of parts. There's a lot of parts sharing going on between the two cars. Windows, definitely. Any any glass is definitely Audi glass in, in all of them. It, it's funny because it's like Audi will pioneer... They'll, they'll pioneer a technology in the Audis, and if it works, then they'll put it in a Volkswagen. <laughs> And sell it for cheaper the next season, right? And that's, I always thought that was dirty. I'm like, that's dirty, dude. <laughs> that's super dirty. You're gonna test it out, and you're gonna test it out in the Audi, and then if it works, you'll put it in the full swagons. <laughs> I know you need Vagcom. Oh, we got the Vagcom. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call hatchbacks. <laughs> oh, what's going on? You just woke up briefly. Thanks, man. Yeah, the old Vagcom. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong, dude. I love Audis, dude. If I if I I, I could afford to possibly have to put my Audi in a shop, I would own one. <laughs> That's the thing is that so sometimes you just don't know if your Audi's gonna end up in the shop. You know, there are good ones and there are bad ones. The same with Volkswagen. I just think the, the inevitability, I think, is slightly less with the Volkswagen. Uh, because the Volkswagens just don't have as much technology in them, you know? They don't have as much junk inside of it. Oh, yeah, go to sleep, Josh. This bump. Boop. Dude, I would love to have an RS6, dude. This, those cars are so sick. Oh, my God. 
someone gave me an RS6 Avant right now, I would be like, I'd be so happy. I would be so happy. Cause that that is one sexy car, dude. There's one damn sexy car, the RS6 Avant. All right, time for a bunch of red arrows. God, that would be so cool. That would be sick. Oh, I love wagons. Dude, I drive a wagon. Yeah, I'm, I'm streaming all weekend. Of course, Josh. Of course, Joshy Poo. I'm streaming all weekend. Red arrow time. Time for red arrows. I think we're done with the shits. Oh, you know what? I haven't done the hood yet. All right. We can do this. Uh, the hood just was a triangle. The hood was a series of triangles. Uh, you know, this wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, flip vertically. Flip vertically, and then we will... This isn't hard, as hard as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much harder. Um, turns out it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Turns out, as long as you have the design figured out, it's not terrible. Well, that's interesting. I kind of like that it comes to a point. That didn't happen on the other car. Oh, you know, another thing that we forgot to do. Just to keep with tradition, the other car was powder decals. I kind of like that. That was a happy surprise. This little point here. I kind of like that. I, I kind of like that. We're keeping it. Most of your liveries are three to four colors. Your A5 is your all-time favorite car. I am... Um, I am a huge, huge fan of station wagons. I mean, I'm a station wagon driver, like I said. Um, so, so I love the station wagon. They're my fave. They're my fave. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm a I'm a wagon driver, you know. I've always I always knew it in my heart that I was a wagon driver. <laughs> I knew since day one that was from from birth that I was a wagon driver. Ooh, Josh Benelli throwing down the five bucks. I love you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. You didn't have to do that, you sweetie. You sweetie poo. Oh, the A3 sports back. I'm gonna throw some family out to Josh for the five bucks. Love you, Josh. Love you. Some, some family. Big family. Dollar signs. Yeah, you know what? That's the thing is the, the, the Audis do. They handle like crazy. Oh, Dave. Throwing game over out there. Here we go. More family. Buck 99. Thank you, Dave. I love you too, Dave. We need to do something. We need to do something with. Yeah, not as hard. Not as hard as I thought it was going to be to convert the two. I kind of like. I kind of like not having the eyebrows over the. Over the, uh, the. The what's it? Who's it? The, um. The, uh, what do I call them? Um, the lights. 
what do you call those things that light the car up? The lights. We need to do some increasing of the limit angle and depth here. Can we go all the way to seven, ten. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can. Let's pick it symmetrically. <laughs> yeah, lights do light things up. Go to sleep, Josh. Go to sleep and and go to work tomorrow and stuff. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, buddy. My buddy. My buddy, my, my man, my man. Oh, just straighten out. There you go. Now I can flip you like that. I'm gonna flip you, flip you real good. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what we're not doing? You know what we're not doing? Did I change this over to. I did. Oh, it's aligned with camera still. Okay, good. I don't switch it to align with the surface until I get to the sponsorship decal part. I know that sounds stupid, but that layer above. <laughs> Front. And that, that matters. That doesn't matter. I better be dead on. Flip vertically. And... Alright, so now we gotta finagle this resangle the proper way so that it lines up with the rest of the trisangle. Oh, but you're going to be a pain in the butt, aren't you? That's okay. I can play like that game. We'll just throw you all the way at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is a surprise. Okay, maybe we can't throw you all the way on the bottom. That's interesting. Uh, but I know how to, I know how to defeat that. Decals. I know how to play your tricks. Game. Layer above, front. Give me a circle. Nope, that's the wrong shape. We gotta throw some shapes at you. At layer above. I'm gonna throw this shape at you, the circle, the mighty circle, and then we're gonna make it blue. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, my number on the front or on the side? Which, which? Uh, I do numbers. <laughs> I do do numbers. <laughs> More safety meeting. I don't know if I'm gonna put. I kind of like it without the eyebrow. Ah, well, you know, let's, let's take a look at what it looks like. Uh, which which numbers are you talking about? The numbers on the front or side? Is there an undo button? Where? Is there an undo button? You mean to tell me I've been working on this the whole time and I didn't know that there was an undo button? <laughs> no, surely not. That's what I'm about to say, Woody. Don't don't even try to play like that. Don't even try to play me, man. How we don't play that, dude? I know there ain't no undo button in this function. <laughs> oh, I agree. I agree, TMKR. I'm gonna have a number. I just don't put it on at the very beginning. I also don't use, now that they're not really enforcing the number plate on um, on any of the cars for menu, I usually now just throw it wherever I want to, which I love. I think it's, I think it's um, invigorating. <laughs> I think it's a brush of breath of fresh air and I'd have to worry about the huge number plate that Gran Turismo used to put on the cars. Okay, now... Can, can, can we get to go over the blue gills without being too intrusive? I can play these games, game. I mean, I like... 
I like that it looks like a big M like the Mach 1. You know, it isn't bad. Yeah, I love to have it not where the default is. The default number is. I hate where the default number always goes. They always put it's always so like ginormous and it's they always put it in a terrible spot. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Do you like it? Do you like that? Or or does it look better without it? I don't know, let's hide let's hide these layers. That's without it. And that's with it. I think with it, yeah? With it, no? Wish I could get it to align with... Maybe I can get it to align with the grills. Let me try something else here real quick. We'll hide these guys. My other idea is to do it to do it like this where are you do it do it real good um where are you where are you um this is the only other possibility I can think of doing this I wish I could get it to conform to that shape it's kind of like that but it's a little bit more boring, huh? Duplicate symmetrically. Yeah, I don't quite like that one. It's too straight. I want to see a little bit more character to it. Let's see if we can get it to curl over a little bit more. Maybe we can get it to meet up with the other one. So if it's going to do anything, it's going to meet the other one. Yeah, that looks better, huh? With with that one. Than the straight one? The straight one's a little boring. Yeah, if we're going to have fun shapes, we might as well make it interesting. Do we get symmetrical? Right? And that looks like the Mach 1. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You like the straight one better than the curve? Really? You don't like that? Damn it all to hell. <laughs> really? You like the straight one better? Maybe I can, let me try the straight one. Let me just try the straight one that meets up with that other, with the other one. We'll try it on this side. Hide this layer, add layer above. Okay, give me another straight one. Both look good. Both look good. I agree, both look good. But only one, <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> It's like the Highlander. <laughs> there can <gonna> only be one. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. I mean, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get it to... I was trying to get it to line up so that it... That it did... So it did this where it meets up with the... What's it called? But it doesn't... It doesn't play with this angle. I don't know, man. Because if I did like this, it would have to kind of line up with that angle. It's like... They both look good. It's not a clear winner here. I mean, they both kind of do the same, the same thing here. One just has a little bit more character. The Dingle Hopper, yes. <laughs> the Dingle Hopper. I mean, they both do the same thing. Just differently. One's, one's straighter than the other. Ah, we're gonna use the other one. 
We're gonna, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the curve. Just cause. Just because. This car is so curvy anyway that might as well. Did I have any red on the hood? I did. I did have a red stripe going down the middle or something on the other car. I had a red something going on in the middle somewhere. Well, we can always add that here. We can always we can always we can always make make that happen. I don't know if I'm gonna like it though. I still wanna keep this trisangle point here. So I like that that happy accident happens. And sometimes that's what it's all about. Sometimes it's all about happy accidents. nothing like happy accidents bad accidents these are terrible <laughs> I'm like the Bob Ross of livery make livery livery creation <laughs> happy accidents uh, duplicate that symmetrically it's a fine red line if I were to do anything though I think this 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 thing here this fin is gonna really mess up operations it's now it's doing some kind of weird bending and stuff. <laughs> that, that is a happy accident. Uh, I don't know if I like that red stripe, huh? I think it's better without the red too. Okay, maybe we won't make it completely match the other car. The other car did have a red stripe going down the middle. Uh, not so much this car. Not so much this car. Uh, in that case, let's throw their last two bits on here. On the f top end of the car would be the number, uh, which we did with, we accomplished it with a circle. Um, Where are we going to put that number is a question. I could always put it on the nose, but I'm kind of opposed to that. I can always put it here. Um, let's make this a line of surface, though. I mean, that, that wouldn't be a bad spot for it. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Uh, duplicate the layer. I would not be opposed and the number being there. Yeah, I gotta put my Kaboom Operator logo on the, the hood, too. That's why I'm, I think I'm gonna put the number here. That's where that's gonna go. Oh, and I did have the Alpha logo on the, on the hood, too. Yeah, we'll figure that out. That we'll figure out. Um, we'll figure out where that's gonna all land. That's what, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to address the hood so we don't have to ever see the hood again. <laughs> Number. Align surface. Number time. Ooh. I kind of like it cockeyed. Because I'm going to... I'm not a straight shooter in any sense of it. <laughs> Especially when I'm peeing, I, I pee to the side. <laughs> these nostrils, which these these guys, the nostrils, which nostrils? Okay, we'll take those. We'll take that. Um, decals. We need to add safety decals because we sure as hell do not want to get trapped in this car. Oh, the intake's below my number. Yeah, I'm not gonna ever. I'm never gonna mess with those. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna mess with it. Actually, you can't put any decals in there, so it's not a big deal. Um, time for some safety, guys. 
time for some safety decals because we can't be driving around in a car that is unsafe. Um, so we've got to make sure that people know how to open stuff. I usually do these at 6%. Is my safety, my safety, my digital car is of utmost importance. <laughs> I never want to get trapped in my own my my my, my digital car. <laughs> uh, Duplicate symmetry. Is that a lines of surface? We need to change that now. We gotta finish adding layer. Let's duplicate that on the other side. Dude, this is this has come together pretty quickly, honestly. I thought this was gonna take forever, but it actually is not taking that long. Okay, now it's time to align with surface. Um I haven't really been paying attention. I've been talking to you guys more more than I've been actually um, messing with this. Uh, that layer above that. We gotta make sure that someone knows how, someone knows how to turn off the electricity electricity and the gas. The fuel pump. <laughs> I always mix up which one is which. I, I think this is the E right here. Like, hey, this is the emergency lever here. And then the, electri the electrical thingy mig jigger. Add layer above this. I think that's the button. I think. I think. I could be wrong. It could be wrong. It could be the lever is the electric heat thing, and the button is the um, is the E. It's one of the two. You're all about safety right now. It's one of the two. It's one of the two. One of the two. Um. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I gotta put the toe... I still have to put the toe guys there. Um, I just want to get my hood latch... Hood, la hood latch releases just so that... Everyone knows how to get in my trunk. Which I would imagine was where the cooling and everything is. Because uh, we all know that the engine's back here. So we need to put... Red... Skies there. <laughs> red arrows need to go there. We need to put a tow hook arrow there. That's all coming. It's all coming. Don't you, don't you worry, guys. Uh, we also need to put a safety hood. We need uh, our alpha, alpha logo. Alpha is what we're looking for, right? Um, those usually, get, you know, those I usually put under the safety dudes. Uh, let's actually move these guys down too. Generally, I usually like to keep these all with. The, I like to keep the shapes all together. Keep all the shapes all together, um, and the number, just so I don't get lost in my own design when I'm go through and have to inevitably change a bunch of stuff. And layer. Um, we need to put the ka my kaboom logo somewhere. I should probably do that before. Um, before we do. Where's that gonna go? Oh, but that's gonna mess up my point thingy. I mean, maybe if we don't do... Oh, the K is just gonna drive me crazy. Why did you have to call yourself Kaboom Operator? Damn it. Can we get it down? Can we get, have it go down a little bit? Is that dead center? Yeah, that is. Damn you, Kaboom Operator. <laughs> damn you. Oh, damn that K. We can go all the way down here. And we could still feel... We could still feel it. That's 
the end of the good times. Those are the salad days. The end of the salad days has come. Oh, that isn't terrible. That isn't terrible. Just wish I wouldn't lose the point. It would have been nice to have not lost that point, but... Can I have your cake and eat it too, ma'am? Man, that'll work. It's not ideal, but that'll work. I mean, I guess what I could do is I can make these triangles converge a little bit earlier. Nah, that's fine. I'm not gonna mess with it. That'll work. That's close enough. Um, we will add a layer above this. Now is the time when Alpha comes out. Maybe we might be. We might actually be able to put Alpha flanking either side of the triangle. We never use this one. Straight enough. Maybe just one. Maybe just one Alpha Romeo. How big can you go without getting onto any kind of. Maybe just one, huh? Yeah, I think just one. I think two is too much. I think just one on one side would be good. Yeah, I like that offset, huh? I like that offset, just one of them, yeah? Not two. Just a single one. Just because that's how I roll. <laughs> I mean, if anything, I would do on the other side, like... I would do, uh... Oh, all my rusty... I'm gonna do a rusty car at some point in time. I really didn't enjoy doing the last rusty car we did. Uh, I mean, this is the only thing I could think of, is maybe, like, doing the snake on the other side. You know, that'd be the only thing. But I think that... I think that dirties it up. I just like the single one. On the one side, yeah? Just one. Just kind of like the Nelly Band-Aid on his cheek. <laughs> this is like my equivalent to the Nelly Band-Aid. Take your shirt off and spin it around your head like a helicopter. Right? Just the one. The one. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. That's how we're gonna rock the front. It's like when you wear your uh, your pant leg, when your sweat pant leg, you roll one up, and you the other one is normal. The one that's rolled up is like the business end. <laughs> now, I technically. Put all of my safety decals um, above. Oh, we might actually be able to use a yellow. I've never actually used a yellow, a yellow uh, arrow before. This is exciting <laughs> because it's a yellow hook. So maybe we can use a yellow arrow. Six percent. Ooh, 6% is awfully small. Can we go 7%? 7% will work. Yeah, just having one draws your eye to it, right? 
it's like, like I said, it's like the it's like the Nelly uh it's like the Nelly Band-Aid, man. <laughs> okay, what are these things? Do we have to demark those? Should we put red arrows on those guys? These guys? I mean they look like something safety. It looks like something that this is probably how the uh the what's a who's it attaches to the car, the front spoiler. All right, you can never be too safe. <laughs> All right. I would imagine they, they go like that. 6%. 6. Yeah, that's what I figured, huh? I mean, they would generally have decals there demarking all of that. Right? Um, we'll duplicate this one. I know this is silly, but in real life, these would be here. It's a shame it's going to mess my dots up, but... You can never be too safe, man. I mean, you don't notice it from out here. Technically, I should put some of the door the handles, but I'm not. Te technically, I should have a couple of red arrows in the door handles. I'm not going to do it. I don't ever do it, but I should probably. Oh, I highlight all of them. <laughs> You never know. I could be, I could be doing a, I could be doing an endurance race, TMKR. <laughs> it could be nighttime, and they'd be like needing to have to re remove the front, the front. Uh, what's a who's it? And be like, I, I couldn't see it. <laughs> There's no sticker there. <laughs> There's no sticker there. How, how would I know? There, there was no arrow. That could cost me precious seconds with my pit crew, TM Carrier. You never know. <laughs> do you really want to answer to the angry Italian pit bosses? Like, why didn't you guys do that front arrow change faster? Because there were no arrows. <laughs> there were no arrows there. Do that arrow out everything, man. There was there's an arrow for everything. <laughs> uh, to break up the, the blue and the white. Are you talking about which which blue and the white are you talking about, Woody? This one on the top here. This guy. I mean, we could. We could. I don't have it on the other car. Because it didn't work on the other car. But it could work on this car. Let's see. Let's let's take it out for a test drive, Woody. Your idea. Uh, I would say red. Correct me if I'm wrong. Red, yeah. <laughs> you you don't ever want to fight an angry Italian pit boss. <laughs> You know, your primary might be in the pits. Why didn't you that change the front arrow faster? Uh. But the boss, there was no red arrow. <laughs> I'd rather not chance a TMKR. <laughs> I'd rather not chance it. <laughs> You really want to fight off of an angry Italian primary, or what do you call them? The, what do you call the, the boss? The, um, the um, what is the word for it? What do they call it? An F1. Oh, yeah. You know this might actually work on this car, but this would be just a little bit higher up, just a tiny bit. I, I do kind of like the white there. But the boss, there was no red stripe of... <laughs> there was no red arrow. <laughs> I 
Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. The crew chief. Crew chief. Crew chief. I do like that red stripe. I wish I could have done that on the 155, but the 155 was so hard. I tried doing this on the 155 and it didn't work. But it works on this car. That's pretty damn good looking. I like that. A good, good catch, Woody. Yeah, I like that. That's sharp. That's sharp. There was a no red arrows. <laughs> Mamma Mia, why was it so fast? You're so slow at the changing the front arrow. <laughs> it's the worst Italian accent ever. <laughs> what did I say? 7%, 6%. 7%, I wish I could put it on there. I wonder if this is one of those cars. I wonder if I could put this on... Because technically they should be on the latches. Let me, let me see if I can actually put them on the latches. Some cars you can, some cars you, some cars I won't let you do it. Nope, and this is one of those cars you can't do it to. All right, well it was worth a try. <laughs> some of the, the newer cars you can, the older cars I've noticed you can't. Align that with no, it's aligned with camera surface. We need to switch. Oh, let's duplicate this first. We need to switch that back over. Editor options back to line with surface now. We're on the line with surface time. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, uh, we need to. Definitely the gas tank needs a red arrow. <laughs> Not like you're gonna miss that. But you never know, like I said, it could be an endurance race, man. It could be an endurance race it's late at night. Everyone's short of sleep. They could miss this huge, huge stainless steel ring that's right here. You never know, man. You never know. This car doesn't have an air pump thing. Psh, thing. Does that mean that this car, when it gets lifted up, doesn't have the pneumatic psh, thing? Is that not here? Does it not have it? I guess not, huh? Oh, yeah. This one? Yeah. Well, oh, there it is. That's the thing. That's the thing. You'd circle over the taillight recesses? Yeah, maybe. You don't like that little stripe going through there? We'll 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 we'll, we'll cross that path. Let me I still I need to I need to highlight this this thing cuz that, that's actually That's actually highlighted on the actual the um the group this the car's regular Delivery, so we'll put something over here. We need to circle over this thing. Oh, is there a gas? Is there a gas gas ring? I probably should look for one of those on the um the workshop, and they're actually looked at that. Although I haven't seen that on race cars. Do they have those on race cars? I usually see the arrow. That's like something I normally see. You normally see on the um, on airplanes. Do they have it on race cars now? Share it if you have it. I'll have to look that up. Okay, that's dead. Dead center.
There's our psh thing. And this was, we'll make it red. Probably should put this as a line with surface. Let's see if it'll align with, align with the camera. Probably work better. That'll work for me on that one. Okay, so let me let me try. Are you talking about white for the recesses, TMKR? Let's see. Are you talking about white in here? Or my off-color white? What I like to call insignia white? Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. A blue circle. We could do that. We could do that. Problem is, is this ovalizes. So I'm gonna have to figure out where where the, the best place where this is gonna be. Just because it ovalizes like that, it's gonna be such a pain in the butt. Uh, let me try doing the blue. We could. The problem is that red stripe goes in there. Can I get it so the red stripe doesn't go in there? Don't go in the red stripe. Don't go in there. It's not safe. It can take some stretching, but it also can take some align with the camera. it to not go all the way in there like that and get it to follow the conform I mean that's probably the best I'm gonna get it that isn't terrible you know at the least what I could do if I did like that I can duplicate it um, go underneath of it introduce our white again just so that there's a little bit of separation between that line that red line just enough to feel it but I think it's going to be a tough call right there is that white not the same oh that's right because that white okay I get it I get it I get it I get it, I get it. that's probably a bad idea because everything is, um, everything is, uh, flat. That actually isn't bad. That didn't turn out too bad. Yeah, I could dig that. Duplicate symmetrically. Kind of like that is what you're talking about. Yeah, TMKR. Oh, okay. That doesn't look too bad. Go. Says feel way, feel way. I reposted it. Let me let me do it after this because I want to. Well, I could do that now. I'd have to save it. I hate waiting for. <laughs> this is first word problems. I hate waiting for the save function on this game. Uh, let me do something real quick, and I'll do that. It's a transparent, though. Uh, is it going to be able to, um, we'll see. Hold on. We'll take a look at it. Let me, let me finish these. Let me finish my safety arrows. <laughs> now, this rear one. 
let me get I gotta finish my safetyness. It would be this one. Oh, but it's gonna be so small. Five. Six. Oh, maybe not that small. It'll just will just fit in there. I'd hate for someone not to be able to tow me out of a, a gravel pit. Ah, maybe the red one, huh? Yeah, that pops a bit more. It needs more arrows, definitely. It definitely needs more arrows. I mean, that's probably the last arrow I need, right? Oh, we didn't finish. We didn't do the back spoiler thing. Well, we can't. We can't not do the splitter. Can we just color this? No, we can't. We can't. Um. Oh, we can't. We can't let that go. Where, where did it go? Can you not color the splitter? Is that just the back of the car? No, it can't be that easy. <laughs> oh, and it has a small red. Okay, well, we definitely have to look at it. You know how I like my red arrows. <laughs> that can't be that easy, huh? Nah, surely not. What is that? What part of the car is that? This is not black. Normally. Am I just looking at it the wrong? It should be other. No? The splitter. The splitter edges. I should. Right? That's if I can figure out what the hell the splitter is. It should be other. For some reason, it doesn't want to give me the other. Close. Maybe we, maybe we look, have to look at the other from here. No. Where are you? Where on the car are you? Not other. Is it rear wing? No. Body. No. Body two. No. Rear wing. It cannot be. You can't tell me it's rear wing. No. Other. And it's not other. Is that normally always white? Okay, I'll check it out, Woody. Give me, give me a second. Give me, give, give me, give me a split second. Well, I didn't think it was white before, though. What is up with that? But I can paint it. Oh, you, you. All right. Why can't I put a decal over that? Oh, that's dirty. That's dirty. Bolts, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Oh, is it paint only? <sighs> That's really annoying, huh? I mean, it doesn't mess anything up. I mean, honestly, this doesn't look terrible here. That was white before. I mean, I'll accept it. Yeah, no filthy bastards. <laughs> 
You filthy Grand Turismo bastards. That is, actually doesn't look too bad. I, I don't mind that little bit of color on that little splitter right there. Kind of, or the front side, whatever thing of who's it, it is. Whatever you call that little bit of car right there. <laughs> I don't mind that too much. I'm still going to call them filthy bastards. <laughs> I kind of like, you're right, I do kind of like it. <laughs> Still gonna, it's not gonna, it's still not gonna stop me from calling them filthy bastards for doing that. Let's go take a look at Woody's gas gas thing. Would they put arrows here? No, this is bolted on. That's bolted, so they probably wouldn't have to access that. <laughs> I, th I think we've arrowed enough, but we, we we need to we need to look at Woody's arrows. <laughs> Woody's safetyness. This doesn't look bad. This is pretty damn good looking if I don't say so myself. That, that, that's not bad looking. It's not bad looking. It's pretty. It's a pretty handsome looking car so far. All right. Probably should have saved it before I've saved it now. But let's go take a look at Woody's little um, Woody's. Uh, I hate to say Woody's thing because it sounds nasty. But we're gonna go look at Woody's thing. Thanks, bolts. <laughs> oh, they can. They can. Interesting. Interesting. They said they can switch it to the other. Really? Why would they want to though? Why would they want to? Maybe if it gets to pit rows on the other side, maybe? I mean, that would make sense. Yes. Yes! This is coming together. This is coming together swimmingly. Yeah, I guess right. Yeah, that's what I was saying is maybe some tracks you pit left and some tracks you pit right. Very nice, Dave. Good job. Nah, that's true. It's true. We should be on the side that your crew is on. there an arrow behind for the hot exhaust not usually that's on jet flight that's on jet fighters <laughs> not, not that I know of not not on any model I've built before I'm just going off a of knowledge of models that I've built before <laughs> it's usually the decal you don't see on um, on on cars more like on jet planes like intake So let's see, following. Anyone seen Jeff Hocko lately? Oh. Lars did an STP um, 3.0 CS. That looks good. Oh. Then we have to definitely look at it. Where is it? Where is it? I want to see this decal that pops on white. I have too many friends following that post stuff up. It should have been in the top first page, though. Why is it? Why is it not there? Uh, let me try to go to your page. Hopefully, you'll show up. Hopefully, you'll show up very soon. Because I, uh, dude. I, can anyone tell me why there is no filter by in this like there, there's no rhyme or reason to how this is organized there's no alphabetic order there's no like when you added friends why 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 is there anything newsfeed oh there it is oh that is nice 
That is nice. We're going to add that to the collection. That might be nicer than what I've got going on. I like that. I like that. That could come in handy. Might work on this car. I like that decal. It's a nice one. Good, 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 good call, Woody. Right, this is going by a lot quicker than I, I thought it was going to be. This is going a lot quicker than I thought it was. I, I thought this was going to take a long time, but it's not really going that. Luckily, I already had the design already picked out, so... Alright, well, we'll get rid of this arrow. We found a new decal for our gas. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, good, it's on the line of surface. Okay. Decals. Add a layer above that. Put it to the, the right side of the car. Please. Should be the first thing in our collection. Racing fuel only. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh. oh. But it's a little too big. For that little ring. Can we can we get it to rotate so that the bolts are in it? How are we going to rotate this so that it... I mean, that's probably the best that we're going to get. I mean, if, if the crew didn't know that this car needed racing fuel, they probably don't belong on my crew. <laughs> but it never hurts to be careful. It never hurts to be safe, right? Safety is number one. Priority one is safety. I mean, I can live with that. I like that. No, it's all good. Those bolts are in the wrong spot. I mean, you didn't make the decal, right? Is this, is this something that you made? Woody? I mean, that's probably the best that we're going to get it. Why is it not? Probably because it's more of an oval than it is a circle. Is that the truth? No. It is a circle. I have it set to align with surface right now. It's not a very good surface to align with. I don't want to align with the camera because it's going to get all funky. Uh, that'll work, though. That's close enough. Close enough for government work. Yeah, that looks pretty. That looks pretty slick. <laughs> that looks pretty slick like that. Let me, let me see if I can get it to work a little, little bit better. Uh, but it's almost there. Oh, what's going on there? Okay, we'll have to address that in a second. It's a tiny bit smaller. Ah, that'll work. That's good enough. Okay, so what is going on there? What is that mess? Why is it not doing it on this side, but it is doing it on this side? big blue sheet. Big blue square is messing up right now. It got pushed up, it looks like. Uh, I see. I see. It needs to go a little bit bigger. Be 
seems smaller. Uh, there's that nitpicky stuff. I'm really nudging it right now. Maybe, maybe go a little bit bigger on this side. Just so we can meet up with the deficiency on the other side. Well, that made it even worse. Oh, that's closer. I'm the only ones ever going to see that, but... That's all that matters is that I see it. <laughs> Alright, we can make this a lot easier. I don't have to have it as one big huge blue sheet. I can always... I can always do it the hard way. That's fine. Always do it the hard way. Which I'll have to split it up within three sheets. It's fine. I'm a big boy. I can deal with it. Something fried or smashing fried wontons. That sounds delicious. Don't talk about food because I haven't eaten yet. Okay, so now, now we're gonna have an issue. All this funkiness back here. Uh, we can deal with it though. It's because I had to change. You know what? Oh, that's the line with the camera. Okay, good. Son of a bitch. Alright. Okay, car. Up there, buff. That sounds delicious, Woody. There's a roof. Does sound delicious. I wish I had delicious fried wontons right now, crushed up in garlic sauce. We can make this happen. We can make this magic happen. Just gonna have to do a little bit of finagling. Just a little bit. Not that much finagling. We just have to do this in successive sheets of of blue. I'll duplicate you. I'll just judge you down just a little bit. We can't judge it all the way down to the bottom back of the car, but. Of this. Graham, what's going on, man? Uh, we'll, be, we'll be racing, and you did not miss the stream because we're still streaming. <laughs> Graham, you don't have to catch the re my whole stream. As long as you cut a little bit of it, I am still honored that you're here. Good morning to you, by the way. How is your morning going? I'm hoping you're having a fantastic morning. Are any of my British friends having a full English for breakfast? I've been really dreaming of making a full English. You know, a proper full English. I just can't get blood sausages here. That's not like a, a possibility in the United States. I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm probably just not looking hard enough. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, I, I, dude. It's an honor that your fun, your your son, enjoys my stream that much. It's an honor. Tell him I am honored, and I don't mean that um, ironically or at all. I am honored that your son, that I'm impression, I've become, I'm impression, 
I made an impression on your son. That's always an honor. Yeah, I'm really, really... That makes me feel so good. You don't know how awesome that makes me feel. My my niece and nephew watch it and watch the stream too, and it always like it makes me kind of tear up that my niece and nephew love watching it. Oh, I'll catch you later too, Graham. Thanks for watching, man. And tell your son I said hi. Tell your son I said hi. Oh, that's an honor, man. That's really cool. I love hearing that. Yeah, my niece and nephew like watching the show. Uh, every now and then, when they can, they'll catch. You know, they'll they'll, they'll tune in, and it uh, it always it always makes me feel good that they watch Uncle Eric. I miss I miss the kids a lot. I miss my I miss my little kids. Oh, thanks, Woody. I, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Oh, we gotta change editor options. Align with surface. It's align with surface. Okay. So now we get to put the fun decals on. I think that's pretty much it for um, design decals. And I have to say that I really, really like where it's going. Um, we need to add a number. Uh, that needs to happen to the side. I kind of like the idea of a circle number. And I like the idea of it being like right here. I mean, we could, we have plenty of room on the door to put it on the door. But I kind of like the idea of having it back here. Let's look at it both. <laughs> Let's look at both ideas. Now, now I think there's plenty of room back here for it. Oh, that's awesome, Graham. Thank you, man. That's an honor, dude. It's a, it's a real honor to... I like... I love it. Love hearing that. I love hearing that I've been an impression on um, the youths. The youths. Like I said, I've watched this stream a couple times, man. I've watched... Especially when he was playing the cat game. I definitely watched it when he was playing the cat game. I just kind of spied in. You know, because I know how it is, you know, if you're young, you know, sometimes, you know, you get self-conscious if people are watching. So I didn't want to say anything, but I, I was entranced by him playing the cat game. <laughs> um, and I think it's adorable. <laughs> I think it's adorable. really want to play that cat game. Um, but tell him, tell him good job on the stream, dude. Tell him good job. Tell him he's doing a fantastic job. He's doing a fantastic job with what he's doing. So I know I've watched it. I've watched his stream a couple times. And uh, I've enjoyed it every single time I've watched it. I should, probably should say something. But like I said, I don't know how self-conscious he is when he has people watching him. And he knows he has people watching him. <laughs> oh, thanks, Graham. Oh, thanks, Woody. You, got, you guys aren't too bad yourself. I kind of like the number back there, huh? Level 32. I might not have a low lot of room for sponsorship decals, but maybe I don't get sponsored by a whole bunch of people. I think I could still make them all fit, though, the ones that I have on the other car. Um, with the number taking up that much room. I kind of like it back there, huh? It looks pretty slick back there. I've got some ideas. I definitely have some ideas here. Probably don't have to duplicate, duplicate these symmetrically, but we're going to do it anyway. And uh, duplicate on the opposite side. 
that could probably be zhuzhed over just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like that 32 back there. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. Okay, so now... Now I've got some other issues here. Um, we will put... Time to start doing some Alfa Romeo decals at a layer above. I kind of like the idea. I'll just let me just show you, show you what's going on in my head. Thanks, TM Carry. That's a, it's an honor, because I, I really love your um, liveries. So the idea that you like this one is, is an honor. Now I kind of like that right there. I've been looking at that spot and I think that might be the perfect spot for that sticker. It's either that or I do this. No. It's either going to be there or we can have one or the other. We can do this there, that there, and then the there. <laughs> and then throw... Um, throw this guy down here. I mean, they're two different decals. I kind of like that one. This one. Down here. That's too much. Too much, yeah. Too much. Too much, right? Weird shape for that little area. I, I would more like a circle there. Because the triangle is just a little too much. And if I were going to do anything aside from that, it would be um, something that isn't as angular as that one. Like, like this guy? Let's see. It's kind of redundant. Oh. Uh, but it isn't bad. I mean, it isn't bad. It's a little busy. It's a little busy. So we're just gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it blank. I mean, that was the other place I was thinking of putting this this alpha circle, but I kind of like the alpha circle up there. I kind of like this guy here. All right? It's an alpha Romeo, huh? <laughs> That there. Um, do we need any other demarcation that this is car is an Alfa Romeo? Uh, the only other one I can think of. The only other spot that I can think of that I'd want to put an Alfa decal is right here. And the only decal that I think would be appropriate for that spot. long one is this one or this one I don't think this is gonna fit I don't think that's gonna fit it, it might have to be that one. Oh, how about how about that huh are we on the line with surface yes we are yes we are Now that's the, that's the only one I can think of putting back there. Um, it kind of gets lost. You know? It kind of gets lost. I mean, it's not going to kill me if it isn't on there. not going to kill me. Um, but if you're looking at it from down here, you're going to lose it. Oh, Smoggy, have a good night. Fist bump. Boop. See you tomorrow, yeah? I mean, it, it isn't terrible. 
It isn't terrible. I mean, if you're looking at it from the side and you see it. I mean, that's like standing height. You would see it from here. It's just if you got down here, then who's looking at the car from down here, right? No one is. <laughs> Be nice if it was white. Does Alfa Romeo ever show up as white anywhere? I mean... That's what I'm thinking. Are you taking, like, right here? I have another spot. I have another idea for the, a, a, a decal there. I mean, this would work here. As white, too. The thing is, is I have an idea, another idea for the decal that I want to put there. Um, but that that is also something that could happen. Um, l let me let me preview. I, I kind of like it up here though. It's kind of sexy up there. It's kind of sexy up there, man. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like it up there. I've got I have a better decal for down there on the quarter panel. Um, but, but I kind of like it there. You know, since, since it's also so, like, so curvy, this car, that, you know, the, 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 the signature kind of just fits up there. Let, let's let it live up there. Let's also look at what it looks like on the other side. I always hate flipping it to the other side because it never looks so... It never looks as good on the other side. <laughs> okay. And this is going to make me feel self-conscious if I don't have them even on both sides, so... It still works. Okay. Yeah, the red's a bit muddy, huh? Uh-oh. Uh, we can probably we can probably rock this controller until this thing dies. Okay, so now the idea that I have for the decal that's going to go here. If we want to keep true to the other car. Is that I have a Lenovo decal that needs to go here. ridiculous little world of self-sponsorship. Is this little Nova decal centered? And that's just enough red to kind of, you know, make that back end pop just a little bit. Trying to line that guy up. I mean, that's probably as... That's at zero degrees right now. Jag, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Oh, thank you. All right. I, that's why I like that the Lenovo sticker, because it's got the red and the white, and it makes it pop. All right, it just pops. It pops really well against that blue. Um... Now, I had the Sennheiser decal, too. I don't know where I'm going to put Thrustmaster on here. I really do not like the Thrustmaster branding. I'm sorry. It's, it's ugly. Um, so the question is whether or not I want to have it play on this car. Um, it might work a little better on this car. Yeah, exactly. I like the Mo Motul is my favorite, one of my favorite decals, the Motul decal. I love the Motul decal. <laughs> Not to mention I actually use Motul. I did use Motul in my car at one point in time. Now we could probably put... Thrustmaster here. And let me just look at what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of 
I really wish Thrustmaster would find a new branding, like a branding person. But there, it's an ugly, ugly insignia, man. Or ugly uh, decal. They need to really talk to their branding because it looks like it's a should have wagon wheels on it. <laughs> it's just ugly. That's the only thing I don't like about Thrustmaster is that their branding is really ugly. You know, I like, I love the product. Um, but the branding is just so god awful. You don't, you don't, you don't have the patience to do this. I mean, I don't get. I, I, I get it though. Um, it doesn't. It's not terribly hard to do this. But like you said, you have to have the patience to do it. So I luckily have plenty of patience to do this. So I don't mind it so much. That doesn't look terrible. That doesn't look terrible. I mean, the only other place I'd put it is down here. But I don't wanna I don't wanna impede on those on on the stripes. I'm not totally in love with it there either. <laughs> not, to, not gonna lie, I'm not totally in love with it there. It's just such an ugly font. I'm not in love with it there. Uh, we'll probably just put it on the back of the car. This car is in the back window, damn it. That's usually my go-to's, but I don't like a decal. I'll just throw it on the on the um, on the back window. I need to put my decal back here somewhere. How that's gonna work, I have no idea. That's the only real deviation on this car from the other car. Uh, to catch you up, um, Jag, I have I just designed a 155 because I think I'm gonna drive for Alpha next season. Oh, I don't like that. Um, and the challenge was to match that livery with this car. And they're two completely different cars, so it's been... It hasn't been bad. It hasn't actually hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much worse. Um, but it turns out it's not so bad. I don't like that. I don't like that right there. I mean, no one's ever going to see that. I will, though. How am I going to cut that out? Can I bring this line up a little bit? Oh, it's going to mess it up. This is where perfection is going to beget me here. I mean, I guess... I guess I could do that. There's still more enough of that white there. I can feel it. I can feel it. It doesn't feel like a mistake. Maybe I can make this red line just a little bit thinner. I just don't like that 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 messiness that happens inside there. It's just because I have this stretched, and I have it. Um, There you go. That was the ticket. This is a tiny bit, just a tiny bit thinner. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> it's a tiny bit thinner. That's all you had to do. Like I said before, too, it's, it's tough when you're not giving much instruction on how to use a function of the game. There's, it was not very clear how to do anything. They, they've never, they, they've done a terrible job in the past and the present about explaining how to do anything in this livery editor. Thanks, Jag. Um, so I get it. I get it. And that, that's the thing is that once you figure it out, you don't need much patience. You just have to have the moxie to put together a, a good, a good looking design. Um, 
but they've done a terrible, terrible job of explaining how to use this, this function. I will. I will. I will. Do your paperwork, though. Uh, but thank you. It's always a pleasure to hear that from from TMKR. Phil, good morning to you. Top of the morning. The top of the morning to you, my friends. Oh, I do have a big kaboom sticker. Ah, uh, I know. I know, Mr. T had wanted me to put that on my other car. Why does that not look straight now? Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. I get what's going on. It's because I had to change it that square on the top. why I knew I knew that looked a little too not school not quite angled like oh you're not gonna even get to see the Los Angeles maybe if we move it over just a bit maybe we do something like that I'll buy that. Okay. So now we gotta do more fixing with this red line. I'm not quite happy with what's going on back in the back there. Too much junk in the trunk. I can raise this. Yeah, I see what's going on. See that jagged blue line? It's because I had to replace that square. Uh, duplicate, uh, which, the red stripe? Oh, are you talking about the Los Angeles? I could. I could. I th I'm happy with where it's at. I think I'm happy with where it's at. Can we get that to go there? Without too much... Yeah, it's still fine. It's still fine. That's gonna bother me, though. This blue square. Where are you? Not that one. That one. You are gonna bother me to no end. Um, we could fix that. Think. Let's even get it at the right angle. I'm not. That's okay. It's alright. Can fix it with this guy. I think if I play my cards right, I can get this to work. So to judge it in the right way. No, that's not gonna work, huh? But that is. a little tight on that line. Just trying to skew it out. Just need a little bit of separation. This is the problem when you play the whole, I'm not going to use any patch pieces. I'm just going to willy-nilly this thing. This is the price I pay for perfection. I mean, that, that'll work in a pinch. It's not the best fix, um, but it'll work. Still see a little bit of jaggedness, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> Is my camera out of sync? It might be. We've been streaming now for a pretty long time. 
<laughs> We've been streaming for a pretty long time. So, so I might be a little bit of out of sync. Uh, am I early or late? Let me see if I can fix that. Because I, I, ch I changed some latency. I changed some of the latency around. I think it was minus two milliseconds. Does that seem like a little bit more in sync? Um, here, this would be... I should have my time code slate out. I should break my slate out. That's how we do it when we don't have the slate on set. Is that happening in time? All right. Um, something else that we have still out uh, early or late. Is that earlier or late? If you if they if that makes any sense. About two seconds out. Wow. That might be the stream. <laughs> that might be the stream. That I can't fix. That might be the stream lagging behind. Um, which I can't fix that. That's that's going to be a tougher fix. Uh, that that would be require me to uh, actually I could probably fix it real quick. No, hold on, let me see if this will work. Give me a second. It's going to buffer for a second. Okay, here we go. You guys back? I would imagine you guys are back, right? That's better. All right. Yeah. It's because I've been streaming for such a long time. <laughs> okay. So, back here. Back here. Back here. address this rear area Oreo. You probably just do one Lenovo de decal right there. One Lenovo decal right there. It's hitting in and out on your end. <laughs> That's funny, Phil. Try, um, Try refreshing your. Try refreshing your um, your stream, Woody. Try hitting refresh. That might that might um, that might solve your issue. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Can't have me being out of time. So we're gonna add this decal back here. Wing. Yeah, man, no worries. You know, this is where I could put my Thrustmaster decal. My ugly Thrustmaster decal. I really wish someone would have worked on their branding, man. These guys really need to work on their branding because it's awful. <laughs> All these Thrustmaster logos are uh, so ugly, dude. Like the one for... Uh, don't even get me started. Like the one for... Um, I mean, I don't mind this so much back here. 
But like the one for the TLCM pedal is just ugly. Where where is Thrustmaster? Are they French? They're a French company, right? Shame on them. They should know better. <laughs> okay. That's the one spot that Thrustmaster gets, is that back there. <laughs> that's the that's the one spot that they get is, is right back there. That's it. That's all I'm gonna that's all that I'm gonna allow them to have. Because they have ugly branding. <laughs> uh, what else did I have on this car? I didn't have that many decals on the other one. Alpha, Thrustmaster, Sennheiser. 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 We're going to put you, Sennheiser. Oh. I have a good spot. I have a small Sennheiser decal that we can throw right about Sean. Um, I hope everyone in, in England and the UK and in Europe is having a fantastic breakfast in the morning. Or we could put it back here. Uh, that's going to be a weird angle, though. That's a weird angles going on right there. Um, can we line it up with a Lenovo decal? So it isn't so weird looking. Oh, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look terrible. Is that Lenovo decal? I thought that was on the zero degrees. Oh, because it's a compound angle. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You're at, you're at a compound angle. Yeah, that's at zero degrees. Huh, it would be nice that it wasn't like that. I really wish it would fit here, but it's just, it just doesn't fit there. It doesn't fit up there either. Uh, I don't. I really hesitate about putting something there. Uh, can I make it sit like here at zero degrees? No, because it's gonna conflict. Maybe we could put it back here. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, maybe we can put it down here. I mean, the Sennheiser Corporation probably would not like that placement. They probably would be like, you know. Kaboom operator. We're giving you so much money, but that's the spot you're going to give us? <laughs> Probably would not be happy with that placement. Probably would not be happy with that placement. How can we sell Sennheiser microphones if we're all the way on the bottom there? Yeah, I, I have to agree with them. I have to agree with them on that one. Those are the stupid little stories I make in my head when I do these cars. We're paying you this money. Alright, well, Sennheiser, maybe you won't get side placement. Maybe you'll just get rear placement. Yeah, that's going to have to work. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Sennheiser. I really love your products, but you're going to have to get pro only placement on the rear of the car. We'll make it sure it's prominent. We'll make sure it's prominent so you get your money's worth, but for the most part, you're going to be relegated to the back of the car. This is where we're going to run into problems. Look at all those crazy angles back here. <laughs> Maybe if I do that. Do that? No. Uh, how about there? Can we let that run at zero degrees? <sighs> this is where it's going to get tough. Luckily, we're mostly done here. Maybe Sen Hazard, maybe Sen Hazard doesn't get any placement on this car. Sorry, Sen Hazard. Uh, two important decals I forgot to put on. Back here. 
Uh, I can't believe I missed this one. Do you think it looks good? Look back there, that sun hazard decal? I don't quite like it back there. We'll revisit it. We'll revisit where said hazard could possibly go. Uh, but we do need a number decal back here. Uh, and that could sit like here. That'll fill that, zzz, that void that's right there. And then... Can't forget this decal. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Woody. Can't forget. Can't forget. One of the all important decals. I also need to put my my name on this car. Excuse me. My name on this car somewhere. Where that's gonna happen, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put that decal. Have, having the slightest of clues where to put my name on this car because it's I guess I could put it on the roof I never like putting it on the roof though I wish this car had a window so I could put it there uh, this car doesn't have any windows not aside from the ones that I can look out of where is my decal what page did I put this thing on? That was in the back somewhere. Well, it's not on the kitty page. One of these days. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cause I'm a pro, guys. I'm a pro. <laughs> pro. I'm just gonna have to let that ride, but like right here. Pro. You know I'm pro. Yeah, maybe Sennheiser doesn't get any placement. It's a shame, because I really like that decal a whole bunch. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put my... I guess my name could probably go above the, the door. It's not my favorite spot to put my name, but... You know, I can't have it all. I can't have it all. Oh, what is that craziness going on there? Oh, that's fine. I'll take a look at that. That's fine. I can take that. No one's ever going to look there. I wonder if I can put my decal in my window. Oh, it doesn't even give me an option. Nope. That's a, that's a straight no. <laughs> that's a straight no. A no on, on that one. Right, so we're going to have to... We're going to have to put it in the spot that I don't like putting it. Is above the door. It's not my... Or above the window. My favorite spot. It's not my favorite spot. Uh, we should probably put some YouTube stickers on there. I really don't need to, but... Everyone should already know me. <laughs> oh, that's cocky. <laughs> I gotta always put it down here, but it's not it's not where you would see it generally on a race car. I mean, if this is why I don't like putting it up here. Because then I gotta follow this stupid line back here. I guess I really don't need my name on the car. People can just guess. I mean, it's not essential. The problem with putting it here is it's gonna run right into this thing. And I kind of like those dots where they are. Uh, that would be a shame to have to mess that all up. I wonder if I could fit it back here somewhere. I mean, that's the other option. I wish I could put it on the window. Maybe it just goes without no without a name at all, huh? Maybe everyone should just know that the, it's the Kaboom operator driving this car. Can we go at zero degrees? Maybe smaller? Uh-oh. The Thargoids. 
Are the Thargoids invading? <laughs> I've never actually run into any Thargoids when I was playing that game. You may have, because you done you did a lot more explore, exploration than I did. I'm not in love with that. Ooh, that looks terrible. I haven't been on Elite Dangerous in a while. We were talking about this earlier, Phil. There's not a good spot for this. Right, maybe we could put it here. I've seen it. I've seen a couple of drivers put it on the door. I'm not in love with that though either. I need to get on Elite Dangerous too. You know, I have. A, I used to have a stream for Elite Dangerous. The war is coming. <laughs> I haven't. We, we used. I used to stream it. I streamed it on uh, for a couple times. Um, and believe it or not, it was popular for a little bit. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like the most popular stream. Uh, my most popular stream, honestly, was um, was uh, has always been Snowrunner, and and I've always wanted to return and revisit Snowrunner. I know it does suck that they did they stopped they stopped doing console updates. I think it's kind of dirty, honestly. That's just me. You know that isn't bad. It isn't where you would see it normally. Could, is that acceptable? Putting the name on your, your name on the door. I guess I've seen it. I've seen it on the hood of a car before. I mean, I'll buy that. It just doesn't look good on top of the hood, like up here. I think it looks fine there, yeah? Maybe in white? Let's try it in white. I kind of like it in black. Always bet on black. Yeah? How about in white? It looks better in white, yeah? Uh, I guess I could put it on the other side, too. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, why not? Why not? That'll work for me. Uh, one last decal. Because I don't think you're gonna be able to fit the Sennheiser anywhere on here. Oh, you know where we can where we can put Sennheiser? We can put him in the front. We can put Sennheiser in the front. Let's go back to sponsorship decals. Layer above that. Let's see if it'll fit in the front. I want to go back. I want to really want to get back into playing um, Elite Dangerous, though. I really miss playing it. I miss flying around and not necessarily doing anything. <laughs> You know, I miss those days. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, why not? Why not? That'll fill that space out a little bit. I don't want to get too busy up there. Oh, you know what? You know what, though? YouTube stickers. I should probably put some of those on there somewhere. Do I really need to signify to everyone that I'm a YouTuber? That's another brand that I think needs to... They need to work on their branding a little bit. The YouTube play button. I know it's... I know it's iconic. I think it's a... I think it's a little gaudy. Okay. We'll, we'll keep the Sennheiser decals there. Um, I could always remove them when I, if I wanted to. Alright, we'll put a YouTube de decal on here somewhere. Maybe we can put it underneath the kaboom. I 
always get self-conscious about the YouTube decal too. Do I really want to, I guess, advertise that? <laughs> I guess I should. <laughs> I guess I should. I, I always think about it and I'm like, ah, I probably won't put it on this car. But I've gotten, I've got, I, I've, I, I've gained yet followers that way. Like I've had people like, oh, I saw the, you know, I saw that you're a YouTuber, and I was like, really? You paid that much attention? Um, so it does work. It does work for branding. I mean, we'll use the other YouTube decal. I mean, it could live. I'm just spitballing right now. I could live there somewhere. It's not, I don't like quite. I don't, I don't love. I don't love how that is, though. I, mean, I could just use the play button. It could be a stylistic choice of mine. Whether or not you, the uppers at YouTube would be happy with that, it's a whole other story. Um, we'd use this one. I mean, I'm not in love with that. It would have to line up with the kaboom there. All right, what we could always do. And I would not be opposed to this. So we shift everything over. It's the more I look at it, this could this could be over a little bit like that. Just the little things, guys. Just the little things. Just to make all this work. And that way, this will line up a little bit better with with these strizipes on the side. Yeah, you know, and that's sort the of thing is that, that that as much as I don't like it, it's 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 I, I've had people like, oh, I saw it on your car. <laughs> it's like really. <laughs> Especially in the early days, I was like, people actually look at it. People actually look at that stuff, man. It always surprises me when some someone notices it and like, really? That feels actually a lot better like that. Like I said, it's the little things, guys. The little judging that you do here and there. Oh, and you saw it on the pre-race chat. People have seen that on my car and they're like, oh yeah, I saw it on the back of your car and have decided to check your channel out. I've had that a couple times. More than a few times. Where people will see it on the back of my car and they're like, hey, you know, I want to check you out. How you doing? And I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. That feels a little better. It feels a little bit more centered. I thought that kaboom was a little bit too too far out on the edge there. That's how I roll, though. I like to be out on the edge. Where's that? Over here? Okay. Uh, do the on the opposite side. And then Studios needs to move over. Where are you? Where are you, Studios? Oh, why, why are you all the way down there? You should be up here with all the rest of your Studios friends. When did I do that? I guess I got carried away with my arrows. I migrate you all where you belong, all the way up here. There. I said I always put my own personal branding at the very top because I'm the most important thing on my car. <laughs> no, usually I put it at the top because it's the last thing I usually put in my cars. Uh, these two cars have been um, unique because normally the, my Kaboom decal is a signature. Um, so I wait till the last minute to put them on. Um, so these have been, it's been uh, kind of out of the ordinary for me to put this decal, these decals on the car so early. Right, and that means 
you two can just transfer over to the other side. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Just that little bit, feel, that feels a lot better. It feels a little better. All right, now, now where are we gonna put it back here? This is gonna be, this is gonna be the chore. So I've taken up almost all the available space back here. I could, I could do this. I could put it. I could put it. Don't forget that. Don't think that I forgot about the Alaska. We're gonna put Alaska Airlines on this car somewhere. That was my other big sponsor on the other car was Alaska Airlines. So far, we've been able to fit all the decals <laughs> that were used on the other car. Well, you know, your car, your car is themed after your, like, you know, I do these stupid things where I make little, like, little stories about my D, <laughs> you know, my, my, uh, my sponsors, <laughs> like I've been doing all night. <laughs> where your car is, your cars are, your, 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 your decal is part of the design. My, my logo is usually something that is, isn't part of the design, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I, exactly what I was saying. My my car is generally my logo is is not part of the design. <laughs> this is one of the few cars that I've made that the logo is part of the design. Cuz I typically don't. I typically I typically don't do that. Okay, so you know what's going to drive me crazy about this? But I think I have a way of fixing it. What's going to drive me crazy about this is I'm going to want those play buttons. We can fix this. I think I have this as two decals, so... This is, what, this is another reason why I don't like the YouTube decal. Is the the play button drives me crazy about where it is. It's always to the left, and I think that's part of the YouTube branding. Actually, I'm positive it's part of the YouTube branding. Uh, but if you want to do doubles, then it it's not ideal. But what I can do, let's do this. I can do this. Here. Here. Duplicate that on the other side. Now, I'll add a layer below. Let's target it there. Let's see if we can let's see if we can pull this off. I like the font they use though. That's I think I believe it's Helvetica. I'm a big Helvetica fan. If you notice that a lot of my stuff is done all in Helvetica. So okay, so we can honestly use this one here. Now when we flip to the other side, that should be lined up. That looks like it's lined up. Okay. So we duplicate you to the opposite side. We move you over like so, but then this is where the magic happens, kids. Add a layer above you. We use you to make you really small ish. I mean, it could be that size. Let's put that color. Boom. <laughs> Boom, we have the place, the, we have that on the other side. <laughs> That's magic. That's magic. The magic, magic man. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work just fine, pig. 
It'll work just fine. This car is coming together. Uh, we were really close here. Now let me see if I can fit the last sponsor in here in a tasteful manner. We have a lot of negative space. So we should be able to pull this off. And the last sponsor is Alaska Airlines. Because um, I fly Alaska a lot and I love Alaska and Airlines. We said this earlier, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was, because then that would mean I'd get free mileage of it all the time. <laughs> um, but we can always put them here. Let's put them here. Can we fit the little Alaskan dude in here too? I'm afraid there's gonna be too many circles in one spot. See about the little stories I like to make for myself when I do these things. I mean, this isn't typically Alaskan branding, and normally this guy is always to the left. But he would look fine here. I mean, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Now, the question is, was will it line up on the other side? As it always goes, no, it will. All right. Oh, but that won't. That's fine. Let's find a little Alaska guy can hang out here. That's fine. It's, it's, a, it's teetering on the hairy edge. It's teetering on the hairy edge, but we can judge you over just a little bit. That means we can judge, judge you this way. Like right there. That just makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it. We need to put stuff on the wing. Wing is not finished yet, uh, but we're we're nearing the end here. We're we're, we're almost we're almost to the fish finish line here. Uh. I usually put Alfa Romeo on whatever the make and brand of the car is. I typically always do that back here. Though, I wonder if I can fit this one in. I don't have my Legion decal yet. It doesn't necessarily have to go in. There's a lot of Alfa Romeo branding on this car, but it would be nice if we can get the Legion decal on there. Because I love my Lenovo Legion computer. I do. I do love that computer. I'm very happy with my computer. I'm hoping you're as happy with your, your computer, TMKR. TMKR is the same computer as I do. I mean, it's a little redundant, but can we just do it without the Lenovo? But you guys wouldn't be watching me without my Lenovo region, Legion right now. As you would not be hearing me without my, um, my Sennheiser microphone. <laughs> I said the little dumb little stories I'm making in my head. Oh, it should. It should. That game came out so long ago that it should. I would be surprised if it didn't run like butter. I bet you your um, your friendship drive engaging. When you engage the friendship drive, I'm sure it probably is uh, very gratifying. <laughs> friendship drive engaging. <laughs> Engi engaging friendship drive. <laughs> Frameship drive. I always I always like to think that it's friendship drive. Oh, we're making friends across the universe. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy that. I could buy that. I can buy that. I feel like I should put something in this little dingle back here. Let's put something in that little dingle. 
Maybe we'll put a little Alfa Romeo dingle dingle back there. Friendship, friendship drive engaging in five, four, three, two. <laughs> You've been playing Elite since the original game. Wow, that's a long time. I never played it on. Um, well, then again, I didn't ever had a fan. Well, I did have a fancy PC. PC. I was playing X Wing though back in those days. I do like myself some Elite Dangerous, man. I haven't played it in a really long time. I need to swap over my um, my my account. I really. I'm glad you keep on reminding me about that. I'm glad you that you rem reminded me. Nah, okay, that's not gonna do it. It's gonna be weird to have not an not have an Alpha Romeo thing there back there. Yeah, you you mentioned the long No Man's Sky earlier. Is is so they fixed everything in No Man's Sky, right? Which no, which sticker? Noda sticker. Which one? In my um in my collection? I don't think I have any of your decals in my collection. Do I? Do you make decals? I heard that. I heard it's getting um, more and more fixed. No Man's Sky. Oh, this one. Yeah, I think this. It is. It is. That is your decal. I can't remember what car I used it on. I think I saw it on one of your cars, though. Not a race car? You're not a race car? I remember. I can't remember what car I used it on. I can't remember what car I used it, used it on. I remember seeing it, though. I was like, oh, I need to get that. <laughs> um, this is the back wing decal, right? Friendship gut drive engaging. I really, I really would like to play it. Like, like I said, I've heard it's, I've heard it's gotten much better. Um, no Man's Sky. I've heard it's gotten much better. I know at launch it was, it was not the the best game. Um, but I'm always willing to give, you know, a man, a, a what's it called? Publisher, another chance, and I hear it's much better now. I wish Gran Turismo, to a certain degree, Gran Turismo, and now City Skylines is taking up all my time. Good God, City Skylines is taking up so much time. Oh, not quite big enough, dude. I've been playing City Skylines like when I'm not doing this. Granted, I've also been trying to. I'm trying to make City Skylines like a thing for the channel. Um, it's going to be something that will be s probably strictly uh, content rather than the stream. Unless if you guys enjoy watching the content, um, I'll probably just put that as out as at least in my mind, it's going to be, you know, weekly installments. Um, and I know a few of you do play City Skylines, so. I we can do the. I've been wanting to use this somewhere, but I think this is going to be better back here. Oh, so you play that too? Okay. Um, I've actually got a really interesting um, idea going on. I, I'm modeling my my newest city after like an American city, and and I've been trying to do this where I'm I'm trying not to. There are two approaches that I want to try. Number one is I would like to try to do a city, build a city without the use of any highways. Um, because there's the the argument's been made that the game is too highway centric, and I agree with that. That um, real cities don't grow off of highways; they don't 
come from the beginning from highways. A lot of times, cities start off with railways and then will grow, you know, into a city that needs highway. Um, so I've tried that and it's tough. It works. You can make it work, but it's tough. Um, granted, you have to be running a modded game on the PC in order to get it to work. Um, the other idea is that I'm trying not to run any highways through my city. I'm, so in that case, what I've been trying in my newest city, what I'm doing is running, um, running it, running a national highway, which be like a route one or whatever. Um, yeah, like longer, large back roads is the other way that a city in the United States would have grown is through like back roads. Maybe it used to be a horse trail at one point in time, but then, you know, it turns into a, what is called a national road here. Like route one on the East coast here would be like route 66, which goes east to west um, from, from Michigan to, I think it's Detroit. I don't know where 66 starts. It's somewhere like in Detroit or something. And then it goes all the way to Santa Monica in California and ends at Santa Monica, Santa Monica Pier. Um, and then we also have Sepulveda Boulevard, which is also called US-1 or the Pacific Coast Highway. If you've ever seen pictures of, you know, that windy highway that's by the ocean, that's the other major highway that used to be like the, ma the, the highway for California, which is called the Pacific Coast Highway or US-1. A1A, yes, something like that. Um, rather than with city skylines, you start off, you know, and you start off with a highway, you know, exit that goes right into your city, and that's how you start. Um, I've actually put my national road right next to the railroad, just in my crazy mind, you know, the railroad and the actual road kind of run together right next to each other because that's kind of how it would have been in the back in the old days. That's my crazy thinking. <laughs> but that's how it would have happened. That's what it would have happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how it would have happened in the real, in, back in the day. I don't know how it would have, I, you know, in Europe, it's probably different, but I'm sure in Europe, it's to a certain degree is the same where, you know, cities started off of, um, railway systems or something, you know? But the way that it happens in the game is just too, uh, it's too, it's too highway centric. And, and you're pushed as a player to make more highways than you are to, um, I almost feel like I need to put something here. Uh, then to, uh, to kind of start your city organically. I don't mind the block, I don't mind the, the, the block, the grid system, because you know most the grid system's been around forever. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you can't, you know, the grid system's stupid. It might be stupid, but it works, and, and it's been something that pretty much every civilization's been doing for, <laughs> you know, ages, ages now. I almost feel like I should put one of these little guys it's small up here, just in case anyone's looking up here. <laughs> more branding. Do I like it? Am I in love with it? Ah, not really. I mean, it doesn't have to be up there. It looks good. It doesn't necessarily have to be up there, though. Someone's looking from the grandstands, they'll see it. No one on... Maybe someone on TV would see it. The Alfa Romeo up there. Yeah, they'll keep it up there. <laughs> I just needed something else other than that sea of blue that's up there. <laughs> ice, ice baby blowing too cold. With a rag up down so your hair can flow. I think that's it, guys. I think that's this car. And now it matches my other car. <sighs> I think that's it. I think that's uh, the, the. I think that's the 4C. I'm happy with it. I'm with. I'm. I'm really happy how this turned out. 
I thought this was going to be a nightmare, but it actually was really, really easy. Thanks to the company that I had, it was very easy to put this together. It always helps when you got friends. Thanks, Phil. It always helps when you have friends watching. Thanks, TMKR. That's a huge, huge um, endorsement. As you know how much I like your liveries. I love myself some TMKR liveries. I like it. I like it. I'm going to so, go so far as to say as I love it. It uh, really surprised me how well this turned out. And that I'm not in love with right there. Is there any way I can fix that real quick? I mean, probably not, but let's give it a whack. Always gotta, you always gotta give it a good old college try. I could probably fix that. I'm not totally in love with what's going on with there, but uh, we will fix it. We'll put it here. I'm not totally in love with it. Woody, thanks, dude. F fist bump. Boop. Have a good night, dude. I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Thanks for watching, dude. And thanks for, uh... Thanks for supporting. Thanks for the support. Oh, you're gonna be a pain in the butt, aren't you? I don't think there's gonna be any way to fix that. I don't think there's gonna be any way to fix that. Except for bleed through. Which I kind of need in order for this line to, to go all the way across. Can we can we limit the angle? No. I mean, if we have a break there. Nope. I think I'm gonna have to live with it. That's going to be one of those oopsies we're going to have to live with, I think. I could pine over it, but I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth it to me. I mean, the only other way I could fix it is I bring all of this brouhaha down a little bit. Just so that that misses. I could. Let me, let me let me give it one no I can't I can't because then it messes up the back end because I want that I definitely want this red line right there All right, I'm gonna live with it I'm gonna live with it I'm not gonna think about the weirdness that's happening inside that intake <laughs> believe it or not though that's one of the f that, that I didn't that's good that's like the least of my worries I thought this was gonna be so much harder because this car was so weirdly shaped amazingly a lot easier to design than on the RSR. The RSR is far harder. Way more hard to, to, um, to design on. Not my favorite car to design on. Uh, it's probably what's been keeping me from putting a new design on that RSR is that I hate designing on it. Oh my god, it's 249. It's Rory time. <laughs> Mr. Alexander is probably streaming right now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call this done. We're gonna call this a night because it's really. I just realized how late it was. So not only am I honored that you guys watched this whole process, but you watched until this hour of the night, which is super late, man. It's super late. He's doing 200 laps of the Daytona road course. What, is he crazy? <laughs> what, is he crazy? 
Mr. Alexander is crazy. Oh, wait, wait. I just saw one other thing. Let's fix this real quick. Real quick. What is he, psycho? What was... Oh, that's right. Today's the day he does the crazy sh races. Like, last week I tuned in and he was doing... 200... Or was it a two... Like, a hundred... 150 minutes or... Or was 150 laps at... Um, at uh, the Nürburgring GP. I was just like, what? Are you psycho? <laughs> what, what are you doing, Rory? I, I give him props for it, though. I give him props. Okay, that was driving me psycho. I realized when we painted all of this blue, I was wondering why everything was so dark down there. But I forgot that uh, we painted all this blue down here, so... There we go. That feels better. You guys probably didn't see that, but I did. I was wondering why the, the lines, the white lines in here weren't showing up below, but that's why. Because I forgot we changed all the colors down here to blue. Or to this, whatever this surgical color is. Oh, and there's something else we missed. We missed this guy. Where are you? You're one of the slanted colors. Oh, wait. We're on the wrong part of the car. We need to go all the way. Yeah, there you go. Oh, but that's telling me that's the right color. Is it, though? I don't think it is. Yes, that's much better. Yes. Yes. Once again, another thing that probably no one else would have noticed but me. But I'm glad I did. Can't be too thorough, guys. Can't be too thorough. There's no such thing. No such thing as being too thorough. You gotta dot the T's and cross the I's. But I think we have now crossed the finish line with this one. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. I won't buy that for a dollar. Uh, I might not drive it very fast, uh, but it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. That's all that matters to me, man. <laughs> all right. Done. Done. We're going to call that finished. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. What is it? 11 o'clock in the UK? Right? Am I not right? Is I, am I wrong? You guys are like eight, hour, eight hours ahead of me, right? All right. We will call it a night for that. That's going to be that's gonna be it for the evening. That's going to be it. It's been a pleasure designing with you guys. It's been a real pleasure, man. Um, it's been a pleasure hanging out with everyone. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for more. For more craziness. Um... Which is way a way of letting it just spin in preview mode, uh, but that's it. That is where all this hard work is going to terminate. <laughs> that's gonna be it. Car is finished. Car is finished. Yeah. Let me put this into this screen. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for everyone that raced, and thanks for everyone that thumbs up and did all that other good stuff you guys are awesome you guys are really really awesome we did that with all without taking a break and without digging a taking a drink cheers to a friday morning a fantastic friday morning uh, we will be back be back tomorrow probably a little earlier i'm gonna try to come on like around one or two if at all possible maybe noon i don't know it's three o'clock right now 
So I might end up playing some City Skylines before I go to sleep. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> right now my sleep pattern. Oh, I didn't cheers. I didn't drink. Right now my sleep pattern's been crazy, so I don't know. But expect me to be somewhere between noon and 3 p.m. Just look out for your YouTubes and you'll see me. Um, but anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see everyone tomorrow. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy, continue be being awesome to each other, and I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good morning or day or whatever or evening or whatever, whatever time zone you're in. Have a good night on my side. <laughs> or morning. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.